Hey guys, Fia back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 23rd of January, 2022. Uh, we did some, well, leveling. The last of my 50-50s, oh my god. It, like, moment of celebration. And then some transmog farming, which was great. While we were doing that, we had a lot of different chats, uh, a lot about um, advice for like starting out streamers or people who are thinking about doing it, things like that. So if you came for that, have a listen. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a really good stream. I really enjoyed myself and feeling energized. So I hope that you love it too. Uh, if you want to catch me live, twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. I'm live from 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is Brisbane time on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, you can also drop by twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma forward slash schedule to see if I've got like any special streams coming up uh, and it'll convert the time to your time zone as well, which is super duper handy. Stop the look. I'm totally professional and I know exactly what I'm doing. I hope you enjoy the VOD and I will hopefully see you in chat next stream. Hi. Welcome back. Let's start a battle. What am I placing today? Healers. I'm placing two healers. There's a healer. It's a Fiamma healer. It's, mod <laughs> it's modeled after the spirit healer, obviously. But the staff, because the healers have to have a staff, um, there's like specific requirements for each unit in game. Um, that was the staff that Royal Kiwi, one of our mods, picked because he mains a priest. And he's a healer, and so he picked the staff because he really likes it. Uh, so yes, that's um, Kiwi's skin. Anyway. 50-50s. <sighs> 50 fucking 50s. We're almost there. Four to go. 46 down, four to go. Well done, Zem, on first. Yori with last. Dupe with second. Shrug, you're here. You are. And I'm so glad you are. Thank you very much for being here. Hello, Nutty. Welcome back. Hello, Zem. It is fear. Still alive and hopefully well. I am. I slept for a very long time. I slept in this morning uh, a fair bit. More than I more than I was going to. I was actually going to, like, do shit this morning. Uh, I did not. I did not. But I did do photo shoot with Jess for a sponsorship. And it was so much fun. I was honestly, I've been really, really, really nervous about this because I wasn't sure. I've never really done a photo shoot for a sponsorship before. I've just kind of, you know, shown stuff off on stream and been like, look at this, isn't it awesome? Um so yeah it's look it was um but it went really 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 well i'm super happy with the shots that we figured out how to get the aspect ratio filter on jas's dslr because i'm like you know you can take shots and then you can crop them square for instagram but the, i'm not sure if any of you have ever tried doing that um, but basically the big issue is that you take this photo and it's beautiful and it's amazing and then you try to crop it down to square, but it cuts something off you wanted to include and then you try to shift it that way to include that, but then it cuts something off on the other side and you're like, the shot is just not quite square, but you can't stretch it this way to make it stretch this way because there's no picture there because it's the, the boundaries of the image and it's really fucking annoying. So we managed to find, he, he managed to find the aspect ratio setting on his DSLR um, so that he could take shots and know that everything was going to be in shot, um, which was awesome. And uh, we had a few fails. <laughs> we had quite a few fails. We took a photo and we're like, that does not look good. Uh, but we kind of worked through it. And then by the end of it, it was like every shot we were taking was usable and awesome. And I was really happy with it. And so, yeah, I'm... Uh, 
a little bit nervous to see how everyone responds when the photos start going up on social media and stuff. But like, uh, yeah, look, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty proud of myself. Pretty proud of Jas, and uh, hopefully you guys like it too. Or did your traveler? It's happening. It is. Well done, BC on third. Yay for sleep. Yeah, I I slept. Uh, I slept. Thankfully, I needed it. I so I needed it so bad. So yeah, I'm I'm tired. Don't get me wrong. I'm quite run down. But the 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 happy. You are not ah! prepared. Twig, hello. Welcome on in. I hope you had a wonderful stream. How are you? What is happening? Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm quite tired. But the the. Endorphins, I guess it'd be. The endorphins from, from doing a photo shoot this morning have kind of boosted my my mood and whatnot. So hopefully I, I can last all of stream without passing out. And we're having lamb roast for dinner, which I'm pretty happy about too. Wonderful as always, thank you. Much appreciated. I'm really happy with how this the, like these colours actually work on me. I'm I'm pretty happy. Like uh, I had to shuffle a few of them around. Like it, this this particular look was going to be a lot more vibrant and full on, um, but I had to tweak some of the placements and colors and stuff because I I needed it to be more neutral for the photo shoot that we did. So the colors are still there. The colors are still right, um, but they're maybe not represented in the right proportions. If that makes sense. Uh, for example, the mount is not mostly brown. There is brown on the mount, but it is not mostly brown. Um, uh, yay, indeed. How are you? Yeah, tired, but good, Chaos. How are you going today? I'm uh, keyboard shorted. Yay! Unsung so modules from sign up shouldn't be so confusing. Uh, sounds like keyboard not found. Press F1 to continue! <laughs> oh, that's great. Love that. I have personally experienced similar issues a couple times. A couple times. Hey, Alec. Hey, Aroy. Your mother fantastical have been raided by the Twictastical Twic. Love it. Amazing. Amazing. Hey, it's Wick. Swing salt with some friends. Um, an afternoon nap before Mythic Sod. Sounds like a plan. Afternoon naps are the bestest. Especially when you need them. Holy cow. Just like accepting that your body needs rest and allowing your head to be placed on the pillow is just such a wonderful, lovely feeling. Oh, hey, a little. Okay, just wake up from a nap. Brilliant chaos. I need them. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I My body can't handle naps. I can't do naps. Um, every every time I have napped without fail, uh, I wake up feeling groggy and shit, and then I don't sleep that night. Every time, can't can't do it unless I'm like super sick or I'm like on gnarly painkillers. Like when I had surgery, I was asleep the whole goddamn time. Like I was just sleeping in and out of consciousness for like three days. Uh, but like that's different. <laughs> Actual genuine naps as a relatively healthy human can't do. Body just won't let me do it. Cause it's a bitch. But that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I don't nap. I think I'll be going to bed super early. Did not sleep well last night. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, meaty. That really sucks. It really sucks. I know I know the feeling and it's it's not a good one. So I hope you're able to get a good sleep tonight. Oh, I really should learn I catch your naps as well. I was up all night after four six hours. Right through the alarm I set myself. Oh no. Oh no. Look, sometimes sometimes we oversleep because our body needs it, hey. Like, if I if I do oversleep and I start getting shitty with myself for doing it, I'm like, no, look. You clearly needed it. It wasn't like you woke up and you were fully awake and you were like, nah, you know what? I don't wanna get up. You don't need like often I don't even remember turning my alarm off. It happens. If if I turn my alarm off and I just I, I don't even remember doing it, I'm like, my body was on autopilot. My body needed sleep, and so it got itself sleep. How can I, like, how can I tell my body no when it clearly needs something? Um, my body does so much for me. I reckon I can give it just this once, you know? <laughs> but it did take me a while to get to that point, you know, treating myself with a little tiny little bit of kindness every so often. But it's, uh, yeah. Especially with an autoimmune condition, sometimes you just you have no choice. If your body wants sleep, it fucking takes it. <laughs> like it's not your it's not your decision to make. It's just like, yep, okay, we we go die now. Cool. 
Ah, uh, could do with some more troops. And stream raiders, yas, place those units. Would love the assistance. Join the battle. Exclamation battle will get you a link. Follow the link. Log in with your Twitch account. And drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Nice and easy. It doesn't matter if they're level 1. doesn't matter if you've never placed a unit ever before. I don't mind what you place. Where you place it. I'm I'm not one of those. Like, I'm not one of those captains. I'm not like other captains. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but genuinely, like, I'm I'm really super chill. I'm happy for anyone to use my battles to just level their, their lobbies and stuff. Happy for it. Go for it. Place the things. Good morning, Gruben. How you doing? I know it's early, but start placing them. Absolutely. I so they don't have a free captain slot yet. Oh no! Already playing before stream started. Bugger. That's okay. That's okay. I'm sure you'll join in with us when you can. Anaria Shala. The Legion won't give up so easily. Alright, where are we? We're at 17% through 49. Yeah, has perma captain slot on my loadout. Oh, that's so sweet of you. It's a lot harder to do that if you're not able to grab yourself a battle pass. Like having three slots as opposed to four slots. You don't think it makes that much of a difference, but that fourth slot really makes a huge difference in terms of like how fast you can level your, your units and stuff. Um, so yeah, if, if stream raiders is something that you do enjoy, I, I definitely recommend grabbing yourself the battle pass because you get so many extra scrolls and skins and gold and all that kind of stuff um obviously it's not for everyone but that's okay um it is it's definitely a good investment if you if you spend a lot of time in the game oh, i got my 30th 50 today ah oh, to the baby tunes now congratulations yori well done well done just use two and three as randos totally fair Totally fair. If you do have the, the patience for it, like hunting through the list of captains to find smaller captains as well is definitely a really rewarding experience because not only like smaller captains, you're more likely to get bonus shit, obviously, because the fewer people who are placing the, um, the more likely it is that you as an individual will get bonus shit if you're hanging around in their chat. But also like... So many of them are just super grateful because a lot of them are pushing for things like affiliate and stuff like that. And um, it's always nice to to help out if we can. But I mean, if they're not live and stuff, then that's you know you got you can only do what you can do. I can't believe I've got four tunes to go. Oh, I found a guy a few weeks ago and he couldn't stop thanking me for coming in to chat with him. Oh, that's really sweet. That's really lovely. Actually play us uh, throughout the day tend to have two as big captains constantly rotate battles and two small captains yeah for sure for sure yeah I know there are a couple uh, who are like literally live 24 7 that's a that's a time oh, we're gonna getting these ones to at least 30 next week when Gloomy Festival starts I can see if it's worth it absolutely Absolutely. I'm still trying to decide how I want to tackle Lunar Festival. If I want to do one whole trip around the world getting everything. Or if I want to, like, just keep going until I have enough to buy certain stuff. Because, like, the, the thing is, like, um, the whole thing is I want to get the collectibles, right? I want to see if I can clear my list of collectibles. And I do have quite a few to get, but they're not very expensive ones. So I might be able to, like, if I do a full clear, I'll probably get a whole bunch of them. But then if I get to, like, if, if I get enough to buy everything, but then the very last one, I only get, like, 34, but I need 35. Like, should I just stop at that point and go and switch tunes or something? Like, you know, it's a bit, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to figure that out. 
but I'm certainly not going to need it to level with, that's for sure. <laughs> and that's a really strange feeling. Really strange feeling. Five pages of Stream Raiders Captains. At least half of them I enjoy to watch. Like, aw, thank you, little. That's awesome, though. Like, having so many people to choose from. I doubt that there's ever none of us online, hey? It's messing with me so bad. Oh no! Oh, Dory. I'm guessing that medication or like over the counter meds for hay fever and stuff don't work for you. Um. Remember, I had a really, really weird allergic reaction on like a school camp at one point. Like it was almost like a like a swollen rash, but it was only on my ear. Like, you know how at the top of your ear it kind of curls over, like you've got that big flat part and then it curls around the edge? Like that whole thing just kind of got filled in. It was just one solid kind of mass with, with swelling, with inflammation. Uh, and so the teachers ended up getting me some like 24 hour Telfast and called my parentals because of course I'm a minor. They can't just give medication to a minor without like medical advice or whatever um, or parental permission. Um, so they called my parents and were like, and we give her this and they're like yeah that's fine is she okay and like yeah yeah it's just itchy and swollen so you know we'll keep an eye on it whatever so yeah they um gave me 24 hour tell fast and that oh my god i brought it down instantly and it was really funny because you could tell when it wore off because it ballooned straight back up again and so i'd take another one oh it's hilarious <clears throat> try them all oh no like a sinus infection yeah that sucks I know that feeling well. Yeah, my uh, my medical professionals with my like sinusy bullshit have basically just told me, yeah, there's there's nothing we can do. If you've tried this and this and this and none of it works, then it's just you can breathe, so it's not considered an emergency, and there's nothing that really does anything beyond what you've already taken. So it's like, oh goody, oh goody. And especially at the moment where, you know, the medical system is kind of clogged with a whole lot of other stuff going on, uh, I don't really want to demand a referral to an ear, nose and throat doctor specialist just for something that's a, sl that's a slight irritant rather than something that really affects my life to a detriment. Um, there, are, there are so few appointments available and I feel like they should go to people who really, really need them. So for me, in my situation, it's just a sniffle. Like, it doesn't do that much. So I don't want to, like, yeah. Uh, one day. One day, when it all dies down, put my foot down and be like, I want someone to shove a camera on my nose. Find out what the hell's going on in there. <laughs> Can't imagine that'd be very comfortable. Here, yeah. Uh, I had one about two weeks ago. It was a cold, turned into a sinus infection before that. I had food poisoning. Oh no, Shadow. You are not having a good time, are ya? Just one so whole side of my nose is blocked. My mind kind of shifts from side to side. Like during stream last night, this whole side was totally blocked. So I was just like, bugger it, I'll breathe through the other side. And as soon as I thought that, it all started shifting, and then about an hour later, this side was totally blocked, but I could breathe through the other side. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Usually it happens, like, if I sleep, and I sleep on this side, but this side is blocked, it all kind of migrates overnight, because I'm assuming gravity. I don't know. I'm not sure how it works. But to be s sitting upright and to have it do that was so weird. So, so weird. Mm, the same thoughts as fear. Yep. Yeah. They don't. It's horrible. Ugh. Oh. I, like, there's there's gonna be a point, at, there, there has to be a point where it's just, it's been literally years, it's been years that I've been dealing with this, and I would just really like to never ever have another person come into chat to tell me to blow my nose. 
Like, it, you know, it's just such a fucking, like, and I can feel, I feel like I can never get quite enough air. Like, it's enough to breathe. I can breathe. I can smell things. I can, look, all that stuff is fine. It's, it's functional. But I just, I would very much like to be able to breathe completely, if that makes any sort of sense. Don't give up, yeah. Solvanus. Oh, well. Ochindun look, must be protected. I'll do what needs to be done. If, if I go in and I'm like, look, this is just getting ridiculous, and they say, okay, we want to stick a camera up there and see if there's anything going on, uh, then I will fucking let them, because, you know, half an hour to an hour of discomfort for a potential answer that, that fixes shit. I reckon I can, I reckon I can handle it. I reckon I can handle it. But it's just, yeah, it's... Oh well, it is what it is. Um, not sure if it's legal where you are, but smoking weed can help. I just have a really bad eyes itch, nose blocked, running, smoke three times a week, never need to take anything. Uh, if you're talking about the public system, by the time Mrs. Healy's appointment to ENT came up, she was better. Both her and the ENT were like, okay, so what to do? Yeah, I mean, if it, if it was that kind of thing, sure. Like if it was something that I felt like could get better, but it's been literally years with zero change. Um, like when I went to the hospital and they said, have you had any, any like runny nose or inability to breathe or like blocked nose or whatever? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, like I, I, she, like you could almost see her recoil and people around me sort of, and I'm like, it has been like this for literally three or four years. There, there's no, maybe even longer than that. I've, I've honestly lost track of how long it's been. So, I mean, it may take me six to 12 months to get an ENT appointment. But something tells me I'll still have the same problem by that point. <laughs> something tells me I'll still have the same issue. But uh, look, we'll see. We'll see. I'm certainly going to wait for the medical system to calm down a bit before I, I start going and doing that. Not while we're in the, the throes, like the, you know, the middle of Omicron. Although, um, so I'm a, I'm a, a subscriber to the subreddit uplifting news because sometimes we need that shit uh, and one of the articles I saw posted the other day there are actually a few three or four that came through like within a few hours of each other um, about how if we can if we can get through Omicron this is likely gonna be the last wave like the last big wave of COVID especially if we hit those vaccination targets in nearly every country in the world um, even with the amount of anti-vaxxers who are out there we're still hitting quite high vaccination targets which is good um, so hopefully once we hit those targets across everywhere barring another like barring a very very different kind of mutation that gets it around the vaccination we have uh, then yeah, we're we're looking pretty good because the the thing with viruses is they can't just kind of they can't just mutate out in the world. The mutations happen when it's replicating itself. So if you're not quite if you're not sure of, of how like if you don't know how a vaccine a uh, vaccine if you don't know how a virus works, viruses can't replicate out in the world. They get into a person, and they use the person's me uh, mechanics to so like we have we have enzymes and stuff that copy DNA. Like when, when we need to grow, uh, when we need to make new cells, our, our, there's bits and bobs inside us, the, the mechanics of the body, that take a cell and copy everything that's in it and split it into two cells. Um, so they, they copy the DNA, they, they crack it open and they use one and make a copy of that as they go along and use the other one and make a copy of that as they go along and then you end up with two strands of DNA. Uh, and that's how viruses work. They jump into a cell and they go, Oi, you, I know you're doing something over there, but can you come here? I need you to copy this for me instead right now. And then it does that and it copies the virus and then two viruses leave. One virus enters a cell, two viruses leave, etc. So, And when it does that, sometimes they make mistakes. Um, sometimes the mistakes happen and it causes the piece of DNA to not function correctly at all and it just dies and it doesn't work properly. Um, sometimes it causes a mutation that makes it be able to get into cells easier or replicate faster 
or make us sneeze twice as much or, or make us bleed from our eyes or whatever it happens to be. So there's all these different, like a mutation can cause literally anything. It could cause nothing. It could just be a typo that doesn't really matter that much. Uh, like when people type T-E-H instead of T-H-E and we all know it just means the and it does not cause any issues with the sentence whatsoever. Sometimes it's a typo like that. Um, but yeah, so if it, if it can't, if we, if our bodies get onto the virus and tear it apart, before it even gets to copy itself, then no more no mutations can happen. So that's like if we get high enough vaccine rates, vaccination rates, so that not enough people are getting infected, then the risk of mutation is a lot lower because not as many people have it. And so like it's this whole yeah, it's this is obviously exceptionally simplified. There's a lot more to it than all of it's a lot more complicated. Uh, but this is like the basic bitch gist of how that all yeah so that's really uplifting news like if we manage to hit these vaccination targets while omicron is the thing of like the flavor of the year um then there's a chance there's not going to be another big mutation that causes another wave which that's really good news i'm not obviously i'm not going to like hold on to that like a life uh, raft or whatever, but um, it's a really nice thought. It's a really nice thought. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> um, uh, I'll just quick change sides. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the year I was not having a good time. End of twenty twenty one. I had another cold. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, blood pools in one side more due to gravity, which narrows the gap. So that plus mucus travel equals changing sides at night. Yeah. Yup. Uh, so this is a semi-regular ear infection, so not nasal stuff. Ah, oh, dear. So yeah, semi-regular, but if it's not active at the time, yeah, that's really sucky. That's really sucky. Was it like, I wonder if there's some kind of, because I mean, I know that like, uh, with pathology and stuff like that, you can get like a, an order for a blood test and it's good for X number of months, right? I wonder if it was like, okay, so you don't have an ear, ear infection now, but next time you have one, here is an order for tests. Next time it strikes, go book in and get these tests done and then get another referral and get booked in. And so then when you come in, even if you don't have an ear infection, when you're sitting in front of me, you'll still have the test results from when you had the last one. So I can see maybe what's going on and we can, you know, do something to prevent it from recurring. That'd be kind of cool, but I know that medicine doesn't always work like that. I uh, can't stay, just want to pop in and say hi, you big premature. Fuck yes, congrats. Ah, oh, thank you, Zaren. Thank you so much. We'll see you around as whenever you can join us. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, I haven't caught any of the COVID versions. Knock on wood. Neither. Ah, oh, yes, the good old R number. Yeah. Ban Lu for makeup. No, it's not Ban Lu. Um, so yeah, I had to, so the colors that I've got, there's like a, a light brown sort of shade in my crease. And then there's a really bright, like light green on the outer corner. And then I've got like a cream, like a creamy champagne -y sort of shade on my lid, right? So those are the three big colors. Um, now, the brown is not actually the main color of the mount. Um, I had to I had to make that the main color because the photo shoot I did this morning, I needed something a bit more neutral, not like super bright, funky eyeshadow. I needed the attention to be on something other than my makeup. So um, yeah, it's not. If I was doing this any other day, I would have shuffled the placements of the colors around a little bit. Uh, but just keeping that in mind. But those are the colors. Ah, oh dear. <clears throat> Who's excited to do transmog hunting when I have my army done, ready to go? What? It's amazing. Uh, is it flying or land? Oh, good question. Sorry, Pixel. I own this mount and it is a ground mount. It does not fly. Thank you for reminding me, Pixel. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> yeah, it's tricky. She's had tests. Narrow ear canal. Oh, no. Infections to the inner ear, so it's not as if it's water or anything getting in. Yeah. Oof. Rough. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that you've kind of got like tried and true methods of making things a little easier for her to cope with when it does happen. It's like, oh, it's that time again. Let's crack out the... Yeah, muffs. I think that'll make it worse. But you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> you know. Uh, lovely wife once got an ear infection in one ear while on antibiotics for the infection in the other one. I mean, you gotta give those tiny little bugs some some props for being, like, hella opportunistic. Because I know, like, antibiotics, oh god, antibiotics are fantastic, and when you are told to take them, you should take them, and take the whole goddamn fucking course of them. However, they also have a habit of being, like, a fucking carpet bomb. Um, I've got a few friends who literally any time they get handed a script for antibiotics and they go get the antibiotics they every time without fail pick up a treatment for thrush they have to every time because they know exactly what those antibiotics are going to do to them and lo and behold they take the course of antibiotics and about a quarter to a third of the way through they will have thrush and they will treat themselves for that as well they know it's going to happen and so they just prepare themselves because they also know that the antibiotics are for good like they need to take them, but they also know what's going to happen to their body. <laughs> uh, when you say ground, does that include aquatic, or do you ignore aquatic? I don't ignore aquatic. That's a really good question. This is not an aquatic mount. Let's let's put it that way. Um, So the way that I've been choosing, because I'm really bad at making decisions, right? The way that I've been choosing my mounts um, has been like I've got a I've got an add-on that chooses a random mount, and when it chooses that random mount, I pop it in the spreadsheet to make a makeup look for it, and then I remove it from rotation so it can't be chosen again. And I don't think, and I do that while I'm sitting in my garrison because that's where all my tunes are parked. So I'm not sure if it can actually, I'm not sure if it can actually pick an aquatic mount if I'm sitting in my garrison. Like, if you have to be in water, I don't think it'll pick one. So aquatic mounts will probably take a while before they pop up in rotation. That's a really good question, though. Um, prior to December, it had been a number of years since the last one. Oh, that's good! That's really good to hear. Greetings. Fears 50-50s indeed, we're almost there. Bring news. Almost there. What is the command to see Fears mounts? Also asked aquatic since they don't fly. Of course. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Um but yeah, that's the whole that's how I pick them, so I don't think it can choose aquatic ones using that formula. Um to see Fears mounts. There's simple armory. We'll bring up yeah, that'll bring up like all my stuff. You I I don't- I think when you pull up the page, it should refresh it from the API, so I don't think you we can- like, I don't think there's a refresh button. Come, speak with me. Or anything. Not yet left Gorrock for their Mind final march on Arkansas. Arkansas. I don't know what to do with- fair enough. Fair enough. Far too powerful to attack I'm sure you'll find something, Riz. I believe he has a plan. Anaria Shala. There's always something more to do in WoW, and if not WoW, there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of other games out there as well. I'm sure you'll be fine. Or Bakey most likely? For sure. Was up? Oh, right, it was too. Sorry, I was in mid-combat when it went off. I remember hearing the alarm. I remember hearing the, the sound. Sorry about that. Oh, I've been injuring hot with some friends the past few days. Yay! Oh, that's awesome.
Very close to death, and I just need to. <laughs> there we go. Let me hop up into the air for a moment. Yay! Won our first battle of the day. Congratulations to Puddle, Meaty, and Grubin for all your, on all your bonus shit. Well done. Green Shadow Pen, Riding Tiger. Nope. On to this battle. can't place a healer so I think I'm just gonna keep leveling so I'm looking at the berserker oh, that's a interesting camera angle brilliant Admiralty oh red powder shadow pan riding tiger nope Admiralty stallion nope Swift Shore Strider, nope. I am free. I am in your debt, little one. You have saved my people from an eternity of suffering. Oof. We will help you defeat your enemies. We will repay our debt to you, tiny one. Tiny one. Hear that, guys? I'm tiny one. Infernal Direwolf. Nope. Limited on the games I can play at the moment. Old Motherboard Fried because of power outage. One was bought for me through someone. They got the wrong one and a downgrade. So games like Ark, Conan, Outriders, New World, etc. can't play because I lag and eventually blue screen. Well, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully you're able to find some uh, gems in your Steam library or something that you haven't looked at for a while that are... Good to go on the old older motherboard. Uh, Swift Forest Strider, no. Armored Plagrot Tyrolis, nope. Good guess though, I like that one. Swift Green Hawk Strider, nope. the two I out of my log of so I could see how close I actually was to 50. News? I would forfeit I my own to soul light. to protect my people. Uh, Blue Hawk Strider. Nope. Brown Ram. Nope. Green Mechana Strider. Nope. Save up money for a gaming motherboard. For sure. Good investment. Did you know one of the Dragon Hawks still have the old Dragon Hawk animations? Uh, no I didn't. Fluorescent Green Mechana Strider. Nope. Emerald Raptor. Nope. Raven Lord, nope. Raven Lord? Isn't the Raven Lord like black and blue? Or am I thinking the wrong one? Uh, Yellow Marsh Hopper, nope. I think it's black and blue. Yeah, a bit confused. That's okay. 
Uh, red armor dragon hook still has the old ones. Rest has the new ones. Fun is meant reanimating. Oh, interesting. Uh, maybe it has a green cousin. Potentially, I'm not sure. Uh, green primal raptor. Yes, we have a winner. It is Yori. It is the green primal raptor. Yeah. So I want it like. The plan was to have the green be all the big and stuff, but I can't, I couldn't, because I had the photo shoot this morning and it needed to be neutral and I did not have time to do like two rounds of makeup. Like I just, I couldn't do it for today. Also my skin would hate me. <laughs> uh, so yes, you got the colors though. You had the colors, just not in the right proportions. I'm glad that you were still able to guess it. That makes me happy. Six to nine. Unsurprisingly. Love that. Love that for you. Um, nice. Um, click this one. Do the next one, but before I do that, have this to send to Yori. There you go, the Mega Man Legacy Collection. Congratulations. Ah, dearie me. I hope you enjoy it, or wherever the game, wherever the key ends up, I hope that they enjoy it. Guys, I'm so close. 98.53%, 2.3. Actually, this will probably do it. Turning in this quest here with the orbs. We'll probably. Yep. The future of Azeroth needs you to protect it. I have dung here a couple times. So that's fun. 99.5. Seven percent completed. Three to go. Is that forty-seven out of fifty fifties? How was the spam yesterday? Did I do well? <laughs> oh fuck! Ding! Yep. Three to go. Three to go. So excited, you guys. I'm so excited. Like, what the hell? Oh my god. Ah, oh, thank you, Angel. Thank you, Matt. You got this in the bag. Fuck yeah, I do. Fuck yeah, I do. Take care of yourself out there. Damn straight. We'll dive on into transmog hunting. Very excited. Challenge you on the mount farm. Sounds like a good idea. I'm at 631 at the moment. 631 mounts total. I know. Heartbreaker? Ah, oh, yes, gotcha. Ah, uh, I, uh, I'm honestly not expecting, like, I'm like putting out into the universe that damn straight I'm gonna get it this year, but also I recognize that I have 850 attempts. And like so far, and I'm going to get another 750 attempts this year. Um, so yeah, like I, I don't think, I don't think a challenge is appropriate where, like, we have literally no control over it at all. Like we have, we have no control, it's exactly zero control. <laughs> um, like you know, challenging people like, like with leveling and stuff like that because that's you know a determination of how much effort they they put in and and you know if they slack then they won't get there and all that kind of stuff. But it's a fucking mount drop. You can't like we have zero control over it. And I'm I'm only going to get to what is it one thousand six hundred attempts this year if if I if I if it doesn't drop and I finish out the event. I'll only have 1.6k total, which is still like, what is that? Just over half of the drop chance. Ah, we'll see, we'll see. Let's see. 
believe in you. Deserve good things. Thank you. So do you. So do you. But yeah, all we can do is give it our best shot. If it drops, fantastic. If it doesn't, next year. No harm done. Okay, on to the next one. This is Zarala. Zarala is a demon hunter. <clears throat> and I really don't want to do the writhing Maya. Why? Oh. <sighs> sure. Okay. I guess having 50 chances will be having more of a shot. Well, that's exactly it. Because you get one attempt per character per day. If you have seven characters, you get seven chances per day. If you have one character, you get one chance per day. If you have 15 characters, you get 15 chances per day. If you have 50, you have no life because you're running nothing but fucking heartbreaker runs the entire two week period. <laughs> but you get 50 chances per day, which adds up to a total of 750 because um, in Australia at least, because the, um, the event runs through to 4 a.m. But our server reset, like our, our dailies and all that kind of stuff reset, I think it's like 1 a.m. or something like that, or 2 a.m. So we have like a tiny little window there to get a 15th day in. Um, so yeah, it's uh, <laughs> yep. Life is overrated anyway. Look! Probably. Uh, the instance lock is a butt though. No, it's not. It's server based, not account based. So that's why I have my account. That's why I have all my tunes across two different uh, two different servers. I do 10 horde and I hit the instance lock. I switch to my alliance server. I do 10. I come back to horde. Do 10. Go to alliance. Do 10. Go back to horde. Do my last 10. No instance lockout. It's perfect. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just do this. <clears throat> yeah, it's a very, very, very good reason I did 30, uh, 30 Horde and 20 Alliance rather than an even... I would have loved to do... 25 and 25 and make it an even split, but uh, I chose not to specifically for the instance lockout workaround. Means I can get my runs done in about two and a half hours rather than five hours because <laughs> it's a long ass time. Plus it'd mean I have all that time to burn trying to do something while I wait for the instances to unlock. God. I can't imagine my content would be very entertaining if I had to wait like that. But that's just me. Obviously. It's, uh... stuff. Do not having a life. It's almost like you've not thought this through. I know, right? Who the fuck plans shit, dupe? Who the fuck plans this? Going through the Legion Gathering quest made me glad I didn't do it while it was current. Oh dear. Alright, let's get us some Vile Fangs. If you think this through, always. Usually, okay, usually. Not always. Sometimes I do shit and then go, oh fuck. <laughs> I'm good at that. Oh, tomorrow's squirt day.
I did the Dalaran Legion pet battle today on all 30 tunes of the 20 shiny charms. Only two things I need with them now. Oh, that's awesome, Yori. Can't, can you still buy the, um, the, air, like the blue, the rare stones, the blue quality stones with the pet charms, the polished ones? Because I definitely have like a shitload of, um, of pets that still need upgrading. And then of course a handful of pets that need um, leveling, but even more pets I still need to get. <clears throat> That's okay. There's uh, There are plans for that. This bitch is a ch this bitch's completion score is gonna go through the roof now that my 50-50s are, well, once my 50-50s are done. Where the fuck are all the vile fangs? Stop killing them, you little annoying NPCs. I need them for my quest. Oh, I'm not actually sure if you can or not. I haven't looked. Oh, that's okay. Not a worry at all. Not a worry at all. You can't all the useful stones move to pet charms. Oh, right. Shiny charms. Not polished pet charms. My mistake. That's entirely- that- I thought we were talking about the polished pet charms. I didn't realize we were talking about the old shiny ones. Yep, cool, we're good. Everything's fine. I have everything I need with the shiny charms. Um, and I think I had, like, some, like, thousands of them still sitting in my bank, even though I'd bought everything. I can't remember what I dropped them into. Um, I forget. That's okay. Where the fuck are the vile fangs? They're all dead. Lord. This one. <clears throat> mm. I'm supposed to use what is Amazon to boost my auctions. They killed everything. What I know, right? What the hell? What the hell? Why can't you just park a tune in the Zuldazar Bazaar and use that as your auction tune, Rose? If you miss it, like, isn't surely that's easy to do. Uh, I should push the freaking planet, apparently. So we're gonna try it for you. Two void talent searches every time. And oh, that's okay, Min's not a worry at all. Thank you for thank you for even looking. I really appreciate that. Oh goodness. No, it's okay. Totally okay. Yeah, they're not usually up by now. Um, most of them because there's like three days after a server reset, they can't spawn for three days. Um, so most of them start spawning, like, the Friday-Saturday kind of period, and by this point they've all spawned. Um, so yeah, usually it's a Saturday that you want to be looking. Um, but I, because that's when there's a mass spam of all of the, like, if you're in the WoW Secret Finding Discord, um, that's when all the posts go up. It's like, our, like, my Saturday evening. This is- this feels wrong. Something's wrong here. Something's broken. With the fact that these just aren't spawning. It's really, really odd. Like, this one's literally spawned six seconds ago, you know? Ah, uh, I could have, like, a mega ass and two minutes or something. Yeah, well done. Well done. Yeah, it does give a bit. I mean, math will tell you it will. <laughs> 
two more. I still need two. Good lord. This is like... That one spawned in dead, as did that one. So it looks like the ones that the grunts have killed aren't respawning. Because usually there's a whole bunch of them in this middle area here that are in combat with grunts. But these packs just aren't spawning at all. It's super strange. Sleep now, rest well, men's. Rest well. Maybe if the ones near it die, they'll respawn. Like the whole pack will respawn. Hello, Krazy. Welcome back. Impacts other things just uh, trigger a wider respawn. Effect. Yeah, it makes yeah it makes the time pass quicker. Hey, makes you feel like you're doing something. I'm feeling like maybe the ones that probably killed that one, if they die, maybe the whole pack will respawn. If we kill these two with this one. If like all three of them will respawn, maybe. Yeah, it's just really strange that none of them are up. around either be understandable if they were exactly exactly but this place is fucking abandoned I just don't get it and it's literally like they've been that that dead court like this this NPC has been spawned for four days and 15 hours so it's not like I've just missed it and it's been killed whereas these have been around for three hours so it's like, that one's respawned after five minutes because that's the one I killed. Like, yeah, it's just really annoying and weird and unfortunate. You there has been alive for seven seconds. I just caught the respawn. When you need one more, they'll all come back. Yep. I mean, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Excuse me. This one's despawned now. So that's good. That egg, when I interacted with it, it didn't seem to spawn anything. Anyway, it's supposed to spawn Varasha, I think. No, the egg popped up. It's been there the whole goddamn time. Yeah, this has slowed down my leveling experience significantly. You and a 
like in these trying times. Uh, you could try phasing to someone else's realm. Not worth it. Not worth it. That's just too much of a hassle. And if this if it's a spawning issue, chances are it's a spawning issue across all the realms. Um, spawning bugs like that don't tend to affect just one shard. They tend to affect like a whole shitload. And when there's no one here, it should be CRZing. Like it should be cross realm zoning me anyway. So if there was anyone else around, like if they zoned in down here to try to phase me, they would probably zone into my CRZ because of how few people there are here. Got rid of the body, yep. Yep. Hey, okay, welcome on in. How you going? There we go. Let's see. To the next one! Well, that took a lot longer than it should have. Oh, well. Should we go to ally tune to 50? Yay, Kay! Well done! Well done. This is another bonus objective I fucking hate, but that's fine. We'll just, we'll get it done. It'll be okay. Oh. And after this one, there are only two more tunes that even possibly have to do it. And they may have already done it. I don't know. I'm not sure where they're up to. So working through story to unlock Kul Tirin and Dark Iron. Of course, of course, it does take a little while. Hopefully it'll be a little bit faster. Um, oh wait, hang on, is that your first ally tune at that level? Is that why you're leveling up specifically for the Dark Iron and Kul Tirin? I did the same thing, so no, no judgement. But I was like, you know, oh, I was thinking, oh, it'd be much faster to get through the story if you're at 60. Because uh, things will die a little bit quicker, but no. If you don't have a 60, it's not going to fucking help, is it? Hello, Ava. How you doing? Welcome on into chat. I'm on at 54. Haven't done the story. Gotcha. Uh, so I checked my account. My computer had my account and password saved. There you go, Wookie. Well done. Thanks, computer, for remembering that for us. Always useful. Excuse me. Been used since 2017. Well, there you go. Five years later. I wonder where those other tunes are up to in terms of progress through spires. I'm pretty sure they're all in spires. Just 
hope I don't have to do these uh, fucking bonus objectives again. Uh, we'll see how we go. There are some I don't mind, but some other ones are just a little bit tricky. A little bit annoying, just areas where you pull 50 million things all at once. Not super fun. Congratulations to Puddle, Grubin, and Dupe on your bonus shit. Well done. Just finish off this dude a little bit. There we go. Back to the map. And it's the token chest. Make sure you place your unit in this battle if you want some bonus tokens. Help you cap off those last few tiers in the glitched event. Certainly worth it. Certainly worth it. <laughs> Yay, bonus shit, dupe. Jackie, welcome on in. How are you going? Hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, and Qualitron, thank you so much for reminding me. We do have merch. Merch is a thing. And, uh, I'm planning on releasing some more merch for the six year anniversary of the stream, which is the end of February. So, if there's anything you've particularly wanted from fear branding on something physical in the real world, I would love to know. I would love to know. <laughs> I'm tired, and you? Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I'm pretty tired, but I've also had a bit of a mood boost today. Um, I have a, a sponsorship with a company that I signed the, the paperwork for a few weeks back and then I got the product 
um, just recently. So I had to do like a, a photo shoot because part of the part of my responsibility, like part of my side of the deal, um, is making a series of like social media posts and stuff. So I had to get photos of the products to be able to make those posts. Um, so Jess and I did a photo shoot this morning, and um, it's the first time I've done like a real serious photo shoot for a, like a, a product based sponsorship. And I was super nervous with how it was going to turn out, um, but I'm I'm so happy with the results. Like I'm I'm so happy with how all the shots turned out, uh, and I feel quite good about myself. So I'm like it's been it's given me a bit of a, a mood boost, but I'm still very tired. So I'm happy but tired. <laughs> so I'm I'm really looking forward to being able to post that stuff on socials. It's fucking great. Yeah, it's it's really awesome. Like I've had um, obviously you know I I've worked with. Um, a few companies like for example Logitech has sent me products and stuff but I've kind of done that stuff myself um but so this is the first time that I've kind of gotten Jas involved in the whole process and done like an actual what I would consider like professional photo shoot um but yeah it's it's really exciting um because you know I mean like getting sponsorship deals that involve social media posts and stuff like that it like it exposes you guys obviously to whatever product is whatever company is sponsoring me but it also exposes me to their followers already so like if they if they decide that one of the shots i've taken is really really awesome and they decide to share it on their socials then all of their followers now also know me and that's a huge deal like that that kind of they're, they're under no obligation to do so they might decide that hey that's cool like let's do that um so yeah, that kind of reciprocity is is huge, uh, and there's also the like if if someone else like if there's another company out there who kind of who sees my content and goes hmm she's interesting I wonder if she'd work well with our brand but they're sort of like sitting on the fence about it if they jump onto my socials and they see a, a project I've done with another brand that's really good quality and has gone super well and they go also oh, that's how she handles product sponsorships. Mm, maybe we should maybe we should partner with her so it's um of course you know having an audience on places like instagram are a big thing as well i'm um, still trying to grow that following as well but yeah it's um it's a pretty big deal it's a pretty big deal so i'm i'm really happy with it all yeah can you design a fiamma water bottle so everyone can hydrate together yes what would you like to be on the fiamma water bottle hey how you doing Hello. I think yes. Give me a second. Uh, let, before I promise that, give me just a second. I'm pretty sure Spring has a water bottle. Time is money, friend. <clears throat> Drinkware. Yes. They do have a water bottle. It's made of stainless steel. Details. How much is 20 ounces in mil? 600 mil, roughly. Oh, it's double walled, vacuum sealed. Beautiful. So yes, I, I could absolutely do that. But what would you want to be on it? They are they are white. Um, the base color for them is white. There's no other options for that. Um. But it's an all-over print, and then it's got like a stainless steel. Um, yeah, so it's a white bottle with a stainless steel lid. What would you like to be on the bottle? That is dope. I think so. Got a mouse pad. Mouse. 
Oh, no, they don't seem to have mouse pads. They do have yoga mats, but that might be a bit big. <laughs> um, it might be just a touch too large for your desk. Um, what's in the gaming collection? Yeah, no, they don't have any, like, I thought maybe they'd have, like, a desk mat or something, but no. Unfortunately not. Not yet. However, I will say that since I've launched my, my t-shirts, they have launched so many new products that you can design as, as merch. So, like, they are always expanding. Um, I think, I'm not sure if they have, like, a comment, you know, compliments and, and complaints kind of section somewhere on the website, but they might have somewhere where you can, like, drop in like an, a, a request or recommendation for a product. I don't know though. I'm not too sure. Unfortunately, no mouse pads. Uh, I would buy one that just said exclamation hydrate. <laughs> Make it feel more redeemed hydrate. So we would have to drink, take your revenge, you know. Ah, that'd be kind of cool. That's a cool idea. What is the font that Twitch uses on the website? Like with all the chat and stuff. Does anyone know what the font is? Because if I'm going to do it, you know I'm going to fucking do it right. Rupert, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like Twitch font. That's that's exactly it. So first it uses enter, and if the user slash browser doesn't have enter, then it's Rupert. If they don't have that, it's Helvetica. Apparently enter's a Google font though. Why would someone not have enter? Interesting. Did we do it yet? Not yet. I'm on my third last stream. We've got one more 50 today. This is my second I'm working on for the day. I'm about to paste the same text. Might not be using a Google browser. You can do it. I know I'm so excited, Barry. Thank you so much for your encouragement. I'm so excited. Hey, how you doing? Time is money, friend. I have to accept. <clears throat> Welcome, friend. I was thinking I could do it and have it say like Fiamma Redeemed Hydrate, but with like the partner badge on the front and stuff to make it like hyper realistic. And then I realized I probably can't sell anything with the partner badge on it because it'll be copyright. So, <laughs> probs not. Um, so this BFA questing is so much easier with flying. Fucking oath, isn't it just? Oh my god, isn't it just? Everything is easier with flying. 
everything is easier with flying. Not to say I don't appreciate having to use ground mounts for a while. Like, I like going through and exploring and stuff. Like, if you just fly over th everything, you just, you miss so much. But it is nice to have flying once you earn it. It is nice to have it. Someone was talking about that for fishing rod. Yes, Splucy. No, not Splucy. Wait. No, wait. Yes? I think it was Splucy. Uh, badge has a trademark. Yeah, absolutely. It's a Twitch logo. Just like how all of my emotes are my stuff. And I grant Twitch a, a license to use them and to, to sell the ability to use them by uploading them. That's like, I explicitly, by uploading an emote, you agree to let Twitch monetize it for on your behalf. But, um, yeah. That's Waluigi L. <laughs> yeah, all that kind of shit's trademarked. Absolutely. Which is also why, like, I made up um, cross-stitch patterns for the, you know, um, Dupe. Okay, no, Dupe has the second badge at the moment. But you know how, like, if Dupe didn't have the second place gifted badge, you know how Dupe had the little red one, the little red present badge before? I've made cross-stitch patterns for all of those coloured uh, gift thingamajigs. Um, but I can't sell them. Because although I made the pattern by hand... The, uh, the the art that it's based on is is Twitch's trademark. So I can't I can't monetize that. Yeah, that one. Thank you, Duke. Thank you so much. Yeah, the little the little red one with the like the red and then it fades to a lighter red and it has a darker band down the middle and that kind of stuff. I have made a a cross stitch pattern for that badge as well as all the other colours. For reasons. Um you guys know the reasons. Um uh, but I can't, and I would love to be able to sell that in case people wanted to use it for their own creations and stuff, but I can't. I can't sell them because, um, it's not my art. It's like, Barry sent me pixel art. Um, Barry sent me a present of pixel art, and it was fucking beautiful, and I love it very, very much. And I made a cross-stitch pattern out of it. Um, but I wouldn't be able to sell that because it's not my art. Nor what I want to, because it was Barry's present for me, and... The only person I would give that pattern to would be Barry. <laughs> Unless Barry was like, yes, let's get all the ANZ partner friends together and we'll all learn to cross stitch using this pattern. Uh, in which case I would absolutely give it to all of them. But like, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a thing. However, a font, depending on the font, some fonts are also trademarked. Some fonts are also trademarked, but it looks like Rubit can be downloaded from anywhere basically for free. Because um, it's not, I don't think Twitch actually bought like the rights to it or anything like that. They're just using a font. So it's like, I don't think anyone has the trademark to Arial or Helvetica. Uh, to be fair, mostly copy that Phoenix pattern. It's not mine either. Ah, there you go. <laughs> well, I definitely wouldn't then. But this is this is why you fucking check shit before. <laughs> but yeah, even even if I was going to sell that cross stitch pattern, the first thing I would do is approach Barry and say, "Hey, I've made this pattern based on art that you sent me. Would you would you be okay with me monetizing that? And if if you were, would you want a percentage of any kind? Right." That's the right thing to do. And then the right thing for Barry to do would be to tell me. You can't do that because I didn't create it completely either. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's why communication is fucking important. In all circumstances, communication is everything. Obzo wants 69% of all sales. Well, that's a lot. <laughs> oh, it's not selling the image. Hold on, couldn't you sell the pattern of the present? It's not selling the image. No, but it's... it's um. It's still, it's like, okay, so it's like people who sell um, on Etsy, they'll sell a pack of like a banner and napkins and uh, disposable plates and disposable cups and everything that have a Disney princess on them intended for use. Like it's a kit for a kid's birthday party. They still can't sell it. They're not selling Cinderella, but they are selling an item heavily based upon and featuring Cinderella. It's the same thing. It's still IP. It's intellectual property. So the little present icon is Twitch's IP. 
No matter what I do with it, I could put it on a badge, I could put it on a drink bottle, I could put it on a shirt, I could make a cross-stitch pattern out of it. I still can't sell that because it's not my intellectual property. Uh, let's just say, of course, of course. Uh, I was going to say made for Thomas or Berry. Ah, that would have been adorable. But yeah, it's um intellectual property stuff is. Yeah, so um, I remember there was a, a fantastic post um, around how to get around Disney's lawyers um, that I found. Like I, I went deep diving on Etsy bullshit, um, and you know, you know, it's like when you fall down a wiki hole. You're like reading an article and you click something, and then you read that article, and then you click something, and you read, and you click. I went down an Etsy blog hole, um, and good lord. <laughs> but basically, the the idea of getting around Disney's lawyers hey, applies to pretty much anything else. You cannot use the images yeah, and stuff want? directly. If it's ah fifty. I got a 50! I got a 50! Oh shit, I need to tweet it before it goes away. Uh, 48 out of 50. 50s! Did I spell that right? Good. Um, so basically, like, this person was using Tangled um, as a thing. Like, you can't do Tangled stuff. You can't put the Tangled TM logo on something. You can't put a direct silhouette that is featured in any of the products on the thing. You can't put her in her dress on the thing. You can't put her face on the thing. Um, but what you can do is pull all the colors. You've got the pink, you've got the blue, you've got that kind of earthy sort of palish sort of green. Uh, you've got yellow. Obviously there's a few different shades of yellow in there and you can use all of those. Plus you can get some like, you can purchase some as, uh, the commercial license to some flower clip art. And you can have vines and you can place those flowers on those vines and you can make a banner that says happy birthday in all the right colors and when you look at it you immediately think that's fucking tangled especially when you've got the five-year-old next to it all dressed up as what's her face rapunzel um and and you've got the entire pack of five-year-olds watching tangled in the other room you know it's tangled but it doesn't actually reference it anywhere it's all about the context. Um, but yeah, that's that's how you get around Disney's lawyers. Uh, just did my 100th Rivendare kill. This is a terrible idea and his horse is stupid. 209. 209. You're halfway there. Got some 48. Thank you, Matt. Almost there indeed. Congrats. Thank you, Angel. Kind of like Disney bounding. The fuck is that? I don't know what that is, Templar. <laughs> It is now on my TV. I've never casted Twitch to a TV before. Oh my god! Can you see all of my, my flaws and shit, dude? Maybe I'm too big. This is scary. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Okay, two to go! Ah! 99.72%! Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. What flaws? Ah, uh, all of them. I cover them with makeup. <laughs> makeup is so useful. It's so much fun to play with, but it's also really useful. I'm in the kitchen, so no, brilliant. You're flawless. I call bullshit. Everyone has flaws. Everyone has flaws. I talk too much and am very self-absorbed. Like, <laughs> thought you said pores. Also those. I have lots of pores and they are large. Especially on my nose. And because I sniffle so much because of the sinus bullshit, I always rub my nose as well, which means all the makeup comes off my nose. Yeah, it's great. I'm gonna close the door and put the aircon on because it's fucking hot in here. Oh. Oops. Oh, this was oh this way. Doing my nails on Monday, legit accidentally made them trans flags. Yay! It looks so good. Oh, that's awesome. 
That's awesome. I think I actually do have, I never use, like I didn't have the blue. I had pinks and I had whites. I didn't think I had the blue, but the other day when I was going through stuff, I realized that I've inherited a blue nail polish from a friend that is the right, the exact right blue. I was like, huh, interesting. Uh, all right, how are we looking? Oh God, uh, yeah, let's abandon a fuck ton of those. And then get rid of mud rain. I'm in Talador on this tune. Interesting. Um, Disney bounding is adults dressing up like Disney characters in Disneyland, like wearing a yellow dress. Well, they can't be exact because Disney doesn't allow it. So to not confuse the kids. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. So like, instead of wearing a fucking yellow ball gown to go to Disney, you just like wear like a yellow summer dress or something like a slip dress or something like that, but it's still yellow. So it's still like representing, it's like Belle on vacation kind of deal. Isn't there, like I've never, well, we don't have a Disney in Australia uh, and I've never been to the places that have Disney places thingies. Isn't there that whole like princess workshop or whatever where you go in and they like do you up in the style or do you have to take it off before you leave the area? I imagine you must, you like take your photos and then they strip you like, <laughs> Yeah, no, we don't. Ah. Oh, Australia doesn't. Yeah, no, Australia doesn't. Oh, dear. Oh, I guess our labor laws might be too restrictive for a, a Disney theme park. They'd have to pay out the employees too much. Sure, kids can wear official costumes in the park. Maybe it's only for children. Ah, huh. interesting. They, I remember seeing a Big Bang Theory episode where they went in and they dressed them up and stuff. Like they they went, um, the the girls, where the the women went for a trip and they went to the the princess thing and did all that. Um, but yeah, I I mean the the dresses like the ball the full on ball gowns they must be rentals, like just to take photos and then you know then you get your makeup and hair done sure. But then everything else must be rented because uh, I can only imagine how much it'd cost to do that if you had to like purchase the fucking dress and everything. Good loud. I mean, you know, more power to you if you've got the money and you want to spend it on that. Sure, go for it, have fun. But um, I'm not sure I could afford that, <laughs> personally. Oh, I accidentally hit that. So I'm in combat. Good. I can't believe I've got two to go, you guys. That's it. Two more. And this one's at... 36%. Mm. Yep, definitely starting to cool down in here now. That's nice. So you finish. I'm actually exhausted after 11 hour shift. Looking forward to seeing the VOD tomorrow. Ah, oh, Princess, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope work treated you okay, even if you are tired. I hope work still treated you well. Rest well. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for saying hi. So now that Disney acquired Lucasfilm, Leia is a Disney princess. Yeah, she has been for a while now. <laughs> Absolutely, she is.
I can grab one at a time. Cause these two hurt together, like hurt together. Uh, Disney Princess and Princess of Disney are two different things. <laughs> but Leia's a badass Disney Princess. And didn't she fit most of the criteria of a Disney Princess anyway? Like, you know, the whole... Um, there was something to do with parents and then some kind of hardship and then standing up for something and having like blah, blah, blah. There, there were this whole, this whole checklist that every single Disney princess goes through, like the whole formulaic movie thing. Um, and I was pretty sure that Leia ticked all the boxes anyway. Like there are a ton of, you know, childhood movies and stuff that do, but Leia in particular, even though it was Star Wars movies, still ticked the boxes. Talks to animals. No, not all of them talk to animals. I think there's one or two that don't. That don't. And true, Disney princess is explicitly a title granted by Disney themselves. Well, if they didn't grant it to Leia, then they're assholes. Because she's badass and like led an entire fucking rebellion against something that was bad, protected her people, sacrificed herself, all this shit. I think she deserves it. Regardless of whether she was originally a fairy tale. And stolen <laughs> by Disney from whoever else. At least they purchased this one instead of stealing it, right? Okay, just don't steal them, got it. <laughs> okay, more like purchasing the rights to make movies about them. Purchasing the rights to their likeness. Congratulations to Koala, Zam, and Puddle on all of your bonus shit. Let us head. I think we're going towards a skin chest now. Oh! Ah! 37 complete! Amazing! Glitched diamond one badge. Means I also get myself a diamond QA healer skin. And we're gonna head down towards that skin chest for those of you who are still missing a skin or two from this collection. Uh, right. Alright, I placed my two healers, so I'm just leveling stuff now. So, flag bearer, it is. Um. Stream is on TV, looks awesome. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it! Before I get too distracted again, good night, no worries at all, princess. Rest well. We'll see you next time.
<clears throat> Did have a hydrate? I thought I did. Lid's still on. Good! Go fair. Well done. Turning in some quests. Turning in some quests. Anaria Shola. The defenses will not Go fall more and meet with Soulbinder Ezra. Oh, can do she has to retrieve the final fragment. Pleasantries can wait. Right away. We are sixty percent. Good night, matey. We'll see you next time. Rest well. And yes, we'll see you tomorrow. keen to do some transmog hunting. I'm like, as much as yesterday and today has been just incredible in terms of crossing all the 50s off the list, I am done with leveling. 
I'm I'm done. <clears throat> now I'd like to do something else for a while before I start leveling shit to 60, I think. And I think that that's a reasonable ask. What about you? <laughs> It's a true at one point leveling alts. Well, I mean, I have had, I've enjoyed this entire journey, don't get me wrong. But it's been like I've been doing this leveling challenge since June, midway through June. I decided I wanted to get 50 tunes to level 50, and today I'm going to achieve that. Today I'm going to hit that, and that's awesome. It feels amazing. It hasn't felt like a chore at any point. But now it's kind of like, I'm just so excited for it to be done. Not because I hate it, just because it's been a lot. <laughs> 50 level 50s. Come on. Come on. That's, that's, a, that's a bit. If you get the love rocket next month, I really hope that heartbreaker drops. Like, I, like, good lord. I really hope it does. If it doesn't, I won't be angry or upset. I'll just kind of be like, okay, on to the next thing. But, like, it would be just the cherry on top of this whole fucking challenge to be able to get that to drop. It would be so good. Concentrate, sisters. We must maintain Come, speak with me. Greetings. All right, so I'm on 73% now. This is my second last one. My God, I can't believe it's so close. Ah! Holy shit, such a journey. Oh, we do ATT or farm time walking on this ATT. I've done my time walking. For the for the week I'm um, it was good fun but I I want something a little less concentrated I think I mean not that you really have to concentrate too too much on time walking um but yeah I would I would like to just run through packs and make them melt with a random button push and yeah Get lots of happy, happy brain juice noises. 5050s is a long ass time to put into leveling. At least now it's almost done and dusted. I know, it's so close. You want something you can face roll? Exactly. I want something I can face roll. I am trying to figure out if I should make them into, like, each dungeon that we do today, turn it into a lack uh, and get you guys involved and come along with me and, uh, and, and run the dungeon. Obviously for transmog, but also, like, hey, it'd be nice to see how much gold we can make too. Plus running them together, like, you know, playing with viewers, but not actually playing with viewers, you know. You don't have 50 ults, you can grind all the badges. I know. I know, but do you know how long it would take to do 50 fucking time walking dungeons? <laughs> Always love those, the, the loot appraiser challenges. Well, I do have all the add-ons installed and up to date, so like, we could. I could just turn it on and, and go for it. You do need to be on my friends list, though. So exclamation add me if you haven't if you're not on my Battle.net friends list. Uh, and then before I start up a challenge I can go through and add people. So unfortunately I know, yeah. <laughs> but I think we did a really good job the other night of going through a whole bunch of them. I, I did cross off a few little transmogs here and there. Clearly, I mean, there are still so many uh, Time Warp badge rewards that I need to buy that are like 5,000, 2,000, that kind of thing. So I don't, I like, once those are purchased, oh fuck, it'll be so quick to buy up all the rest of everything else. It might even get to the point where I actually have to take the tune to the place to be like, is there anything that this one can actually buy? Or am I going to do this dungeon, get 500 badges and have nothing to spend them on? <laughs> Although I can always spend them on the, um, the uh, heirloom upgrade items as well. I still need a fuck ton of those. But I want to prioritize the strictly time warped badges rewards first. Um, for what I assume are obvious reasons, but... There's my last character. Second last, Nab. Super close. Second last character. Good evening, Trud. How are you going?
mercy of the Orbor, you will be the first of a new breed of conquerors. <laughs> <clears throat> do you do the same thing on each character leveling? Yes. Well, as of Jano. It's the fastest. Plus, it gets me my garrison set up as well. Means less work once they're at 50, or whatever level I'm trying to get them to. Okay, just got back from my holiday down the coast. Fantastic! I hope you had a wonderful time. Good. Glad to hear it. Bring news. Do some noms, I think, because uh, well, actually, we might be fine now that we've got to things in. Um, I was on holiday down coast last week. Two tried. Ah, they go. What options are still valid for garrison gold making? Believe savage bloods don't work anymore, right? Ah, uh, yeah, they did. They massively nerfed those. I flip cards of omen. Inscription. Come, speak Look, to me. an actual human. Fifty. One to go. One to go. Ah, oh, better man is going full inscription time to grind that gold. Um, you been in my game? Oh, I know. Thank you, Matt. Oh my god. One. One more to go. Ninety nine point eight six percent complete. Ah, holy fuck. I never thought I'd get, like, I honestly wasn't sure if I'd actually get to this point. This is so exciting. Take care of yourself out there. One left. One more to go. Thank you, Vio. Oh. Last one. She's a druid. Oahu. Hmm. I wonder where she's at. One more to go! Oh, one more to go. This is just like, <laughs> this is insane. You have more to 50, what's the plan? Play like in what? What do you mean, Nab? Sorry, I'm not sure I understand the question. Um, but the, like, I was getting them to 50 for Lovers in the Air, for farming the Heartbreak amount. So I'll have 750 attempts for the Heartbreak amount because it's one per day per character across 15 days. Um. Uh, 
Yeah. Ah, uh, it's three. It's three. Is a fishing hat on a bird anyway? Yeah, doing garrisons every day does not take that much time. Like, making gold with the garrison takes approximately like 10 to 20 seconds per character, if that. Not like not even that. You just turn off all your add-ons and log it, load in screens become nothing. Um, you load in, click a button, wait for it to craft, and then log out. And then you turn to the next turn. Log in, click a button, wait for it to craft, craft, log out. Like it's it's super super quick. Um, so no, it's it's not that big a deal. Um, Long ago. Okay, this one is literally like zero point zero three percent into level forty nine. So I have to get the whole level. Um, but that's fine. Surely it'll take no time at all. With the Aracola, but the Talon King came alone. And what ensued was not a war, it was a slaughter. and power matched only by the wind. With the sweep of his wings, he cut down even the strongest of the blood main like so many blades of grass. Their pride lord was fierce, but he was no match for Terak. Satisfied that his message was clear, the Talon King yeah, left the so Blood Mane to pick up the pieces of their broken tribe. It's on Friday, so I'm, I'm so screwed. Oh no, Kazi. Uh, Let me tell you a story. That sucks. Shadows gather. Fly me to Talon Watch. I have myself to blame. I know, but it still sucks. I was like, damn my past self. Yep. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> you make top five work hard for next year. Come in May, of course, of course. This curse has not broken. Me. What are we without? That's right. The druids can do this bit really easily. I forgot about that. That my last one was a druid. This should be a breeze. Doing. That the setup cost running an army of alts to garrison like making is that high. Or any easier, the inflation will be massive. You make it back pretty quickly. <laughs> Just saying. Good time investment. It's it's not that bad. 
like it's really not that bad if if you actually focus and get it done it's um i am a very very slow leveler i also don't spend a whole lot of time leveling and the thing the other thing is once it's set up it's done and you can just rake in the gold with very, very low actual outgoings. Like, you can do it with zero outgoings for years upon years upon years. So, yeah. It's not as bad as you'd think. Bloods, please. <clears throat> what I meant is, if it were easier, more people would do it, so the amount of raw gold per uh, on the market would be higher. Um, honestly, the reason more people don't do it is because they look at, like, they look at how much work is involved and they think it's a big deal when it actually isn't. The, the perception of hard work is enough to put people off, regardless of whether it's actually hard work or not. So it's, it's got nothing to do with whether or not it actually is a lot of time or whatever, uh, and all to do with, I don't want to play that stuff. Or I don't want like that's that's too much. Like anyone like there are there is a massive chunk of the population of the game who think that anything beyond doing a key is too much effort to make gold. There are so many ways in this game to make low effort raw gold. So many ways. People don't do it because they're lazy, not because there's this exorbitantly high tie. Like it's literal just laziness. The vast majority of humans are lazy. <laughs> like, it's it's that easy. Plus, it's also a video game, and if they don't enjoy, like, actually enjoy leveling, then why the fuck should they? If they don't enjoy gold making, then why should they? But no, it's, um, that is not the barrier to entry. I guarantee you. Um, also the knowledge that it's actually a thing. Um, but a lot of people don't know that it's actually still profitable. Um, a lot of people knew that it was back in Wad, but they don't realize it still is. Um, and so they just don't know. Uh, I mean, I've just stream lately. No, it's totally fine, Kat. You don't, you never need to apologize for that at all. You have no obligation to be here. None at all. Personally, don't enjoy massive grinds. Totally fine. And it's a video game. So if you don't enjoy it, then I don't think that you should do it. Because you, this is, this is what you choose to spend your leisure time on. You should be having fun. So if you're not having fun, play a different part of the game. <laughs> In my opinion, anyway. I know a lot of people don't agree with me, but that's okay. They don't have to. Hey, a nurse. Welcome back. Yeah, with the with the garrison set up though, like the leveling is the only grind. The the only grind involved is leveling. Um, if you have any amount of gold, um, like I mean, there is there is obviously a gold cost to like build the buildings and all that kind of stuff. But um, all of my every single one of my tunes now, all fifty characters, regardless of what level they are. I mean, obviously they're all now fifty, but even before then. Every single one of them has a completely functional garrison. 100% functional garrison. Um, you don't need to be level 50 to do that. Um, I think you only need to be level 30 at this point to have it completely functional. Um, so even that, even, get, even getting to level 30 is not that big a grind these days at all. Um, you do need to have the gold from like your main or whatever. 
Uh, the only other thing is uh, garrison resources. Waiting for the garrison resources to, to clock up. But if you log in every three days, your garrison resource case will be full. There'll be 500 in there. Uh, you can take that and you can go build a building or two. Uh, and then there'll be a period where it needs you to get 2,000 resources um, because to, to upgrade to level 3. Once everything's cut, once everything's capped and you need to take the step to get to level 3, you need 2,000, but you just log in after 3 days, grab your 500. Wait another 3 days, grab your 500. Wait another 3 days, grab your 500. And wait another 3 days, grab your 500, upgrade to tier 3. And then just keep on logging in every, th every 3 days, grabbing those resources and building another building. Uh, it's not- it- it's such low effort. Low as fuck effort. Um, which, you know, good for some, not so good for others. Uh, some people want it now, um, but I like the fact that it's totally passive. Like, it's- it's almost entirely passive once it's set up. Uh, even during setup, it's fairly, like, seriously logging in every three days and clicking a couple buttons. I think I can do that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty breezy to set up, not gonna lie. Eh. What are we without the sky? Ah, uh, Mrs. Trainer's Rose made me sad to miss them. Aw, that sucks, Cat. I'm sorry you're sad. There are VODs, though. Um, Twitch holds my VODs for 60 days because I'm partnered. So you've got two whole months to go back and watch anything you might have missed. Which is a nice thing. Hey, Scarlet. I'm here for low effort. I really want to set up. Yeah, low effort is great. I, I do not have time for any more than low effort. <laughs> I do not have time for any more than low effort. I'm oh, sorry, I'm doing double major though. My body mainly sleeps. Does that have to hate me miss playing WoW? That's okay. When, like when you're on break and stuff like that, you'll find time to play if you can. Uh, if it's if it's still a high priority to you, you'll you'll find the time. Um, and if it's not, that's okay too. So you sit and figure out what I need, of course. Finish my spreadsheet. It was so t but too tired to start my challenge. That's okay. I understand that. Look, setting up something that big and awesome is, uh, it does take it out of you. But then, uh, you know, now it's ready to go for you and you never have to set it up again. I do enjoy certain aspects of gold making. Logging into every character every day will siphon a lot of fun away from me. Keep an eye for where to get all 50 characters leveled to 30. Then don't. <laughs> Simple as that. Then don't. Um, there are so many, like, you know, enjoying gold making, there are so many different ways to make gold, as I'm sure you're aware. Um, preaching to the choir here, but yeah, like, if you're not gonna have fun doing it, then don't do it. It's, it's really as simple as that. But I do, so you're not going to change my mind. So, <laughs> like, yeah. Guess I'm just a little bit confused as to why we're like. Yeah, it's uh, that's fine. Uh, there we go. Sun nine one one race to become among the first people on my server to have unlocked Crafter's Mark of the Chained Isle. Brilliant. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself with that. That's awesome. Hope you made a decent stack of cash too. Uh, congratulations to Fairy, Krazy, Zam, BQ, and Koala on all your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, we're gonna go down towards this skin chest here. Uh, 
I'm also going to go uh, turn in that quest. Alrighty, that one's still trying to just get me to um, respec. But I don't want to do that. I want to unlock the next unit instead. Ah, uh, cool. There we go. Did it switch? It did. Good! <clears throat> I'm not good at keeping track. Maybe 500k to 1 million. Ah, brilliant. Um, if you want to get better at keeping track, TSM will do it for free. Like, TSM will do it without you even having to do anything. Uh, like... Um... That's my... Wait for it. All-time gold. Can you see where I bought the Brutazor? This here, that's when I upgraded all my garrisons. That's when I went through and actually built them all up, all my alts. I spent... A lot. And I think I bought a few other things as well or whatever, but then, uh, yep. <laughs> and then I bought another couple million worth of gold, um, worth of mounts, and then more mounts, and then, yep. It's been pretty good. But yeah, it'll keep track of you. It'll keep track of all your gold. That's perfection. That's just Horde side. Um, that's just Horde side. <clears throat> oh, just send an opponent and they'll disable the keys and stuff. Yeah, but I mean, it'll just log how much gold you've got across everything whenever you log into them. So, like. Disabling it for keys shouldn't matter because as soon as you enable it, it'll go, okay, timestamp, let's clock how much gold they've got. Like, it's. That doesn't matter. It'll still track it. Oh, new side project. Get into the garrison game. Fuck yeah. It's, yeah, look, it's worth it. Just for the inscription stuff, it's just, it's passive gold. If it's not, like, if it's something that you can see yourself actually doing, it's, uh, it's really nice. can be used to buy pets. It can. It can indeed. Shadows gather. Okay. But it tracked whatever sales it could track, not the amount of gold in your inventory. Uh, well, it seem I don't have TSM turned on on all my tunes, but it seems to track them pretty fucking well. So I imagine it also takes timestamps, considering that when you hover over this, it says at the very top there, 11.57 a.m. Jan 4th, 2022. It, it clocks every so often. Like, it takes timestamps. So yes, it definitely takes a ledger of everything you sell and make, absolutely. But that gold clock? No. That's not how it gets that information. That doesn't make any sense for how it displays it. Yeah, 
TSMs are pretty awesome add-on. It does a hell of a lot more than just like like ins and outs and transactions and stuff. It does so much more than that. It's really awesome. Which I'm sure like tons of people here know. But it's definitely worth setting up properly and, and doing all that stuff with. Even just to be able to look at the pretty graph and see how your gold has grown. It's a nice feeling. <clears throat> so even looting gold will work. Oh, fuck yeah, absolutely. It's gold in, isn't it? <laughs> For sure. Yeah, it'd be a bit silly if it didn't track that kind of stuff because, I mean, looting gold from callings is a hugely profitable activity. So if TSM didn't track the gold you were making from, like, that kind of stuff, it would vastly underestimate the amount of gold that you have. And then once you start buying really big expensive things, it'd be very confused about how you have negative gold. No TSM can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. Absolutely. Absolutely. What are callings? Um, the, like, emissaries in Shadowlands. The ones you get from your Covenant Order Hall. Patch. You mean this expansion? They've changed the name of them every expansion, haven't they? Or, oh, no, because they had them in Legion. I think the Legion ones and the BFA ones were called the same thing, weren't they? Maybe? I don't remember. But yeah, it's the... Yeah. Okay, enter cave. About daily quests in Shadowlands for Gold Yield. Yep. Yeah. No, but they're not daily quests. They're up for three days. They've, you know, every day one expires and another one comes up, but you've got three available. Three slots. They work exactly the same way as emissaries. Not the same way as dailies. Should we next back? Cool. Alright, awesome. I was a little bit confused. I'm like, I don't think they changed it in 9-1. Three percent. We're almost there, you guys. Holy shit. And then we'll do some lax, I reckon. Something mind numbing. Nah, a bit more varied than emissaries in Legion of Epe, though. Yeah, they're not. They don't seem to quite be on a like a rotation. It just kind of spawns one randomly. Um, which is nice. A hard brain is much from all the questing. Oh, I feel you. I feel you. After the 12 hours that I didn't think I was going to reach yesterday, good lord. Yeah, no, my brain is mush. I need something just mindless <laughs> for a bit. Let's go smack our heads against some shadow labs. Like, <laughs> that's where we're going, by the way. My lowest dungeon on my on my spreadsheet is um, Shadow Labyrinth on the Shaman. So that's what I'm going to do. Not all that work quest, I mean. Yep, that also, yeah, they've got the Torghast and stuff in there as well. Um, but even the ones that, like, 
allow you there, there are ones that allow you to do dungeons as well but um you can do them just with world quests if you don't want a dungeon too which is nice but yeah definitely have some uh variety available to you What is this for? These are Pexus keystones. What are they for? What quest? Because it's not. This is strange. Oh, or maybe it's to break these. It is, isn't it? It absolutely is. Cool. Awesome. Noted. When you just follow the arrow of destiny, half the time you don't know what you're doing, you just do it. It's great, but also sometimes confusing. Two more rituals to squish and a handful of orcs to slay. Here I am. I'm like, where the fuck did I go? It took a little while for my uh, texture to load in, I think. Oops. Are you winning? Always, Sam. Always. Always. Sure is this last one. It is last one. My I'm doing is if with the acquisition of Activision by Microsoft is what will happen to the WoW token. I believe now people can buy digital copies of Activision stuff with the Blizzard balance. Yep. Uh, I don't know if Microsoft would want to keep that system around for all the non-Blizzard studios under it. But why would it have to expand the program either? The WoW token can only be purchased with World of Warcraft gold. So, like, it's not a huge drain. If people, if they've got people who play COD, who do not play WoW, who only play FPSs, which is, let's be honest, the reason Microsoft bought Activision, then it's no concern of theirs, none at all, because it's only WoW gold that can be used as a currency to purchase that other stuff. I don't, it's like, that's, it's infinitesimal. Not only that, but someone actually has to purchase the WoW token 
that someone else can purchase with gold. So you buy a WoW token for 25 Australian dollars, right? So I put 25 AUD in, someone buys that token and gets 15 AUD out. So if they buy enough tokens to purchase a game, a, a, a Activision game, COD for example, it's still $10 additional that they've made for every $15 spent. Why would they get rid of that? It's not like tokens do not get created for purchase. They have to be bought by another player. That's why the price goes up when no one wants gold in WoW. That's why the token's like 200k at the moment. Because no one's buying the tokens because no one needs gold in WoW because it's easy enough to earn. This is the wrong place, isn't it? Yes, I feel like this is the wrong... Yes, okay. So yeah, I, d I don't think that the WoW token is of any concern. It makes them more money. Like... Yeah. It's like, you know, somebody buying a $15 game for 25 bucks. Why would they stop that? Okay, so we leave the cave. And okay, cool, All right. No, but I've done the Siphon Master, so then... And okay, there we go, All right, cool. Uh, I know how our tokens work. I know it's a positive for the company of selling tokens. I was more thinking about accounting issues. Why would it be an accounting issue? Um, when companies acquire other companies, Blizzard, Activision Blizzard is going to be a, like, when, when Activision and Blizzard merged, it would have been a mess internally to figure out that kind of shit, which is why they just said, ah, oh, fuck it, let's, let's just make it available to be used on everything. Microsoft are purchasing ActiveLiz, not merging with them. So they are g going to be a subsidiary, which means they are going to, like, I've, I've been in companies where we've had subsidiaries, where we've purchased subsidiaries while I was working there. I've also been in a company that was purchased as a subsidiary while I was working there. The accounts, they, st they stay separate. The accounts stay entirely, completely separate. The subsidiary has to make its own money. They don't get, they don't just get to use Microsoft's bank, like Microsoft's credit card, or it's, they're totally separate. The accounts are totally separate. If at some point down the road they decide to absorb them, then they will have had years to figure that out. It's, it's not an accounting issue. Uh, hello, Sag. Hope you're having a wonderful day. But yeah, um, ActiBlizz will report their earnings and their losses and all that kind of stuff. They'll they'll have their like their profit and loss statement, their PL, that they will hand over to, to Daddy Microsoft and say, here's what we did this quarter. And they'll go, hmm, good. And that's it. They they will continue to act as their entire own separate company. They will just have to report everything up the chain to Microsoft. At least that's how it usually works in, uh, in what's it called, uh, in subsidiaries and stuff like that. Um, I doubt that it's changed in, like, yeah, I, I doubt it's changed. Yeah! As I understood by the announcement, each studio will be an independent subsidiary under Microsoft Gaming. N no. Um, I think that their their announcement, so what, the way that I see it happening is that they have acquired Activision Blizzard. Activision Blizzard already has a fuckload of subsidiaries under them. Those subsidiaries report to ActiBliz and ActiBliz rep reports to Microsoft. That's how I understood it. There's no reason for them to make any other changes to the reporting structure. There just isn't. Because can you imagine the Microsoft CEO, they get a statement from ActiBliz plus subsidiaries versus they get 75 million statements from all of these tiny companies with seven-man teams. The Microsoft CEO does not give a flying fuck about a seven-man development studio. They don't. It's too small fry for them. It doesn't matter. So that small little company will be under a chain of subsidiaries that reports all through the way. Um, and they'll, yeah, it, it, no. Nah. They're not gonna. They're not gonna split off those subsidiaries and make them their own company. Like, and ha well, they're already their own companies, but put them on the same level as ActiBlizz. They won't do it. There's zero reason to do it. And I don't see how that would affect the WoW token anyway.
Yeah, I think if they I think if they broke it up like that, they'd be very silly. <laughs> it's profitable the way it is. Why fuck with that? They want they're buying the profits. They're buying the rights to further profits. <laughs> No point changing, like, don't fix what ain't broke. One concern, seeing her broken body living, Terok despaired. He surrendered to the creeping But all this being said, the purchase hasn't even gone through yet. They have a million and one regulatory hoops to jump through. Any At any point along the way, someone might say, no. Um, and yeah, but, and, and on top of that, none of us work for Active, well, as far as I'm aware, none of us work for Active Liz, none of us work for Microsoft. And uh, none of us know shit. All we know is information we have from other sources or other experiences that we've had. Uh, and no one knows what this will look like seven years from now. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. And it'll either work or it won't. It'll be a fun journey to find out, that's for sure. of his guards clung to sanity and when the talon king called they answered wretches driven mad by the curse right. thrashed them out in the pools in agony uh why am i still doing time walking i don't need anything from the vendor and it's not like upgrading heirlooms would do me any good since my account is already full with high level alts um maybe because you need something from the other time walking vendors and you might as well get the badges now because you can you don't have to get them when the correct vendors up thank fuck they don't have separate currencies for each different time walking can you imagine oh good lord no thank you I hope some of those regulatory hoops will involve employee rights. They are already doing stuff about that. Now, if you've read any of the recent updates, they're already completely changing shit and like literally loads of people have been let go and shit. Like they're working on that. They just can't make announcements about a lot of it because I know in some places it's fucking illegal to announce that you have fired a person. The only person who's allowed to talk about it is the person who hath been fired. And often there'll be an NDA around that too. They would be known as uh, stop powerful when the next set of time walking eventually gets added down the line. Exactly. Together I have them too, including Legion time walking mount, toy transport, etc. Well, Sam. So when you type ATT, like slash ATT, and then shift click your time warp badge, it literally says nothing except for the heirloom upgrades. That's impressive as hell. It's about time. Also, you should get all of the transport, uh, all of the uh, uh, heirloom upgrades, every single one of them. Are you really complete? Is it really complete if you haven't bought every one of them? Even world. if you've got high level alts, have you got 50, 60s? Just got a point, Zam. I've always got a point. <laughs> Sometimes it's just not a good one. That brings us to today. The relics and the talent priests in place. We are ready to call upon the talent king. I guess I have to keep going for the sake of ATT, indeed. I mean, you don't have to keep going right now. You, you can just go through and do one dungeon on every alt you have and accumulate all that, you know? You got this, Sam. Agreed. You got this, Sam. My people will find their way. Just like I got this. Speaking of got this, 
with us today. Thank you, Vegem. Much appreciated. I am the Talon King. I have come from beyond death to stem the Iron Tide. <clears throat> well, I'm Kargat Blade Fist, and when I kill something, oh. it stays In dead. Possibly, power has failed you. I was expecting that, considering so I've done it a bunch of times before. There. So close. Here to protect you this time. So fucking close. What? Ah! Are you all right? That was a close call. Ah, hello. We barely got you out in time. This will be tied for the furthest I've gotten on an old, like furthest through spires I've gotten before hitting fifty. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. At 97%. Which number are we on? This is the, this is it, dude. This is number 50. This is it. The reason I'm thinking about restructuring studios to the same level in a company is because having too much indirection lead to a management nightmare. Um, yeah, so there is a magic number. From, from the management stuff that I've learned, there is a magic number for how many direct reports you can have before everything goes to shit. And that number is seven. Seven is the absolute, ma well it was. <laughs> I don't know, maybe recent studies have changed that, but you do not want any more than seven direct reports. And seven is pushing, like seven was pushing it. Seven was like the absolute max. If you, if you have to take on an eighth, then you need to restructure. Then you need to move some of those direct reports under other direct reports and you need to restructure. Because having seven people sending you all their numbers and reports and shit like that is just an absolute nightmare. So considering how many game dev studios make up ActiBlizz, like all of their little subsidiaries and reports and stuff, you do not want to have them in a, li in a line next to each other all reporting to the CEO of Microsoft Gaming. That is a bad idea. A bad idea really 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 bad you will fuck the company it will implode because the entirety of the microsoft gaming ceo's job will become reading reports and they won't be able to actually do anything themselves which is their actual job oh that would depend on the work um yes but even then like, if, if your job becomes nothing but reading what your direct reports are writing to you, like, you need to actually be able to manage stuff, not just read shit. You actually have to do your job. Unless you're an editor, your job is more than just reading. I mean, even an editor's job is more than just reading, but you know what I mean, you know? It's like... A dark the future wind of Azeroth blowing. needs you to protect it, hero. And with that... Fears, 50-50s. Challenge is complete. One account, 50 characters, all at level 50 or above. Thank you so much to everyone who has kept me on track encouraged me and who will watch my heartbreaker runs in fev lol <laughs> Take care of yourself go away there. from me <laughs> it's done 50 50s baby Ah, oh, holy fuck. 50 50s. Done. Thank you so much for all the congrats. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. Ah, quick update the spreadsheet. I will. 100%.
100%. Oh my fucking god. And now I can log out so I can update DFA as well. Ah, I would imagine the opposite simpler structure means better control on how well subsidiaries are contributing to the profit of the company itself. No. That's why you have managers in, in charge of each of the subsidiaries. They, their job is to manage it. You as the CEO with your direct, you don't, you manage just your reports. You have one-on-ones with them. What, what do we need? What do you need? How is your budget looking? Like how, are there any issues that need to be reported up the chain that you need help with? How can I help you manage your company? The subsidiaries don't wait for, for a, a crumb of attention from the CEO before they do anything. Absolutely. That's not how a company works. This shit cannot be micromanaged or the whole company will explode. It just, it, business just doesn't work like that. It, it, it can't, it can't function that way. Um, so a manager that like, if you'll have a team of, let's say a micro, uh, a micro dev studio, you've got seven devs who have different specialties and they have a manager and the manager in is involved in their day to day bullshit. And then that manager reports back what's going on to their manager who has a couple under them. And they kind of gather that information and go, okay, cool. All of my little, all my, my kids are working well. Um, nothing's nothing all, but this one has a bit of an issue. I really, I should probably push that up the chain because we need a bit of help with that one. And they push that up the chain. They go, okay, yeah, sure. I can fit in the budget. We'll give them a few extra grand. Uh, and it, it, that's how, like, that's how business works. The CEO, like, no, I've met, I met the CEO of the last big company. Like the company I work for at the moment is quite small. We don't have a, we have a, um, board, but we're a not-for-profit, um, I've never met any of the board members because I don't report to any of them. They know I exist because I'm on the ledger. That's it. As long as I'm doing my job just fine, they don't give a flying fuck. Uh, I met the CEO of my company when, like, the last company that I worked for that was a big multinational company. Uh, and they would do, they do, um, the, like, what do they call them? I don't remember, but they do like a tour around the company and visit a bunch of the bigger sites and explain the, the vision for the company for the next however many years. He didn't know my name. <laughs> he didn't know who I was. My direct manager did. And my manager's manager did. Like the, the, my boss's boss, he knew my name and he knew that I was a good worker and all that kind of shit. Above that, no one knew who I was because as long as their subsidiaries are working fine, they don't care. They give you what you need and they take your reports and they send them up the chain. That's it. Like that's, yeah, they don't, no. That's not how business works. Uh, right, so I'm gonna go to Shadow Labs to do some ATT farming. Um, good morning, Z. Guess my own mindset is more of micromanagement myself. You are not a company. <laughs> you are not a company but yeah if if like you you would learn very quickly that if you had like i i have a business this is my business i have an abn which is an australian business number uh for those of you who are not in australia that's what an abn stands for um and but i am my only employee i am what's called a sole trader if i got an employee i would set them a task i would show them how i wanted it done and then i would let them do it because if I micromanage them, I might as well be doing the task myself. If I'm constantly checking and watching and, and, and making sure that they're doing it the way I want them to do it. I mean, you do that for the first week or two, sure, but that's teaching, that's educating, that's training. But once they've been trained, you have to let them do their job. Because if you don't, you're doing it for them and your job becomes watching them do their job and then nothing else gets done and why the fuck have you got an employee anyway? You're paying them to do literally what you're actually doing by watching them. Like, there's just no point. So yeah, no, that's not. Unfortunately, um, managing oneself is exceptionally different to managing hundreds of thousands of people, are uh, you? Yeah. Uh, if I were a CEO, I would be insane trying to micromanage everything. Then you would be a terrible CEO. And I don't mean that as an insult. I also would be a terrible CEO. Um, I, like, I do not like my results and my KPIs being determined by other people's performance. I hate that. So I wouldn't even make a good manager, let alone a good CEO. So I, I do not mean that as an insult. But, yeah, micromanagement is not 
a trait. You wouldn't make it part boss manager, like managerial thing, because your boss, because as a manager, you still have a boss, unless you're the head of a company. Um, and if you made it into it, like same thing with me, if I made it into a managerial role and I was always kind of like, then my boss would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Why have you done none of your own job? You're too busy watching everyone else do their job, do your job. And I'd be fired or demoted. Because I'd probably be still be good at doing everyone else's job. And so I'd get demoted back down to that and they'd make someone else the manager. <laughs> like, yeah, no, absolutely not. Yeah, that's not at all how that works. Uh, I mean, I'm the state ops manager. I have a team of 3.5 people. They have set roles. We each do our own work. Exactly. I have to delegate. Uh, and there is one I have to do a little more micromanaging with, but I don't micromanage them all every day. Yeah. And, and one of the, one of the things about being a manager is understanding how each of your employees, each of your direct reports works. Sometimes people will need a little bit more encouragement or a bit more checking in on, um, because, you know, maybe they'll be like, Ooh, and they'll sit there with a problem and not know, Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And they don't think let's go to my manager. So you kind of have to check in on them and be like, hey, anything I can help you with today? And they go, oh yeah, actually there's this issue I've been sitting on for a couple of days. I don't know how to deal with it. Can you help me? Whereas someone else will kind of be, hmm, your boss. Like, do you, know, you know, it's everyone has a different work style. And as a manager, you need to kind of recognize those and work with your direct reports in a way that suits you both, honestly. Um, there is a point to which one of your direct reports might just genuinely be shit at their job because you have to get them to do everything. You have to micromanage them, not just a bit, but like actually like guide them how to do their job every single day. And that person is not suited to that particular role. <laughs> and that's a difficult decision you have to make as a manager. Uh, I report to my CEO, no people under me or above me. If you report to your CEO, then your CEO is above you. Welcome to chat, by the way, Krill. Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, one level of delegation is fine. I'm often concerned about huge hierarchies where the company has massive chains of trust. Uh, well, it's not your job to be concerned about them, and you have no need to be concerned about them because they don't involve you. As blunt as that may sound, like don't be concerned you you can't be concerned there's nothing no effect you can have on that um that is the way that big companies work once a company grows beyond a certain size they have to have those chains of trust it's as simple as that uh, a lot of it for me is more they need to learn problem solve not just immediately ask me for help which we're working on this year they've all really only been with us for around a year it's a very different section of the industry that some of them have done before ah they go cool well i'm so glad they've got someone like uk it sounds like you're really understanding and like willing to work with people rather than just being like, why can't you do it? <laughs> I've had managers like that. They're shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to hit update button on this, on this tune on DFA to update the level. <laughs> 50 fifties. I need to change my title. Hi, we're not doing leveling anymore. This is hunting. Alrighty. Uh, we're going to slabs. So, did I uninstall Ludipro's challenges? No. No, 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 stop. Why did slash lack not happen then? No, 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 not that one. Oh, the other one. This one. Is there a slash command to get this to happen? To open up? I forget. Uh, 20 minutes. How long do people usually do these for? How do we, how do we feel like? Uh, 30 minutes, an hour, what are we feeling? What are we feeling? Uh, 
I don't. I can't do that. Um. Sometimes I think it. It does me no favors to not help them learn all aspects. Of course, of course. That I work for a small size company. Good. Good. Uh, anyone have any idea, any any feelings about a loot appraiser challenge? Do we want 30 minutes? Do we want 60 minutes? Is anyone actually going to join me? <laughs> More important question, I guess. Uh, congrats to Fade, Grubin, BQ, Fairy, K, Zam, and Zem on all your bonus shits. We gotta keep questing, of course, of course. Skin chest. Skin chest. I might set it to 30 minutes. Um, and if people want to join me halfway through, then they can. Um, and then I can chop and change a little more. Let me get some variety in there. There we go. Let's pop that there. I mean, it sounds like a good time frame. Yeah, because an hour, I mean, like an hour of Shadow Labs. Do I actually want to do that? There we go. So I'll send that out. Can I change the size of this box? I can't. Well, that's annoying. That I do remember the um the 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 loot appraiser windows just being an absolute pain in the ass. Where did this... Oh, now it's broken. Look. Now oh, I can't even, like, see anything. Regional differences, of course, I know. And remember, we even tried putting you on my Battle.net friends list to see if it would send it to you anyway, and it didn't, and it was so sad. It's still fucking broken. I can't, there's nothing I can... It is to Brokens. It used to come up with like a a list of people who had said yes or no or whatever. But it doesn't seem to be doing that. Crusade. We are doing slabs on Shaman. Currently at 22.22. This one here. So I think we try on Heroic first. Just because it's once, and then we'll see how we go. What's the AOE thing for, um, <laughs> for Enhancement Shamans? The easy way to just bonk everything to death quickly. Is there one? It's eight second cooldown. No, don't want. 
crash landing. It's eight seconds though. No, no, I'm talking something that can just be like pushed, kill all the shit that's like massively low level. Eight seconds is fucked. Flame strike. Flame strike. No, that's that's a mage. I'm on a shaman. Um. Don't get one of those as shaman. You've been way too spoiled. <laughs> But no, other ones do too, though, Jess. Other ones do too. Like, remember, I've got Consecrate on the Pally, and I've got, like, all that other... There's a lot... There are a lot of them that have spells like that. Chain Lightning, other than that, here's nothing. Ugh, something I don't know if how the WoW PI is set up if communicate via whispers. If what can communicate via whispers? Sorry, Nab. As great as the CD. Yeah, but it's only like two seconds. This region, and I don't know. Well, this is the thing. Because Lack does it via the Battle.net friends list rather than via Whispers, and you can now add people cross-region to your Battle.net friends list. That's been a thing for months now. So that's why I thought maybe a Lack, because the Lack add-on works via the friends list, and you can have cross-region people on your friends list. Maybe you could do lax with cross-region people, um, but it, you couldn't still, but that's okay. Um, then when I went to the, the add-ons page to ask about it, there were a ton of people who were already the same thing. Now we have this, can we have that? Uh, and there was no response yet because it was very, very recently after it had happened. So, <laughs> you know. Okay, is the add-on thing still working? Yeah, it is still working. I can't recent invite. It's still canceling your own challenge. I can't start challenge. There's no start challenge button. I think it's because I don't have... Ah, it's fine. It's just, it's broken today. It's broken today. Team one is fine. Except that, no, there's a line behind there. That's why, okay, that's fine. Fuck Ludipraiser then, let's do this. Everyone can just do it themselves. <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh, wait, quests. Into the heart of the labyrinth and the soul devices. What do you need, stranger? Am I in the right place? Yeah, I am. Ah, uh, because it's from. Okay, there we go. They still die fast enough anyway. We're fine. Lightning shield do that's Ellie thing. No, I've got I've got lightning shield. But it's when you take oh when you take melee damage. Yeah, you're right. So I just have to get them to bonk me. But the thing is that I'm missing and do they're missing and I'm dodging because they're too low level. <laughs> it was a good idea for all of approximately three seconds. Really, really, maybe yeah, but I don't think there were enough like Maybe. Let's... It just, that really annoyed me. That works just fine. Try and set lightning shield now and take your crash lightning and enjoy it. No! I don't want to! Fuck you. No. Um... Those. Okay. Let's see if this works. Oh, I have to reopen all the ATT windows. Oh, I fucking hate that. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You. There. No, it's still broken. That's fine. I can't do lax. Let me update the title then, because otherwise people get pissed with me. There we go. Mm. Oh. 
Fire Shining even on my bows? Nope. No, it is not. to sleep early grats and future videos not early i'm done carlo i'm done <laughs> thank you for the grats rest well we'll see you next time That does look really cool though. <laughs> I like that. Okay, Helmore could have given me two things. He gave me none. Sure, that's fine. You do, you boo. Some more loot back there, but I'll get it in a second. I wouldn't play the entire dungeon where I believe dungeon trash doesn't leash, leash even in TBC. Lies. Um, some dungeon trash does pull, uh, does leash. There are also some bosses that don't uh, activate until you've killed their trash, like that one, for example. It's really annoying, um, but yeah, there are like I've I've had these conversations like because I'll, I'll grab up a bunch and then I'll turn around and notice that half of them are leashed, and it's so fucking annoying. Um, I wish it, it shouldn't. It should not leash in a fucking dungeon, but it does. Um, and some dungeons it doesn't. But I am not really in the mood to find out which ones do and don't because while they're running back, they evade, which means it's the first one, of course, that always leashes first. So I'd have to chase them all the way back to the fucking start to grab them again. And I just can't be asked. I just can't be asked. <laughs> Click soul devices. Wait a second. Oh, it's in the next room. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. Um, best ones are ones that snapped you. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Usually a room will be fine though. Like if you pull everything from one room, um, you should be okay. Actually, that's a yeah, BC world drop, not even a dungeon drop. I guess, did BC have dungeon BOEs? Trash drops? I don't know. Uh, I take the fact you're trans, find me 50 50s are done! They are, Kaz! Finished! I'm so happy. Thank you very much for the congrats. They're all done. All done. Which is just such a strange feeling. Such a huge thing crossed off the list, you know? Seriously, nothing from him either? Oh, fuck you all. Good lord, what are you doing? How dare you? How dare you? Collect one soul device. Hang on, what do you mean collect one? Did I not get the other ones? I thought I picked them up. 
today's day the 50-50s command. Ah, oh, yeah, I should. I should, you're right. I guess I, I clicked them, but they didn't actually have a soul device in them or something. I guess. Oh, that's upsetting. Do shamans have pets that have an AO8? No. Um, all the shaman pets are, like, transient. They're only there, like, they're a deba- uh, a, um, like, a cooldown that you only have for X amount of time. <clears throat> and I have five. Fucking Zygor was lying to me. I am grateful. <gasps> Holy fuck! Anonymous! Oh my god! Congrats on 50 to 50, that is a huge achievement. I've not been here for the whole thing, but it's been a pleasure to watch your dedication and enjoyment you've taken to achieve your goal. Well done. That is so sweet of you, Anon. Thank you so much for the donation of $50 for the 50-50s. That is so generous of you. Thank you so much. My god. <laughs> I was thinking the best way of farming stuff on a shaman could actually be to run the legendary that gives earthquake to the earth elemental. It is on a five minute CD, but it lasts for a whole minute. Yeah, it, it could like, it'd absolutely help, but it usually takes more than a minute to finish a dungeon just because of all the fucking running. Even if you've got a speedy thing, like it's, yeah. It, it would it would speed up certain sections of it, no doubt, but um, nah, that's okay. Look, it is it is what it is. I have to get this shit done, and so I'm gonna get it done. And it's gonna be fine. Where's the one up the top? That's annoying as fuck. You there. Why are you not linked to the rest of your pack? None of them I believe that's okay. <clears throat> I'll make an offering of your blood. My life gladly. Oh, that was the okay. So the one before the boss before this, Black Heart doesn't actually have anything that drops for me. I guess that's interesting. Okay, cool. Well, I got one thing. Yay! Uh, and because they share appearances across uh, heroic and normal, that's put me up to eight out of twenty-seven. So it's no longer the lowest one, but I'm still gonna. All right. Question: Should I switch? As soon as it's no longer the lowest percentage dungeon or raid? Or should I continue until I've gotten like as many drops as I can without losing my mind? Switch or continue, do you think? Like what kind of strategy should I use here? Because I genuinely don't really know. <clears throat> continue, lose your mind. The hacker group showing their support. I know, right? Aren't they wonderful? Actually, let me check the Shaman Legend list to see if there's something that I- Sure! Thank you, Nav. That'd be awesome of you. Appreciate it. Uh, keep in mind, this is a level 50 tune, though, so I don't- I don't have access to level 60 legendaries, if that's what you're looking at. Um, but... Yeah. I mean, I'll get there eventually, right? I'll level it up. Maybe. Continue, continue. Okay, cool. No, so now do I have to get it to a hundred? Or can I get it to like... Should I do like an hour of runs or something? Should I go until like 8pm for me? It's 7.21pm currently. Like time based or percentage based? And if, if so, like what kind of... <laughs> Five things Murma could have given to me and it gave me none. No fucking... It's fine. It's fine. Heroic done. Okay, for when you level to 60, that's... Ah, okay, cool. Cool, cool. 
I would not switch each time as learning travel is costly. I would take it too far. E.g. another two to three runs. Okay. All right. That seems reasonable. That seems reasonable. And I mean, I can run this endlessly, basically, for, um, for, on normal. I mean, obviously, ten attempts per hour, or ten runs per hour, per hour, but yeah. Wouldn't take it too far. <laughs> E.g. another two, three runs. Yeah, okay. Noted. So, like, until 8pm. Like, doing an hour of a dungeon is fairly reasonable. I think it is. For clarification, the next one on the list is Domitore, who is a hunter with Gruul's Lair a raid, which means I will likely have to run through all four of my hunters. Now that they can, because they're all fucking 50. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. That's just awesome. It's so good. 18, 18, 18. And I have four. Good. Well, hopefully, maybe I should keep going until I have 18 spirit shards so I can purchase one of these, one of these, um, things from the, from the currency. Because there's four bosses, so I should get four per run while we've got control of them. The shaman talent goes makes go full faster. Is it a, is it an enhancement one? Oh, Spirit Wolf. While transformed, you gain 5% increased movement speed and 5% damage reduction every one second. Yeah, I've got Static Charge. And it's likely because... Oh no, and any talent. I've got an AIO. A A I, o. I can. Okay, then maybe I should take that. I'm not in a rested area, though. Third row, row three, yeah. I found it. It's all good. It probably would be fairly quick for me to just fly to a rested area. I have to zone out, obviously, to change to reset and change norm to normal. Um, right, so that eight to twenty-seven. That should, those two quests should have bumped me up a bit more as well. I'm now on ten of twenty-seven. Wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna switch dungeon difficulty to normal firstly, uh, and then. Stonebreaker Hold might be the closest rested area. Oh, and the towers are up for grabs, so I can't get any more spirit shards. I should... I should grab the towers. I don't really want to waste time doing that, but I should... Nah, I can do that later. That's fine. I think it does... How long does it take to grab a tower, actually? I am very indecisive, can you tell? flag to PvP. It doesn't take too long to cap them. It's up here, in case you're wondering. Up the top here under the mini-map. I can grab this one and then grab the rest, uh, like go to the rested area, change my talent, and then head back down here. Is fear indecisive? Yes, most certainly. There's a food from Shadowlands that unfortunately requires 55 to eat because the extra movement speed after killing an enemy works even if enemy is great. Interesting. I don't think I need, like, if I can grab something that's a talent that's free that I can just kind of set and forget or whatever, that'd be great. Like, obviously, like with the Spirit Wolf talent that I'm going to go fix, but things like food, I don't think I'm that keen. Like, I don't think it matters that much to me. Um, but I did- I think I knew about the food, but I didn't, like, no-no. You know, it wasn't, like, at the forefront of my mind. So, I appreciate you for sharing the information with everyone. Because there might be some people out there who absolutely do care about that shit a lot more than I do. Bear tartar still works a bit too. Ah, cool. There you go. It's called fried bonefish. 
Better to have a uses for her lax, yeah. <clears throat> I love that people are so creative. Like, how do I make this dungeon run as quickly, like, as quick as humanely possible? I think that's really awesome. I do not. I just, I'm lazy. Oh, that's okay, because that means that other people beat me in lax, so it's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> Stood, rested. Bam. There you go. Fixed. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I'm going to forget the next time I get on a different shaman. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. Definitely not lazy regarding garrisons. True. You're right. I'll take that. However, I am lazy in that I have chosen garrisons to be my gold making thing because it requires like this much effort. <laughs> Different kind of laziness, maybe. <laughs> uh, what is the site where you had your level set up? I think you said you were 270. Oh, data for Azeroth. Data for Azeroth. What am I now, I wonder? What's my total levels? 2549. They're all updated. Let me just check that it says 2549. 2549. I'm 272nd now. I've dropped a couple because other people have leveled and they've gone beyond me. That's okay. I'm used to it. The the number one in the world for alt score. Alt score is just the, the sum total of all of your levels across your account, uh, across all your alts. Um, the highest, like the number one in the world uh, has eight accounts. Like they have eight accounts minimum to be able to achieve the uh, the level that they have. Um, they've got like 22,000 something levels. It's incredible. So I'm, I'm never going to get that high. I know I don't think, I can't break the top 100 just with one account because the most, the, the maximum alt score you can have on one account is 3,000. Um, because it's, why am I, there we go. Because it's um, 50 times 60, 3,000. Uh, and 3,000 I think only gets you to like 100 and, what, like, 80 something? I don't remember. Give me give me a second. Let me scoot through. Uh 3000 gets you to 164th in the world. So I'm I'm not going to get higher than that without getting another account, which I don't really um, want to do, honestly. Um, but maybe, maybe one day. I've got a lot that I can still do with just one account, and I don't really care about my world ranking about stuff. It's just fun to see the numbers. I'm not like, you know, it, yeah, I'm fine. Ah, uh, it's not lazy, that's investment. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll take that. Thank you, Nap. I'll take it. I have one account rank 70. In the world, Murray. You can't be, not on data for Azeroth. In in which in which category, Murray? What's your character name? I'll have you I'll look you up. Love to see your stats. Uh what would you do if they add a new class next X pack and you're capped on characters? Good question. Um, probably do some math and figure out how many I'd need to kind of shuffle around and um, probably level some, delete some and level some new tunes maybe. Oh, it's here, yay! Thank you so much. I got 50 50s. I saw. Congratulations. Yay. Thank you. I'm very happy. Morrigan Fire. On what server? Okay, bye. See ya. Thank you so much for the bubble tea. All right, six hours to, to get to get spirit shards, and I'm gonna turn my PvP off. EU kill rug. EU dash kill rug. Let's look you up. Oh, you play a mage too. Awesome. No, you're seventieth in the world for completion score. We're talking about alt score. For alt score, you're world three hundred and ninth. 
I knew there was a miscommunication somewhere and that's where it was. We're talking about one account cannot get you to, to um, 70th for, for um, alt score. Different stat. Scroll down to the bottom where it says alt score, you've got 2,427. Yep. <laughs> you are correct that you're 70th in the world for completion score and that's fucking badass. Well done. Well done. That's amazing. But yeah, the, the number one in the world for um, alt score is fucking ridiculous. Um, they have 22,126 cumulative levels. <laughs> That's like redonkulous, right? Uh, like, what the fuck? Like, good on them, but holy shit. That's awesome, Murray. Well done. Mmm. Yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not super good with my rankings, um, because I focus on so many different things, I think is my issue, but that's okay. I have fun doing it. And to me, that's what it's all about, but it is kind of nice to see the numbers go up. Like I'm improving comparatively to, to other people. Like it, it's a nice feeling, but I'm not like super fucking competitive. Not with that at least. I'm competitive against myself. Like, you know, getting to 50-50s. That was kind of the, the big thing for me. And now that's done, so look, we'll find something. Find something, Mistress ATT is my main focus, yeah. So I do Mount Farm Monday. So every Monday we farm mounts. Um, and then we have like Sundays, which is now, I usually do transport farming. If you type into chat exclamation AT dot, all the dungeon and raid things, yep. Um, I made a spreadsheet for tracking just dungeons and raids across 12 characters um, to up to Legion, not Battle for Azeroth or Shadowlands because I like to, I like solo content personally. Like I, I prefer to be able to solo shit. Um, so yeah, so I made that and that's kind of what I'm working off at the moment. So that's what I'm, I'm having fun with on Sundays. Uh, and then I was leveling my tunes, but that of course, you know, having more characters doesn't count towards completion score. So <laughs> Mine is, uh, mine has fallen a bit behind because of that, but that's okay. Like, I'm, I achieved my goal, and that's fucking awesome. I'm really happy with that. So, this one. Uh, I guess optimizing alt score is probably a reason to buy boosts. Um, it could be, yeah, if you're wanting to, like, I mean, and some people want an army of characters to be able to do shit with, but they don't want to go through leveling them, and that's fair too. It's totally fair. Uh, K, Dunno, Z, Zem, Grubin, and Faden, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. How do you look up levels on data for Azeroth? Uh, what do you mean exactly, Matt? Um, so if I'm on my character page for Fear, um, if you scroll down to the bottom, it says alt score, and then it has the big number 2549, and then it has all my rankings just next to it. Um, what do you mean by looking up? Uh, very impressed with your army of 50s inspired me level of Oh, thank you, Murray. Thank you so much. I'm inspired by your completion score. Holy fuck. That's amazing. This is isn't this the beautiful thing about like collectors and, and completionist um uh community is that everyone has these different little things that they focus on and it like we all inspire each other in different ways. It's beautiful and I love that. It just yeah, it makes me so happy to see people having fun and, and, you know, smashing goals and all that kind of shit. Collectors unite! Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to take my lightning shield off so I don't accidentally keep killing things in a trail behind me. Because it's starting to get a little annoying. I'm going to run back to, to loot shit. Excuse me, how dare. You're not allowed to do that. Wait, you there. Give me... Something to Fucking zero or two. He just doesn't want to give me anything, does he? 
Um, I feel collecting is a big part of this game. Those that enjoy tend to be the most loyal. Oh, fuck yeah, absolutely, Nab. And um, Blizzard is definitely recognizing. They're starting to realize that as well. Like, you look at 9.1, they introduced, I think it was 83 new mounts in one patch. They've realized that, like, the, the hardcore people who used to make up the majority of the player base, you know, people who were trying really hard to do dungeons and do raids and all that end game fun stuff, they were all, like, it was a big part of the game, but they all come in, they play for a month or two, and then they kind of let their sub lapse while they go play something else, waiting for the next patch to hit, because they've done what they came to do. They've, they've done the game, done the raid, and they're, they're finished. Whereas the collectors, they might do that stuff, but then they'll keep, they'll stay subbed while they go back to all the old content and do other shit too. Um, so yeah, it, we're definitely, we're definitely making them a ton of money. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Definitely. Um. So he doesn't have anything for me, which is a little frustrating, but that's okay. We have, um, I'll minimize spirit shards so I can see the whole list. That works. I have six of those now. I need 18 to be able to buy something. So I think I might get myself to 18, go buy a piece and then we'll switch tunes. Maybe. So. Sometimes they have sparkles, sometimes they don't. This whole pack pulls as one though, which is nice. Amazing. Boss complete. Does that put us at 12 out of 27? 44.44. <laughs> Yay, indeed. Happy brain juice noises. It's been a while since we've had them because I've been so focused on the leveling. city rep. Holy shit. I'm gonna have so much fucking netherweave cloth as well. So many things. Can I have one of them? Yes! I may have two of them! I have been blessed by Murmur. I may have two of them. 16 of 27. 59.26. Good afternoon, Draz. Yes, 50, 50's complete. <laughs> oh my God, it's done, oh my God. Two weeks early too, two weeks before deadline. I'm very happy about that. And now we wait for lovers in the air. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna be so delirious. Like, I'm gonna be so fucking tired and just, I'm gonna start streaming and be like, hi, we're doing heartbreaker runs. Good, let's do it. <laughs> like, I'm just, oh, 
it's going to be an experience for everyone involved. There are going to be so many incredibly hilarious clips. Even if the fucking mount doesn't drop, there are going to be so many awesome clips. I swear to Christ, it's going to be great. There better be good clips, because I fucking need them for social media. So <laughs> gonna spam that event for the first time Mari <gasps> or are you afraid what it'll do to my brain so for the last two years I've done every day every attempt on every character for the last two years I have a total now of 850 attempts it is of course a one in three 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 so it is what it is um and both, both times I've been so proud of myself that I've actually done every attempt every day that like, even though it didn't drop, I still accomplished, I accomplished what I set out to do, which was to maximize my chances. However, that I had like 17 tunes or something. The first time I think I had 17 and the second time I had 24. This time I have 50. I, I said before that I have 850 total attempts on my account. This year alone, I'm going to clock up 750. I think I'm going to need to add some fucking sugar to my throne wish list and get you guys to, like, send me it. Because, <laughs> um, it's going to be a time. It's going to be a time. Imagine if it drops really early and they're like, why did I level all those ults anyway? Um, because mount attempts and raid runs on 50 tunes so I can get transmog more than once a week, etc. Like, there are so many reasons to have an army of ults. Like, it will never be, why did I do this? It will be, I set myself a fucking goal and I goddamn accomplished it and I am so happy that I did. I'm so fucking proud of myself. I did awesome. Having the mount drop first go... Firstly, thank fuck I don't have to do two weeks of this bullshit. <laughs> and secondly, that is my reward for accomplishing my fucking goal. Thank you, RNG Jesus. Like there is no, there is no regret there. Not a single ounce of regret there whatsoever. There couldn't be, there just could not be. Die. Um, well, let's hope you won't need to do that. I hope so. However, clocking up 750 will still only mean I've got a, a total attempt count of 1,600. That's only over, that's only just over halfway of the whole. Not even half. It's not even halfway. That's 32. That's half of 3,200 rather than 33 and a bit hundred. So like that's not even halfway um, of the actual drop count. So like I I will understand if it doesn't drop. I will be kind of sad, but it'll be, it'll be, I, I understand. The math is not with me here. <laughs> the math is not on my side. I got a skin. Oh, Sam, well done on your skin. Congrats. Uh, does the heartbreaker pop up? No, it is not on the beamer. Uh, for fuck's sake, Forge your souls is still broken. Oh, shit, Sam. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That sucks. Um, so for those of you who don't know how Forge of Souls is broken, it's currently Wrath Time Walking Week, and they rotated it, they took a couple of dungeons out of the rotation, and they added a few new ones in. Um, one of the new dungeons that can be got through Wrath Time Walking is Forge of Souls. It has replaced Pit of Sauron, which is a good thing, because no one liked doing Pit of Sauron. However, the, uh, Frigid Prism, the fr Frigid pr Time Warped Prism, the quest item that drops from the final boss that you can turn in for 500 badges is not currently on the boss's loot table in Forge of Souls. So you can do that whole time, the, the whole time walking dungeon and you don't get the quest item at the end if it's your first dungeon of the week. Um, so just keep that in mind. Keep in mind also that if you drop out of the dungeon before without completing it, you'll get a 15 minute um, uh, deserter timer. Um, that's not affected. Uh, you'll still get deserted debuff. Um, but yeah, it just, it's a bit shit. There was a little, there was a little patch, like a hotfix patch. Um, was it last night? I think 
and we thought maybe that fixed the Forge of Souls thing, but I don't think it would. I, it, I don't think it would need a patch to do that. That's just kind of coding on there. And what I think has happened is that they've just kind of forgotten to add the item to the loot table, um, which is supremely annoying. But you know, it is what it is. Um, there are posts about it on the forums. Uh, I highly recommend that if you experience it yourself, that you go and add your voice to the chorus on the forums. The more people adding to that thread. Um, the the louder we be, you know, the loud the more voices in a chorus, the louder it is. Uh, and also reporting it in game, because when you report bugs via the in game system, it sends a clip like a snapshot of your game data with that report. And sometimes a post on the forum, sometimes knowing it's broken isn't enough to know how to fix it. Sometimes they also need that background data to be able to figure out what's going wrong so that they can fix it. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, jump on the forums, post about your experience in in the thread, in the mega thread, and uh, send a bug report in game. Doesn't take too long, uh, and it can it can really help like fix this kind of shit. The louder we are, the less uh, the the more difficult it is for them to ignore us. <laughs> it was a hard dungeon too. Caster's nightmare. Oh, three hits and you're dead. Shit, that's not good. I like to hit things. Look, I'm not gonna lie. Um, when it's appropriate, yes. So it locks you out of that item if you fall in Forge of Souls? No. No. You just go, you do it a second dungeon, and if it's not Forge of Souls, it drops it. It acts as though you still haven't completed it. It's, it's like doing Forge of Souls doesn't tick off that you've done the time walking for the week. If, if it was that broken, it would have been fixed by now. Uh, because that that actually like that affects a hell of a lot more than just oh I have to do a second dungeon. <clears throat> I'll make an offering of your blood in my life. There wasn't anything I could get from him. He's done. Um, I just popped a cooldown, I think. Oops. Uh, I should report that. You should, Zem. Absolutely. Every single character it happens on, send another report through. Obviously, you know, you only post the forums once, um, but sending multiple bugs, like send a bug report through on every character it happens on, because the more data they have, the better. Buckles? No more buckles. Please, may I have some loot that I need? No, I may not. How many spirit shards have I got now? 12. So I need to do two more runs to get enough to buy something. I reckon I can do that. <clears throat> And then cycle through my hunters for Gruul's Lair. Gosh, that's exciting. I think, is this the first time a raid has been my lowest percentage? I don't remember. I'm bad at remembering shit. But like, this is what I've been waiting for, cycling through all these tunes to do something magic. So excited. It's really annoying for people who want to farm the item. On 50 level 50s, it happened a couple times. So we did um, on Friday. We did Wrath Time Walking. That was that was the stream. Um, so I cycled through a bunch of characters, uh, like one dungeon, one dungeon, one dungeon, one dungeon, two dungeons, because the first one were Forge of Souls. One dungeon, one dungeon, two dungeons, because it was, yeah. So, I mean, if you were super fucking, like, if you wanted to do it uh, and do it on every, like, yeah, it, it will probably, like, it, it has the chance to turn, like, 50 dungeons into, like, 60, 70, 80 dungeons, which sucks. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's um, it's not great, but at least it's not a game-breaking bug. It could be a lot worse. It could be that they left Pitasaron in the rotation. 
Uh, Pit was just an absolute nightmare. It felt overtuned. There was stuff everywhere that everyone would accidentally pull. It was just, it was a really tricky dungeon. Whereas Forge of Souls, there's not a lot of trash. It's incredibly, it's very linear. Like literally, it is a line. Um, <laughs> um, but I think Forge of Souls was a really good choice to, to slot in there instead of Pit. It just sucks that it has that bug attached to it. It's also really quick. It's only got two bosses. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty speedy, like it's gone from being the best one to get because you can whip through it real quick to being the worst one because you don't get the item. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. And I mean, there were people, um, I remember seeing a couple people, uh, theorizing that maybe they took the item off it because it's an easy dungeon and they didn't want it to be such a low effort. Po but the thing is, you can't choose to do that one. It's literally what you queue and you're allocated to a dungeon. So it's not like you can pick that one to knock out. You know, it's a bit, I don't know. It's interesting. It's an interesting theory, though. Anything's possible. Never fucking know. I imagine, though, um, if it is intentional, that they'll come out at some point and be like, this is not a bug, please stop reporting it. Kind of like they did with the, do you remember the, um, when they were releasing Classic WoW? Um, and here is a list of things that everyone is reporting as bugs that are not actually bugs. This is how it operated in Classic. Please stop reporting it. It is working as intended. Um, I remember reading through that and being like, oh my god, I remember all of this shit. Oh, it was such a good read. <clears throat> These four just also clicked. She was saying exactly, exactly. How are your bags? Yeah, they're doing all right. Um, I've probably got space for like this run and then I'll probably empty them. Um, this place drops a lot of gray like weapon and armor stuff that doesn't stack. So yeah, I think I'll be good for a, a bag empty after this run. <clears throat> Items. May I have at least one? Mortal. Yes! Yes, I may. 18 of 27. Not bad when we started on like six. Uh, it's still worth running instead of deserting, I think, because unless that's bugged as well, you still get regular time walking badges from boss kills. You do. You also, if you don't already have it, get uh, attempts on the Reigns of the Infinite Time Reaver. Um, only two of them, sure. Uh, and then again, only 10, 10 time walk badges. But I think the more important thing is that. You don't get the deserted debuff. If you leave the dungeon, you get the deserted debuff for 15 minutes. Running Forge of Souls, when we did it, like I, I did it twice on Friday, both times, it took like seven to eight minutes each time. It was a really quick dungeon run because of, again, fewer bosses and um, not much trash. So I absolutely think it's it's well worth sticking it out. That, and you don't leave people, like not everyone is just running one dungeon on a tune to get the 500 badges. Some people are actually genuinely running it because they're trying to get the, the mount or whatever it is, you know? Um, so you're also, it's not a dick move to stick it out. <laughs> that pack has given me quite a few blues. I'm okay with this. World drop, mail, BOE. I've already got, I've actually got that appearance already too, which is nice. Um, means I can fucking sell it. You've inspired me to go through a bunch of my level 45 to level them to 50. Would you say, Matt, that I have influenced you? <laughs> Sorry, um, I hate that one of my job titles is influencer. It's just so fucking silly, but it's an accurate descriptor. I influence people. I have influenced so many people to either resub to WoW or to try the game for the first time. 
Uh, I've influenced people to, to download ATT and to like do collections and farm mounts and level tunes and, and more importantly, well, uh, yeah, actually I would say more importantly, I have influenced people to make purchases from certain companies whether they be something I have an affiliate company with, so I directly make money from their purchases, or because it's a sponsorship. But having a successful sponsorship that converts into purchases means you're more likely to get a future sponsorship. And that pays my bills. Uh, so, like, yeah, it's it's a whole thing. So we have this, it's, it's a, basically a meme here. It's influencer, um, which is that motion and the, the way, it, you, know the, you know the SpongeBob meme when he's doing this thing and it's like, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase. So when you type out influencer like that, it when, when I read something like that, my brain goes, words. Like, it just, I don't know why, it just does. So that's that's the meme here. Welcome, you have now been indoctrinated. Enjoy. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. So a lot better than Pitta Saren. Oh, fuck yeah, it's so much easier to run NAB. So, so, so much better. Um, like, I, I was never pissed off when I got a Pit of Sauron because, like, I don't really care. I, I'll just play the game. It's fine. But it is so much nicer. <laughs> so much nicer. <clears throat> I mean, the dungeon is easier, I agree. Yeah, absolutely. I know she influenced another one. I did! Nobody liked Pit of Sauron. Look, I don't mind it. I just wasn't like, oh, yes, I got Pit of Sauron. But mostly because everyone else bitched. The only reason I didn't like it so much was because everyone else would spend the entire fucking dungeon bitching and moaning. And I'm like, oh my god, can we just kill shit, please? Like... <laughs> I guess I do feel influenced. Well, there you go. Welcome to the club. I hope you enjoy your time here. I certainly enjoy having you here. Pit Saron is still a great dungeon to run in non-time walking for farming for Wrathwell Drop. Oh, absolutely, because there's just so many, like, so many mobs in there. And a lot, of, like, you can do it all and then run out and reset as well. Kind of like the, the trash before the first boss in Sunwell. Like, infinitely resettable and just so much of it. Farming for, like, you know, the Sunwell trash drops. Oh, speaking of which, not looking forward to that. <sighs> Nothing new from Murma. 16 out of 200 though. Uh, well, 16. I need 18 to purchase something. I'm gonna do one more run. I'm gonna empty my bags. Look! Perfect! Wait. Yep, yeah, absolutely perfect. I looted everything from Murma. There are no sparkles, and my bag is exactly full. I told you I had space for one more run. Look at me go! Fuck yeah! So I'm gonna empty my bags, <laughs> and then we'll do one more run, and then we'll change tunes. <laughs> Peter of Sauron. Love it. It's, it's appropriate. I like it, Murray. Well done. Uh, with some more, you can do all the trash up to the first boss. Yes, you can, and there's a shitload of it. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> Jas and I need to do another order. From the Bobble Tea Club. <clears throat> We've still got a few more weeks worth of... um. Of servings but I think we're approaching like three weeks worth left which is usually when we place our order just to like because they, they're usually a lot faster than that for delivery but just to um like what with everything going on with delivery issues and stuff like that I don't want my supply to be interrupted it's gonna be so it's so difficult trying to choose which flavors to order fucking hell I had to run this dungeon a few times to get an actual mog. I wanted to run. Ooh, yeah. Good way to farm for time badges is to run Deaths of Chromie during time walking. Ah, that's good advice. How many do you get per run, Nick, and how long does it take you? Uh, a little bit different, though. I use Party Sync with my two accounts and level two characters once. Love it. Love that for you. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I have one. I, technically, technically, I have three accounts, but two of them are inactive. So I just have the one that's actually a thing. <clears throat> All right, one more run. Get the spirit shards and then uh, fuck on off out of here. Go switch through all my hunters and do gruels. Bags, 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 bags. 
so glad I remembered. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm seeing if there's a vendor in here, but it doesn't look to be. Oh, hello. Someone else has got the same idea. Step closer and don't mumble. You are not oh. prepared. Hello, Purse. How you going? Welcome back. Lovely to see you. How is your stream? Oh, actually, if I turn Zyger on, this will make it much Come easier. Back with some better stories. There we go. Ah, uh, everyone wants to probably get just fast before she orders. They'll be out of stock for a while. <laughs> You're not wrong. I do order a few months worth at a time. Um, welcome on in. Hello, Smeezes. How you doing? Welcome back. Fine, leave. I was done talking to you anyway. I've seen things that would scare, scare you, you shellless. Okay, let's. Okay, that one I need to pop Not on. everything in the ocean is as good looking or nice mannered as um, I am. And then there was another one down the bottom here. Yep. Ah, oh, no, wait, that's an old one. Never mind. I think everything else is green. So I don't want to hold it. No, not the scroll. Ma'am. Everything else is fine. Oh, so what? Stack those up because that'll get rid of a slot. Cool. And then we'll just tidy her up. Let's go. Oh, actually, no, I need to trash that. Whoops. And one more run. Come back with some better. One more run, and then we'll go and do some hunter rolls. It was fun to go making Lynn some leveling on more lovers in the air tunes. Yay, purse! Well done! How are you going with your with your tunes? Have you got much more to do? Much more prep to do? Hey, Jude. Hey, my spinny character. Wonderful. Welcome, raiders, indeed. Oh, actually, I don't think there's any. Um, I don't think there's any mods in chat at the moment except for me. So there we go. Oh, for God's sake, get away! You know what? You get to die early then. Fuck you. <laughs> did you finish? I did! I did finish Scarlet. 50 50s. Complete. <gasps> so excited. So happy. I'm all done. All done. It was 500 attempts and I got that. I'm doing extra tunes because I hate myself! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I'm gonna have my uh, my 750 attempts this year, so that'll be fun. It'll get me to a total of 1600, which is still not even halfway to the 3333, but it's a decent chunk. Some arms and legs because it looks great on stream. Brilliant. It's double hate because I'm doing a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I've got um, my 30 Horde and 20 oh, alliance. alliance, and I've got them on like a Horde server and an Alliance server so that I don't hit the instance lockout. It'll be great. I'm, I am both looking forward to it and really not looking forward to it. I'm sure like the first couple of days will be just super exciting, and then the rest of it will be pain. Absolute fucking pain. 500, give me roughly 3,500. Nice, that's awesome. Well done. So this is your year then. This is it. <laughs> Prepare your butt for no long for no more no more runs. <laughs> Helmore didn't drop me anything that I needed. <clears throat> hey, Phoenix, how are you going? Your first character is how much work you've put in. <laughs> God, wouldn't that be the best? Throughout the whole 50-50s, everyone was saying, you know what's going to drop first run, then you're going to hate yourself. I'm like, no, I'm not. I have a whole fucking army of alts to farm shit with now. If it drops first attempt, it's because I've been leveling since June. Like, <laughs> it's RN Jesus saying, well done, you did good. I 
still can't believe I'm done. I just... I don't think it's hit yet. Ah, uh, that's exactly why I'm doing it. 30 attempts on one server, all on Horde. Restaurant Alliance server. There's a few more attempts. Does it save me from lockout? Yeah, absolutely. So that's okay. Think about how much gold I can make. Yeah! Exactly. And hey, if it drops first go, that's two fucking weeks of runs I don't have to do. Why would I be angry about that? <laughs> In what universe would I ever be upset about that? 50, 60s when? Not today. Not today. And not for a little while. I want a break from leveling. My whole account, 50 characters that are 50 plus level, I'm I'm done for a little bit. Um, I'll probably get there at some point, but uh, not today, motherfucker. Faden, BQ, Insta, Dupe, Draz, Z, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Boss defeated! Tend to level Amiel the 60, tracking back into some mythics. Ah, it sounds like fun. It sounds like fun. Uh, right. So we're going to go for the skin chest. But there's no other chest to go for, so I'm just going to, like, pick one. mid memo terms and I get back before the event. Who's it going to go back to all the work we get? Exactly, right? Exactly. I reckon, I reckon, I reckon, I reckon, if I get it sooner, then I might just funnel all 50 into Shah. <laughs> See if I can carry the good luck on. Uh, is Fury still viable? Someone in chat might be able to answer that. I don't really play a warrior. Not too sure. Running lovers in the air will get some good XP with all those runs. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Especially considering that they're all 50 rather than like max level. Uh, I still remember getting like... That's right. Uh, I still remember getting like three or four levels um, across an entire year from doing like the, without doing any actual leveling, just from doing uh, Lovers in the Air and then um, like the uh, fucking Halloween runs, when, back before I got them out for that. Uh, Hello. I forgot that I should cook it for 10 to 15 minutes longer than the packet said. <laughs> Why should you do that? Because it was rather pink in the middle when I cut it up. But what, why? Why did you have to do extra time? Is it was it heavy? Did it say per kilo? And it was like a one and a half kilo roast. It said per kilo. It said thirty five minutes per kilo. Yeah. So I cooked it for fifty minutes because it was one point three kilos. You know. Yeah, one point three times thirty five. Roughly the amount of time you should. But it still turned out really pink in the middle. So I like, think our oven is just shit. Fuck it, I'll toss you in the oven. <laughs> so I tossed it in a I mean, the fry fuck pan. It, I'll toss you yeah. in the fry pan, you bastard. So I tossed it, looks it in really the fry good, pan. Though. It looks really good, though. It looks really, really good. Thank you so much. It's a different pack of veggies. Yes. <laughs> they're AAP. No, they're not. No, there's they're beans. Not. There's beans. Yeah. Never mind. It's pretty Plus close, not. though. It is close, yeah. I mean, we could always just fish the beans out and give them all to you. Although cooking it in with the bean water would probably make it not AIP. Not AIP. <laughs> Not IP. Yep, that's exactly the thing. I get the roast is supposed to be pink, but like, it was it maybe was like, that much cooked meat and this much very, very pink meat. Yeah, I, I trust Jack. Like, he knows the difference between like a, a medium rare steak and a raw steak. Like, he, he knows the difference. Um, so, yeah. And this, this stuff is still pink. It's just not... Right. Raw. <laughs> it's just not raw. It's no longer bright. There is a, yeah, there is a difference between raw and still pink. I trust Jess. He's not gonna try to kill me. Maybe. Um where are we? Not all the time walking after that. Oh yeah, cycling through them all to do time walking will be very interesting. A few more characters on Horde 2, my second account, my double Q, yes! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Ah, uh, Rose is supposed to be pink, yes. Ah, uh, you said person doing everything too well done. Uh, what sauce do you have there, Jess? No sauce. So yes, it is appropriate for you to use the, the audio, the, the sound command. I see what you're doing, dude. Cool pink center is how I like it. Yeah, I, um... With my my autoimmune stuff, uh, I am with my sources. No. exceptionally susceptible. Last time I got food poisoning, I was I wound up in hospital. Um, so 
Yeah, we got to be careful. <laughs> we we got to be careful. Uh, one sauerkraut. Ooh, I think we actually have a jar of sauerkraut somewhere in the house. Sauerkraut's really tasty. Um, see so if you don't like it pink, that makes sense. I do like it pink, but I I still need it to be cooked for my health. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck me, like, fuck well done. Absolutely goddamn not. Um, I prefer my steaks rare. But, um, depending on the place that I'm going, I will order them, like, medium rare. Some places even medium because they undercook them and, um, I, I have, I just, I have to be careful. It has to be to the right temperature all the way through or it could seriously make me really unwell <laughs> and I, I can't really um afford to like not not afford from a money sense because um like emergency room and stuff in Australia is free as long as you go public you, you're fine uh they treat you and you're okay but um I can't afford to get sick I can't afford to take time off I can't afford to do all the other shit um that comes along with being that sick so yeah but I do like if I'm cooking a steak myself it's absolutely rare it's absolutely rare but it is to temp all the way through. Uh, and I'll fucking check it. Fucking check it. Uh, it's rough and not fun. Correct. Very not fun. Fuck autoimmune conditions. Like, come on, buddy. That system is designed to fight off invaders, not my own parts. <laughs> Since I don't trust most meat for the same reason, don't trust most grocery stores. Fair. Fair. I'd get to bed, planning on being in bed over an hour and a half ago. I was having too much fun using my kid worry with purse. Enjoy, wear, rest well. We'll see you next time. If I'm eating out, it's chicken. Isn't chicken more dangerous than, like... I could be wrong. Look, I, I'm probably wrong. That's okay. Fuck all the conditions. Agreed. All right, that's... I'm going to go purchase a thing with my spirit shards that I have. Mmm, lamb roast, yas. Mmm, God, that's good. Mmm. Yeah, if you cut into it and it's pink, you know it's bad. Whereas there is different levels of pink with other stuff. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That makes sense. <clears throat> a single thing. Box of mini Oreos, prefer them. So the normal size Oreo is brilliant. Love me some salmonella. Mmm. Delightful. A spirit sage gar talk. think? No. Weren't they like in here? Maybe? No? Ah! I was- look, I was close. I was close. <clears throat> All right, so chain helm, link tail mail helm. Oh, they're all the same thing anyway. They're all the same appearance. Victory. Fuck yes. Uh, so that puts me to, oh, still 18 out of 27. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna pop myself back to the garrison and we're gonna switch to a hunter. Any hunter, really, it's fine. And we're going to smash through four rounds of Gruul's Lair. Mm, just picky. The amount of times I order medium rare and it's blue. Yeah, like, I can understand overcooking. Like, I get, I get overcooking, but undercooking in a restaurant? Like, fucking food safety, guys. What happens if you order fucking rare? What if you, what if you order blue? You still have to cook it properly. Like, fuck. I know there are a bunch of restaurants out there who are like super cautious with it 
And so they like overcook it just because they want to make sure that it's cooked. But undercooking is just so fucking dangerous. Okay, Hunter. Let's do it. Order it blue and get green. <laughs> get still mooing. Just order it blue for delivery and have a cow show up on your doorstep. Hmm. I'd prefer they overcook to undercook. I mean, I'd prefer they get it right. But if they're going to fuck it up, I would absolutely prefer over to under. Definitely. <clears throat> a blue dyed cow. Oh no. Oh no. True purse. Oh, I can make them cook it more, but if they're trying to serve me shoe leather. I mean, I do get nervous about sending food back. Like, if I can show that it's very clearly very undercooked, like raw in the middle kind of undercooked, I'm fine sending it back, but if it's not quite right, I feel like I'll get an extra serving of sauce, as illegal as it is. <clears throat> I just... Yeah, I don't know. There are you never know when you're gonna be going to that the one restaurant in the the cluster of suburbs that has that one asshole working in the kitchen, you know? Like you just you just can't know. <clears throat> Cause I'd love to think that people wouldn't do it because it's terrible, but assholes are a thing. <laughs> <clears throat> and dickheads don't always think. Right, Gruel's Lair, two of nine. Let's see if we can get the rest of them to drop. Was it an Argentinian? When the waitress asked how I wanted it, I said preferably with a, still with a heartbeat and she went white. Oh no. I've perfected the, oh my God, I feel so bad. It's fine, don't worry about it. So the wait staff does it because I'm so sweet. Like it's their idea. Fair, totally fair. Uh, yeah, I mean, look. As long as the as long as the food gets to me before I'm hangry, then I could probably do the same. But I'm I'm so glad you've perfected that. That's awesome. Because I don't look like I'm just being annoying. Exactly. You're not you're not being um you're not being a dick. You just like no. It, look, it's it's honestly it's okay. But like yeah. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> All right. This is a long fucking flight. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Mm. That else is so pretty. There are a lot of really pretty, like, races and zones and all that kind of shit in WoW, aren't there? Like, oh my god. So many of them just look amazing. Oh, Gruels is in Blade's Edge, isn't it? Oh, I keep right, of course. For some reason I kept thinking it was in, um, it's Mags that's in Hellfire. No wonder it's a long fucking flight. <clears throat> Bastion and Ardenwild is so nice. Mm. They do have really lovely aesthetics. <clears throat> Honestly, I really do like Revendreth too. It's very kind of like I think they did a really good job at creating the atmosphere they were trying to go for, and that makes me happy. Yeah, I got exciting new nail toys today. Oh, yay, purse! What did you get? What did you pick up? Sent a bunch of stencils. Ah, awesome! That's so cool. You have to tag me when you when you do stuff and you post pictures in places. Will you tag me? <coughs> I want to see, and I don't trust the fucking algorithm, and I'll forget because my brain's a colander. 
<laughs> I would love to see. God, I'm getting experience for exploration. This is embarrassing. Cosmo is now to Yas! Awesome. I'm still trying to use up. I have like all of these fucking like ch cheap shitty eBay decal eBay decals that I'm trying to use up. Uh, so I'm still working through those. <laughs> I'll get the. I love that you call your brain is a colander. Mm. Well, yeah, like a, a pasta strainer type dealy, because like all the all the memories, all the like, yeah, it all just flows out. All the knowledge, <laughs> everywhere gone. Can I have a bag of those two? Yeah, I did have them because I had one that came in like a little plastic slip on a cardboard, you know, like the cardboard swing things with the staples to hold it. And I had them all in that little bag, but then the bag split and I fucking dropped them everywhere. And I'm like, that is not happening again. So now, now I have them in a little snack size Ziploc bag because fuck that. These are durable as hell. So I'm happy with that. Because same, yeah, it, look, it took me a while to figure out exactly what it was that my brain was, but once we got there, it's just, it's become a meme. There may or may not be a colander emote in the making. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so it took me longer to get to Gruul's Lair than it will for me to actually clear the place, just FYI. Yay! Did I get Pauldrons of the Fallen Hero? No, I got Pauldrons of the Fallen Champion. But I did get Morgar's Warhelm, which was one of the things I needed. So I'm now three of nine. Oh, I had an unlock on. Good. <clears throat> but I'm still gonna run this on all four of my hunters because I've been wanting to be able to do this for such a long time and now I can and I'm overjoyed by this. So. Wait, what was the spell? That there was one that I had that just kills everything. I forget what it was. Multi-shot. <clears throat> Found it! <laughs> um... Bought a random set of 150 from Amazon, was so disappointed to find 130 of them were flowers. Oh, fuck that noise. Yeah, no, I, I, I could never. That sucks. I'm so sorry to hear that. I mean, I get that flowers are popular, but sometimes we want to be a goth bitch. Just let us be a goth bitch. Let us put skulls and, and crosses and stars and moons and shit. Like, come on, let us, let us be our best selves. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I got I got leggings of the fallen hero, so I can use those too. Um, but there's still something I need. Oh, I can use them. I can use the leggings to purchase chain leggings from from Keldenas. Okay, interesting. Oh, excuse me. Cool, so I'm at four of nine now, so that's pretty good. If I can get the other three I have to drop two each, I'll be almost done. That's good. To the next hunter. Imagine we will use that emote many, many times. Yes, if we remember to use it, of course. Uh, I hate that I couldn't have Scarlet on League. So I settled to using Starlet because it's a nickname. Oh, that's awesome. Ah, uh, most of my whole tunes are trolls. I've chucked in one orc and like four blood elves, that's about it. Oh, and one goblin. They put all the cool shit in the display pick and then pulled a bait and switch. Welcome to eBay! Also usually Amazon! I mean, the, the shitty retailers on Amazon anyway. I mean, look. Amazon Australia. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look. I hate to think 
purse. We should, we should find a set of something on Wish and both purchase it and see if we even get the same shit. $3 so, so I'll take it. Yeah, it, it's a bit that way, isn't it? Like it's not worth chasing down for the refund. So, yep. Hello, gamer. Catwalk down the mog stage. Wonderful. Enjoy. I want nails with bats on. I have a I have a stamping plate with bats. It's really good. Posture check. Okay. Dad bought me Mackie's breakfast. Delicious. One hundred percent yes. Knowing we shall have to wait twenty years for it to arrive. Yeah, but twenty years from now, I'll open and be like, "What the fuck is this?" And be like, "Okay, sure." And then Purse will come into chat one day and be like, hey, I just got, yeah, I got these random decals in the mail. I was like, oh my God, it's the thing we got. It'd be great. It'd be hilarious and everyone will laugh. <laughs> Top tier content. Let me sachet. Go for it. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, what am I doing? Rule. Ah, uh, there's no E. I'm like, why did that not work? It's, it's a, it's, is it I-E maybe? I think it's B-O-O-G-I-E rather than bogey. Boogie. Boogie down. There we go. Yep, it works. Hey, Cass. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I know I am. And that's actually not sarcasm. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's set us up to head to Gruel's Lair. Uh, which has decals that claim to be glow in the dark? Why do I feel like I get radiation poisoning? Probably. Probably. And you see the Battle.net launcher? Oh, amazing, Cass. I'm so glad you clicked. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, help me out, guys. My brain is drawing a blank. What's the best place to farm silk cloth? No idea. Go to Wowhead, search for the item silk cloth, and read the comments, and someone will give you a fantastic place to farm it. I betcha. Got you a few times on the launcher? Amazing. That is super awesome. It's almost been a year that I bet the very first time I was on the launcher was the 1st of February, 2021. How incredible is that? Like just, whoa, just whoa. Nom 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 nom. <clears throat> awesome to know you're from Oz. I'm from Sydney. Oh, brilliant. I used to live in Sydney. I went to uni in Sydney many moons ago. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I bet it's changed a hell of a lot since I, I um, when I moved from, from Sydney to Brisbane, it was just as the, all the lockout laws were starting to take effect. And, and like some of the, the places that I loved to go in like uh, the cross and in the city and stuff like that, um, like shut down literally the week that I left or the week after or the week after that or so. So I, I feel like, I feel like if I went back, I wouldn't recognize half the place, which um, makes me kind of sad um, because I had like, I had my formative years in Sydney. 
Uh, I lived there for about six years and um, I did the uni uh, and then I stayed living there for a few years after I graduated and just like all of my I had a massive group of friends and, and all those experiences you know and, and growing into myself and discovering who I was was mostly in Sydney um, so just knowing that the, the half the places that I used to frequent no longer exist kind of <laughs> makes me sort of scared to visit again because I feel like I'll, I'll I know I wouldn't lose those memories but I feel like it would change those memories somehow knowing like going there and it not being that do you know it's just it's weird brains are weird brains are stupid <laughs> <sighs> but yeah like um I uh lots and lots of memories spent a lot of time in and around Darling Harbour like a lot a lot of time I'm pretty sure one of the bars that we went to, like a lot, is still there, but um, not too sure. I haven't, I haven't wanted to look it up just in case. Especially like in the last two years, I imagine so much more would have changed as well. Poor. Okay, I got two pauldrons of the fallen champion and one defender, so no pauldrons of the fallen hero, which is what I needed. But that's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm beginning to love vegetables more than I'm vegetarian. I mean, yeah, if that's if that's all you're eating, then you'll absolutely become to love what you're doing. Um, it said, "Yay!" I need to go pick my brain off the pillow where I left it this morning. I'm so scatterbrained. Although I wouldn't even bat an eyelid about it automatically going to Google stuff. That's okay. Oh, don't worry about it. Everyone has those days, hey. Uh, okay, nothing I can use. Not even, not even the leggings of the, hit, the fallen hero. That's okay. Let's head back to the heart of our garrison and jump onto the next hunter. We were just talking about a similar thing tonight. The venue I spent my teenage years seeing all music act closed down in my hometown this week. Oof. Yeah, that is a sad face. It's definitely one of those days. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, um, like... So my my mum and my stepdad are looking at coming up to visit next month. Uh, I haven't seen them in person for nearly two years. It will be more than two years since I've seen them by the time they actually get here. If they manage to get here, we all, you know, everything changes every day. So we're just, we're not, not holding our breath. We're just kind of waiting and seeing what happens. Um, but like, and I'm like, oh, you we know, we're going to go out for dinner. I need to find, and it's like, oh, there's that place that we used to go to a whole bunch. It was really, really good. And we haven't been there in literally years. Doesn't feel like years, but it's been years because it was before the pandemic. Um, and so I looked it up and it's gone. <laughs> and it's like, oh, like, so there's not these tons of memories and stuff, but it's just, God, it has changed the world in so many different ways. Uh, so it's interesting. It's interesting. Phoenix, you have a resident Percy to ask questions. Why would you need Google to be wrong? <laughs> yeah, look. Look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's, uh, it's, it's an interesting time. Kita. Hunter number three. All right, and then we'll be on the original Hunter. Ah, oh, invite me to Japanese music. Wonderful. I hope you continue to enjoy it.
get the feeling I'm not gonna clock gruels today for, for the hunters. It'd be nice though. I still could. Like, I could get Pauldrons of the Fallen Hero. I could get doubles, or I could get one on each. And then for these four, I could get two on each, or, or like I could even get all four of them on one run. Uh, but I don't think I will. <laughs> You know, I mean, they say all loot is under loot, but, <laughs> but. <clears throat> Have you gotten COVID yet? No, no. And it's definitely not a yet. I have not gotten COVID. I will not get COVID. I have an autoimmune condition. Uh, thankfully, I was able to get both of my vaccinations but my medical circumstances have changed since I got my second dose. So I am uncertain whether or not I can get a booster. So I don't leave the house. Cause I'm in that group where if I get sick, it'll fuck me up. <laughs> so I am avoiding it with everything in my being. Thankfully, I have an incredible housemate, best friend, head moderator, the whole kit and caboodle, uh, who's able to do things like run errands and grab groceries and stuff like that for us, um, which is exceptionally kind of him. But uh, yeah, no. <laughs> nah. I refuse. I shall not. Did you get the last few babies to 50? I did, Apathy, it's done! Naturally, the final mimi attempt. Good luck, purse! Best of luck. All the well wishes. You're gonna do this. Do the nasal sprays help? Yes. For about 45 minutes. <laughs> um, the steroid nasal sprays do. Um, the yeah, I get the, I get the the steroid ones help. Um, but as soon as they wear off after about 45 minutes, it's back to normal. No permanent uh, helping, unfortunately. Mm, have you seen the WoW thing add-on and website for your supplements ATT really well? No, because I use Data for Azeroth. Um, I haven't actually heard of WoW thing. Um, interesting, leaving the house in this economy? COVID around Christmas, all good now. Oh, that's so good to hear. I'm glad you're feeling better. Was it as bad as I thought it would be? A lot of, so I live in Brisbane and all of my family live in Melbourne uh, and a lot of them have had it. Uh, my stepbrother, my stepsister, a couple of cousins, a couple of step cousins, um, family friends, like a whole lot. And even in here, even here in, um, in Brisbane, I've had quite a few friends who've had it. Um, but uh, their medical situation is not my medical situation. They've all been fine. Like they've, it's all, they've all been double vaxxed. Uh, most of them have had their boosters and it's all been well and good. Uh, but I'm... I'm special and uh, I'm not saying that just to be like panicky or whatever um like my specialists have told me that I'm special like <laughs> they've told me to do what I can to avoid it uh because it's it it no bueno for fear unfortunately um but yeah, I'm I'm so glad that so many people are being able to brush it off really easy that just it Thank fuck for that, you know? Thank fuck for that. Uh, Neke, Z, Krazy, Captain, Solstice, and Draz. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, another one. This one. <clears throat> um, this one. Here. Good. Good. Um. Uh, honestly, I don't know how I haven't caught it yet. Oh, we've got an ad. Okay, I might shut up for a bit just so I can respond to people when they can fucking hear me.
And it's almost done. Right, so the ad should be finished. Um, uh, where are we up to? Honestly, I don't know how I haven't caught it yet. Um, my immunocompromised self and living in the US and I'm still Gucci. That's awesome, Purse. That's really, really good. Uh, I hope you can carry on the... I hope that you can carry on that pattern. I really do. Uh, wow thing is great. Tons of functionality and under active development. Oh, that's good. Um, is the comment about active development related to ATT? Because, I mean, ATT is also under active development. Um, sorry, I just look. <laughs> Everything has trained me to read into every fucking comment. Uh, <laughs> like, what does it do that ATT doesn't, apart from have a website? Uh, Omicron is now in New Zealand. It is. I saw. I saw. Okay, so I got the Axe of the Gron Lords. That's good. But I didn't get the Hero Legs or anything else. So I'm now on to five of nine. And I've got one Hunter to go. <clears throat> I had the original COVID November 2020 before the vax. Lungs got fucked up pretty good. Still feel it when doing sports and shit. Dark, I'm so sorry to hear that. Welcome to chat, also. I uh, hope you're having a good day. But I am I'm so sorry to hear that. That really sucks. OG COVID before it was cool, Jesus Christ. Um, had COVID last week. Well, that sucks. Still COVID 3 since 83. Don't worry, I have nitro! Okay. <laughs> Got wrecked by ad boss? Yes, that's why I waited to answer people. Because I know that there are a few people in here who don't have subs and I don't want you to, like, miss the thing. Uh, whatever it's called. Turbo? I, yeah, I think it's turbo. I think it's turbo? Yeah. Wait, didn't they used to have a badge for turbo? Or is that hidden behind your cheer badge? I'm so confused. Uh, I do have to go to the grocery store on a weekend when I wake up tomorrow and I'm, like, not excited about it. Oh, I can imagine. I wouldn't be either. I mean to read about 20 minutes. People are panic buying. Of course they are. Of course they are. Uh, let's you keep track of what you need slash have across all your alts, covenants, armor types, etc. Has replaced several of my tracking spreadsheets. Cool. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it's working for people. That's really good. Um. Gruul. Let's go. This is my last hunter, so fingers crossed we can. Uh, <laughs> fingers crossed we can uh, cross a few more things off. Cross a few more items off. <clears throat> mm. Okay, no head tonight. Okay, look, you can get a snack before bed. Sounds like a plan purse. Enjoy. I hope it's delicious and tasty, and I hope that you rest well. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for the raid for stopping by. I appreciate it. One thing I need from Gruen Hunter. Ooh, Apathy, go get it. Go get it. Currently don't have to leave the house at all. Yay! Studying an online uni course. Only time I exit my house is to go into my backyard. I feel that. I am living in an apartment, so no backyard here. Uh, I do have a balcony, but fuck that. There is, like, so many different apartment buildings going up in our like relative area so the balcony everything is covered with a layer of construction dust so it's gross out there so i don't go out there <laughs> um but yeah it's been it's been a while since i've left the house uh, and i don't need to leave the house for a, a while longer so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna just stay here <clears throat> My spreadsheets are redundant with WoW thing now. Still use ATT extensively. It's just an easier way to track things. Interesting. Okay. Dang mage sword. Yas. Sorry, playing hardcore classic and keep getting distracted. Crazy. You should not be allowing us to distract you from hardcore. You are going to die and I shall not be responsible for you dying in hardcore. <laughs> do not. Do not do. Concentrate, please and thank. Listen, but like, concentrate. <laughs> That's really interesting. I'll have to have a look into it. 
Ruperoni Karazis too? No! I need to blame someone else apart from my own stupidity? No. Thou shalt not. <laughs> you will die, we will laugh. If I can believe documentaries, I'd be more scared to go into a backyard in Australia than get. Look. There are a shitload of dangerous animals in Australia. None of them will go anywhere the fuck near you unless you, like, tr go into their home. Don't go sticky. We had this discussion, like, what was it, Friday? Do not stick your arm into hollow fucking logs and you won't discover what lives inside. Literally. Don't be an idiot and you'll be fine. I have been living in Australia for nearly 32 years. I'm turning 32 in, what, two weeks? No, fuck off, three weeks. Three weeks, I'm turning 32 in three weeks. I have never been bitten by a spider. I have never been bitten by a snake. I've never been bitten by a shark. I've never even fucking seen a shark outside of an aquarium. Um, like, just don't be an idiot and you're fine, seriously. <laughs> it's it's fine um like the nature documentaries and shit get real up close and personal and like marvel at how efficiently they murder their prey but humans are not their prey they will defend themselves if you try to fuck with their shit but like so would a human we i made the comparison that if someone tried to like, if someone stuck a giant arm through my window right now, I would absolutely find the closest goddamn weapon and beat the shit out of that giant arm. So why wouldn't you if you're a fucking spider? <laughs> like, just because their weapon happens to be their fangs, <laughs> I'd bite it. Okay, maybe not bite it, I don't know where it's been. But like, yeah. <laughs> um, Hi, the sun well. Dance, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. How are you going? Good evening to you too. My goodness. Um, I just hit level 18 again after losing my last one at 20. Ooh, so close, Krazy. So close. You can do it. Excuse me. You can do it, I believe. A double sword drop. Yas! Apathy, so does that mean you don't need anything from gruels on your hunters anymore? No pauldrons of the fallen hero. So I will not be achieving 100% of gruels this week. But that's okay. I'm still, I'm doing a hell of a lot better than I was. I'm, I was on 22%, now I'm on 55%. So like, I did okay. <clears throat> um... Especially with those drop bears, they're deadly, but, but holy logs have treasure inside. RPGs have told me this. So bash the hell out of them with like a stick. Don't stick your arm inside. Like break them apart for the treasure. <laughs> I've never ever seen a spider or snake in my backyard. I mean, I've seen spiders around, like, but not like, I've never, <laughs> you just, just don't fuck with them. <laughs> hey, all right, I got the Bloodmore Magis Blade. Maybe that's what um, you were looking for as well, Apathy. I got two of them. Uh, so that puts me at six of nine. Look, that's not bad. It's 22% up to 66%. I'll fucking take it. I'll fucking take it. And I'm jumping back to the goddamn shaman. Um, <clears throat> but first what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to port. I'm going to jump on fear and port to Barrett and Tolberard because the thing I need is Barrett and hold. Um, so I need to make sure that I need to see which faction has it um, before I go taking someone all the fucking way out there that doesn't have a port. Um, so. Let's jump on fear. Ah, she's in Dalaran. That's fine. <clears throat> Wait, is it? No, it's not fucking... It's Kata, isn't it? Baron Hall is Kata. Yep, there we go. Found you. Been bitten by spiders. I kind of picked them up to take them outside. Yeah, I don't. I spray them with shit uh, and kill them. Don't be an idiot. Sounds hard, though. 
Like that I surprised a pest control dude when I told him I've never been stung by a wasp. Yeah, I've never not never been stung by a wasp or a bee or, or anything like that. I was I got an ant bite once. But I fucking sat on the nest. So again, I fucked with their shit. <laughs> I squished their home with my butt. So, <laughs> so it was in self-defense for their on their part. Wasps too are suck, they can die in a fire. Human bite would actually be pretty bad, lots of bacteria. Yeah, I know, but I'd have to break their skin. I'd have to break the giant hen's skin to do that. And who knows what's on their skin? Who knows what's in their potential blood? Like, I, yeah, it would not be a good idea. Uh, I once saw a blue tongue lizard attacking my dogs for some reason. It wouldn't leave my backyard, so I chopped its head off with a shovel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bluey's are fine. Leave them alone and they'll be happy eating bugs. I totally get what you're saying, but with phobia of spiders, I'm not sure a trip to Australia would be a good idea. I don't get spiders in my apartment. I have not once seen a spider in this apartment. Except, like, if it's been one that's, like, literally this fucking big, and it's come in on, like, someone's shirt or something. And those are the kind of ones that you can squish with your fingers. Like, they're, they're too small to be able to cause any sort of damage at all. It is horde controlled. Phenomenal. So. <clears throat> uh, we're going to cycle through my horde shamans. How uh, many of them are there? One, two, three. I have three horde shamans. Ah, <clears throat> uh, good evening, if you haven't had a birthday last week, do I miss out on Raid Night with the Guild? Oh no! I'm good to be here. Awesome. I'm glad you're well. Bad enough with the local housewives get in the UK. It was basically mini puppy size in Paris. No, they're not. No, they're not. They, they genuinely are not. Um, they very exceedingly rarely get big, and those kind of big spiders, they, they are not in suburban areas. They're not in houses, they're not in suburbs, they're not in shops. They're out in fucking forests and bullshit. Like, they're not anywhere near anywhere that humans have frequent. They're fucking scared of us. Even the biggest ones, we're approximately 100 fucking times their size. They are not a predator of ours. We are a predator of theirs, and so they stay the fuck away from us. Like, <laughs> it's not, yeah. Do all Americans get attacked by bears and mountain lions? It's because Jazz is actively hunting them. Of course, the new drop bear is a much bigger issue than spiders. Correct. But again, don't go in the forest and you'll be fucking fine. Like, stay away from unpopulated areas and it, it will not affect you in the slightest. Uh, okay. Baradin Hall. <clears throat> Actually, I might just sell some of this shit to stop those cycle oh, things from coming up. Yes. Over the country, keep your head on a swivel. Just don't, like, Scale. don't hang around underneath trees and shit, and, like, you'll be fine. Stay out in the open if you have to stand around. Because they can't drop on you if there's nothing to drop from. red berries in the trees you won't hang with the drop bears of course then you got those asshole magpies yep i would honestly say magpies are a much 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 bigger problem than spiders and snakes and all that kind of shit combined like seriously um but again they're really easy to avoid <clears throat> there are certain suburbs where they nest and there will be signs are posted around the place if it's magpie season if you see a sign, go elsewhere. Like, it's fine. <clears throat> nah, Bluey figured out magpies. Once hit a magpie with a broom. Jesus. Well done. Good aim. Nah, around here you get a lot of people wearing, um, they get like bike helmets and then through the slots in the bike helmet, they tie like a ton of zip ties just all the way. So it's poking out like a, you know, spiky thing. Magpies can't get in there. They also can't get your head if there's a fucking helmet on it. Smack them too if they attack me. Yeah, absolutely. So 
So um, for those of you who are very confused by this, magpies are a bird uh, and they are highly territorial, um, especially during their like baby season, their mating season. Um, when they have eggs in their nest, even if you don't know it's there, even if you're not paying any attention to it, it will the, the magpies will pretty much attack anyone who kind of comes in the vicinity of the nest. Uh, and it's called swooping. So basically they get up high and then they kind of zoom, like they, they use the, high, the, the whole physics thing. Um, they get their wings out and they, they kind of glide down at extremely high speeds uh, and bonk you with their beaks, like stab you in the head with their beaks basically. Um, and uh, swooping magpies have been known to take chunks out of people's heads. Uh, like, and I'm not talking just chunks of flesh. Occasionally they take a chunk of skull or they can dent a skull, that kind of thing. Like their beaks are very, very strong. And with the speed that they're attacking you with, uh, it does a lot of damage. Um, but we know this, we know this about magpies. We, we are like, we know where they nest. It's something that's been tracked for a very long time. We know where they are. We know what time of year it happens. Uh, and so we monitor it and we, we tell people, we put up signs to say beware magpie season. Uh, and so, you know, people who are on bikes and stuff, especially if they're zooming through an area and they have no idea what's going on there, they don't know if there's a, um, a nest nearby or whatever, um, they'll wear, you know, a helmet like you're supposed to, a fucking bike helmet. Uh, and they'll do things like putting uh, zip ties, like cable ties uh, around the bits of the bike helmet to make it look like a, a spiky sort of fancy thing. Uh, and because so the, the nag bag pies will get down, but they can't get between the zip ties. Uh, it kind of deters them and they kind of fly off and stuff, or they'll like, they'll, they'll, you know, use their beaks. They'll clip it, the, the, uh, the zip ties, but also the helmet protects you and they can't get like, if you wear just the helmet, sometimes, sometimes they can just manage to get their beak into the slots in the helmet. But if there's, um, zip ties in the way, they can't, they just can't get to you. Um, so that's one way that people tend to protect themselves. But again, don't go where the signs are and you'll be fine. Like, it's just fucking common sense. I fucking hate Barrett and Hold for my fucking transmog farming. You never get anything. It hurts. It hurts. <clears throat> 22 out of 98. Is that accurate? It is. Okay, cool. Nothing from that boss. Um, I was trying to attack a little kid. Oof. Yeah, dive bombers. Exactly. Yeah, dive bombing. That battle move. Drop as though you're on your own. Good luck. Yeah, again, but stay away from the trees. Like, don't hang around under trees and forests and shit, and you'll be fine. Single trees tend to be okay because they have nowhere else to go, so they don't like those ones. They tend to hang around in groups of trees. So they can go from tree to tree. Ah, oh, it's Australian open time. Get a racket! Oh, I hate this Not going to Australia? That's My fine. More of it for us. I hate adventurers. <laughs> <laughs> All cluster for my druid. Oh, God, I hate that. I hate that. <clears throat> I hate every one of you. Holy shit, I got a few. 28 out of 98, so I've just jumped six. Just jumped by six. Um, there was an infant death not long ago that was attributed to a magpie attacking their mother. Oh god. Uh, I'm trying to say in a roundabout way is that no matter the size of the spider, even though I know they leave you alone as long as you leave them, any side of a spider has me running for the hills. It's larger than a key on a keyboard. I would have to get my mum to put it outside because I'm not going within a two meter radius of the area it's at in. Okay, so like... 95% of spiders are smaller than a key on a keyboard. They don't they don't get in the house if they're any bigger than it because there's nowhere for them to enter. It's not like they walk through the door when you open it. <laughs> like yeah. Look, I, I get what you're saying. I too am an arachnophobic person. Like when I was young, I would refuse to use the bathroom if there was a daddy long legs in there. Right? But there's like, what? oh, I got a trinket. <laughs> Good. It like, yeah, it, yeah, they're just, yeah, I think, I think people massively overestimate exactly what living in Australia, living in Australia is like. We, we don't walk around with fucking bug spray in a holster to try to protect ourselves from shit. It, it's not, that's not how it works. 
I understand your fear because I share it. My father, he attempted to level a night elf with me. Not on stream, this was many, many, many moons ago. He attempted to level a night elf. He got to that cave that was full of spiders. One of them phased in and he said, nope, practically threw the keyboard off the desk and walked straight out of the room and refused to touch the game again. Like that is how afraid of spiders he is. He wouldn't even handle them in a fucking video game, right? He lives in Australia. That tells you how infrequent spider sightings are. Like, <laughs> mm. yep. Note he lives in Australia by choice. He has a UK passport. He's from England. Mm. Ninja spiders, mm. Knock knock, who's their spider? Daddy Long Long Spiders are the cutest, my boys. No, they're safe to have around. Mm. I didn't when I was younger. All I saw was spider. Like, no matter how anyone tried to explain it to me, it didn't matter. I just saw spider. But, yeah, as I've grown, I've gotten a bit better with it. Still not, um, still not super good though. Okay. There you go. Safe from spiders, my cat is well trained and kills anything that moves. Also, hello, Exo, how are you going? Had one right up close to a light bulb and the shadow it cast was awesome. Oh, I can only imagine. That would have been terrifying. Ugh, gross. My dad needs to walk around with a tool belt. A bug spray! I'm sure he's a walking beacon for them, always getting bitten. How is he getting, like... How does he get bitten by spiders if he just, if he, leave, if he leaves them alone? He can't be, he must be fucking with them somehow. He must be sticking in his hands where he shouldn't be sticking his hands, or like, you know, like, that just... That doesn't make any sense. Like, spiders are, like, they're not aggressive. They are hella defensive, of course, as would anyone be, but like... I don't understand. Mosquitoes, on the other hand, can suck a dick. And, like, not a pleasant one. <clears throat> Those little shits just, oh, make my life a living hell. My hubby did that one of, that with one of the VR games that had huge spiders. He threw the headset across the room. Yeah. Concept of value and cost and expense go bye-bye when presented with that kind of shit. Like, good lord. No, I, I just wouldn't. I could not. Absolutely not. <clears throat> Bugs or anything about intrusive. Okay, see, that's different. That's totally different. Um, yeah, bugs, bugs that are looking for a feed. That, that don't actually like not not like spiders and shit, but like mosquitoes and whatnot. That's that's totally different. We're talking about like the shit that Australia is famous for because of all the nature documentaries and why all these people are like, oh my god, I could never go to Australia. It's so dangerous there. It's really not. If it was so dangerous here, humans wouldn't have survived. Like fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> mm, this broccoli is really tasty. Okay.
28 of 98. This is shaman number two. Hopefully, I'll get some more drops. Wait, there are people who live in Australia? There are. I know. Shocking, right? Shocking. <clears throat> That's healing. Whoops. Oh! Wait. No, that was a shared appearance, you assholes. With fear, no matter how logically you understand about something, wipes out all common sense with face with that fear. Uh, the air shows here that show the customs of the airports. Like, is that dirt on your luggage carry wheel? That's a threat to our wildlife. Please pay X dollars to nuke the luggage. Well, yeah, that's true. So, um, in in places like America, right, you share land borders with a bunch of different countries. So if you've got if you've got some kind of bacteria in dirt that is native to Canada. You share a border with them and bugs and, and dirt bacteria and stuff like that, they don't know where the human borders are. They don't give a shit. So they just migrate and they get stuck to people's shoes as they walk across the border, all that kind of stuff. So all of your stuff is shared. Whereas in Australia, we have a water border. The entirety of our country is surrounded by water. We have no land borders with any other country. None. So things like bacteria in dirt can't get here. It cannot, which means that some of our plants, even some of our crops, like if we're growing food here and that food has never, that plant has never seen the bacteria that is on your suitcase before because it can't have, because it, there's, there's a water, there's no land bridge. It can't possibly have seen that bacteria before. And that, so it has no defenses against it. The plant doesn't have like an immune system type deal. Like it, it, our, our plants generate defense systems to everything that's in our soil and all that kind of stuff. That little bit of dirt on your luggage could carry a bacteria that could wipe out our entire crop in, the, in a matter of weeks. And then that's completely fucked our economy. It's fucked our food supply, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, it's, it's bad. It's bad. Even when we travel from mainland Australia to Tasmania, the little island down the bottom of Australia, we have those same customs checks between, and that's within Australia. Um, we have to throw things like fruit uh, and vegetables. Any kind of natural material has to be tossed. It, it can't be let into the into the state um, because it's just it's not it's not safe. We we don't know that it's safe. It could be carrying anything that could decimate an entire ecosystem. Um, so maybe unbelievable, but it's actually true. By the sun well. Mm. Doc, thank you so much for this sub. Welcome to the Fianati. I guess my explanation of dirt danger was <laughs> was fun. <laughs> oh the ad boss shit, I didn't realize there was an ad playing, I'm so sorry. Did you miss that whole thing or just like part of it? Happy to repeat bits and pieces if you need me to. The first part or the second part or like the middle part? You get it there? Okay, no worries. But yeah, it's um, I know it's annoying. Um, but at least at least this government process has an important purpose. <laughs> Thank you. 
Not all of them do, but this one does. Uh, before I went wiki good old Wikipedia, I always get a weird look whenever I mention that Australia has had a massive rap problem. Yep, absolutely. Because it was introduced... It's not a native species, it was introduced and... They reproduce like... Rabbits. And, um... <clears throat> they keep eating all the native flora and fauna and decimating the population. Because there's just so fucking many of them. Just like, um, Queensland has a problem with cane toads. It destroys an ecosystem. It's really interesting though, hey. Okay. Back before humans realized what the fuck we were doing. America has a tumbleweed problem. Also, hi. Hello. How are you going, Jack? <clears throat> Yay! We win! We did our win. Congratulations to BQ, Zam, Captain, Neke, Z, Spam, and Grubin on all your bonus shit. Well done. Have an annoying cat problem. Does that count? Sure. We'll make it count. It's fine. Turn that off, it's gonna be chilly now. This is my last shaman that I can run through Baradon Hole because it's only Hordies that can do it. <clears throat> so we'll see how this goes. go. Last one. Hopefully I can get still 28 out of 98. Like, fuck, man. <clears throat> I feel like Barad and Hold is going to be one of like the last, like Barad and Hold, uh, Winter Grasp, all those kind of things are going to be like the last ones on my list to clear on like every tune. It's going to be a whole thing. All the wolves. Oh my god, I actually got something? Holy shit, I did. Holy shit. Ah! 31! 31. Oh, now the lock was on! 31 out of 98! Brilliant. 
So there are some that are currency for. But, the, like, if I loot them, it won't go ding a ling. Oh, see, like, I've got, like, leg arches of raging elements. I've got that in my bags, so I can go trade that for something else. Oh, I just got that one. Never mind. That's the one I just got. I'm an umpty. But also, like, I can go and trade it for shit. I just have to make sure I actually do that instead of just accidentally selling it. Because I know that I will! Yeah, two from main raids by the PvP items. Marks of Honor comp stop next week. Indeed. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a bit busy next week. How I um, hate this place. My captors may be long dead. I hate adventurers. Mm. <laughs> PvP boring. There's also that. I hate every one of you. 33 out of 98. Jesus. Not bad. Good thing is I can go through here and be like, okay, I have that on Piro, so I need to go trade that at Rugok in Orgrimmar. I don't know where that is, but we'll figure it out. That one doesn't have any currency. This one does, so let's see if we get anything that can be traded. And a lot of these ones do share appearances as well. <clears throat> cool lamp. Where did you buy it? Um, what lamp? I don't have any lamps. I mean, I've got key lights, but I don't think you can see them. Used. Okay, nothing good there. Should I get any of these on the other tunes? I wonder. Doesn't look like it. That's right. So I've only got the one that's actually currency. So I need to head back to org. Um. Actually, Dalaran's probably gonna be fastest way. Um. With the stuff in the back. Well, is that what you're talking about? Note. Are you talking about the panels, the nano leaf panels? Yeah. Yeah. They're they're nano leaf panels. Um, you can get them anywhere that Nano Leaf is sold. Yep. Um, I didn't buy it. It was actually sent to me. Uh, sent to my peer box by an anonymous viewer, which I'm exceptionally grateful for. Uh, so yeah, I um, did not purchase them myself, but you can get them anywhere that Nano Leaf is sold. Okay, where the fuck is Rugok? Have a Legards of the Raging Elements for me. Um. Wait. What? I'm. Oh, heroic. So that's the normal version. I can just buy half of. The Fucking Jesus. I should just buy these. I am an idiot. Dumpty dumpty do. Oh, so I need a I need a leggings of the full on protector as well. Which can also be bought here. With an essence of the full on from Heroic Alakir. Okay, so I need to hold on to those. Um Where are they? These ones? 
Raging Elements. Okay, cool. So, that guy's the Raging Elements I need to remove from that list. I can sell all this. And then we're going to do the very embarrassing thing of purchasing all this shit with gold and see what happens. How much gold have I got? Enough. Alright, let's do this. These are all... Oh, they're BOE. Okay. May your blades never die. Oh, that's right. Those ones I have to, like, equip and then I have to wait for shit. <sighs> they're annoying. Be safe. like a whole thing. Or do I have to reload? I don't remember. I don't need that one. Although I know I do because the currency for the heroic one. But the heroic one will share thingy as well, won't it? Yeah, they share appearances as well, so I only need one. And then... That one, which we'll share with the gloves and the hand wraps. And then helmet. Which we'll share with headpiece. And face guard. And then spoulders, which we'll share with shoulder wraps and mantle. And then I need to hold on to all of those. These four plus that one, so the five of them, until I get upgrade pieces. Um, so raging elements, 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 elements. Cool. And then, yeah, those are the upgrade ones, but I can't do that because I don't have the Blackwing Descent and Magmor, and yeah, I'll get those one day eventually. And it'll be in their things at their currency as well, so it'll be fine. Cool. So I ended up at Baradon Hold 36, so not too many more. It's not super embarrassing. Just a little embarrassing. Uh, let's try reloading and seeing if those soulbound ones stick. Ah, oh, for forget to die and kill myself. Fair enough, Krazzy. Enjoy. Rest well. So streaming to get gifts like this? I've been streaming for six years, note. This is not, like, you don't stream to get shit. You stream because you want to. It's not... No, you do not stream for free shit. It doesn't happen. Um... I worked my fucking ass off to build a community, and, um, yeah. Anyway. All the happy noises, indeed! Mm, for the ones that have a timer to learn, if you just equip them, it cancels it and learns it right away. Okay, so those will be OEs. I purchased them, and then I put them on, and they're now soulbound. And they didn't, they still don't count. They're still not counting. There's no timer. Um, they are now soulbound. They just still didn't count. Um, but I had this issue with, uh, ones before as well. Yeah, they're still flagged. See, it says Soulbound. There's no timer. It just is. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a bit annoying. Um, I've had the same issue on Fear with other BOEs and stuff though. I think I'll just leave them there and see. Uh, I'll figure it out later. Um, so, my lowest percentage is now my Death Knight, Repressly, in the Underbog. So dungeon runs. <laughs> so we'll go, we'll go do that. Go do that. Get that number up a little. Fucking Underbog. Back to the 
underbug. One day I'll be done with the underbog, but it is not this day. It'd be really exciting one day to see these have like blue cells all over the place. Good old reload. Re Relog might sort it out. Had that so many times. Mm. I did try reloading. Um, I don't really want to. I can't be bothered right now, like logging all the way out and logging all the way back in again. I'm all right with it. It'll it'll figure out. And if it doesn't, I'll do some googling and figure it out myself. But uh, yeah, it's okay. Um, just a little bit of an O oh, because I wanted to. I wanted to hear the noise. I wanted to hear the noise. Uh, okay. Underbug! Let's go do underbug. Your mailboxes are working, as keep breaking at the moment for unknown reasons. What? That's odd. Excuse me. Yeah, that's really strange, Exo. I'm sorry to hear that. So, my lowest percentage raid and or dungeon, dungeon was 22%. It's now 23%. So, we're winning, guys. We're winning. We're getting there. 23 is the lowest one. Yesterday we couldn't collect mail at all. Oh, good lord. Progress, woo, indeed. Look, I've hit 100% on my 50 50s. I've got to make progress somewhere, right? So here we go. <laughs> Begin anew. The music in Zangar is so chill. Like eerie and kind of creepy a little bit, but like so chill. So nice. we go. <laughs> so, am I going to make any fucking progress on the underbug? <laughs> what the fuck am I stuck on? Nothing. It's just good. Feels like I'm going nowhere. Wonderful. This pipe, man. This pipe. All right, time walking underbug. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, we're gonna start 
with a heroic run. Because I feel like that's the right thing to do. <clears throat> and we need stuff from every boss because we literally have 10 out of 26. Ah! Oh, 10? Okay, it said 6. So that's an improvement, I guess. It's 10 out of 26, which means it's not our lowest. But we're going to do it anyway because we're fucking here. <laughs> Should have checked that. Oops. It's okay. <clears throat> Next lowest is now still on Presley, but it's Cathedral of Eternal Night. And look, as much as I fucking hate Underbog, um, I hate Cathedral more. So... I am honored. <laughs> we're going to do Underbog. <laughs> Fucking cathedral, man. Oh! That was interesting. What's wrong with cathedral? Look, you. Look. I just... Ugh. Especially on a level 50 tune, it's just not a fun time. And it would not drop anything that I needed. Like I did, I think it was like six or seven runs in a row, not a single new treat piece of transmog. And it's not like I was trying to get one more piece. I had like bits off every boss I could have gotten, but it just, it fucking hates me. Slave pens was my fave. Why am I nearly dropping out of here? Oh, cause all the reputation calculations. Okay. Um, looks like, yeah, slave pens is a hundred percent unfair. So that's nice, which means that a lot of the clothies will probably have it at 100 as well, or close to. It'll just have like just weapons remaining. But there are still plenty of, of <laughs> plenty of classes that still needs life bends. Rockma. <sighs> Hello, Booko. How you doing? Welcome on in. That was all I needed from that boss, and it dropped twice, so I'm good with that. Uh, 12 of 16. <clears throat> the lobster boss, yeah. Yup. Pretty sure he was the last one I had, yeah, and he he dropped it. I was pretty happy with that. I dropped twice, therefore it was double the ATT cap, right? Yes, correct. No, it shares an appearance with the normal version. <laughs> so it counts as two different items. Because I'm not doing uh completionist mode. I am on um I'm on unique mode. Because, fuck man, I've got enough on my plate as it is. Like, <laughs> but every time I kill a bunch of stuff, it increases. So reputation with Snarian Expedition increased by 15. Reputation with Sporagar increased by 45. So that's every time I try to kill stuff, it locks up for a second because it's trying to figure out how much rep I need, which is really funny. Leveled up my 22nd level 50. Well done, Moo. Congratulations. Well done. Clearly I need to clear the entire place of trash so it doesn't lock up every goddamn time. Actually, this will be fun. Let's see if it like breaks the game and disconnects me. <clears throat> this will be a fun try, a fun experiment. I'm now friendly with Sporago. So that's fun. That's hilarious. Get your ass over here. Oh, excuse me. Where are you going? Nothing from Gazan. Um, hello, Thad. Welcome on in. Remember these packs back in the day? Don't think your game is happy with you at the moment? Nah, it's like, fuck, I have to do math. Yeah, it's it's having a try. It's having a time. Try to figure out how much rep I need. <laughs> which, which is fine. It'll get over it. Can't decide on a main. Oh, no, Ash. You could always use, like, an, a random number generator, like, slash roll. 
That could be fun. <clears throat> Greetings. Hmm. Swamp Lord Musilek. My Greaves of the Iron Guardian. Excuse me. Two rings, exactly what I need when I'm transport farming. Thank you so very much. Ah, uh, I've been expecting you. Why would you go out there? The Black Stalker, Endbringer, Doomplate Shoulder Guards, and Pauldrons of Brute Force. None of it. <laughs> None of it at all. It's okay. I got one new thing this run. That's something at least. Let's switch to normal and do it again. Oh, I think I saw a cross there. I think there's a new transmog in my bag. Okay, I can equip. There it is! Amazing. Cool! Dungeon normal. Let's go. Hmm. need anything from Hungerfin anymore, so that's nice. First boss is completely done. The rest of them, on the other hand, not so nice. But yeah, um, we've moved, like, the lowest percentage is now Cathedral of Eternal Night, but it's still 23%. It's 23.08. So I feel like we've got a few things to cross off the list before we get to This is chill. I like this. This is nice. I hope you're all having fun. I hope this has been like 
nice background noise stuff to kind of like, I don't know about you guys, but like I, I play shit in the background just to kind of keep me company in quotation marks. So I hope that tonight has been like both entertaining, but also like chill enough that it can just function as what you need it to function as. I mean, as much as I have fun doing this, this is for you guys, this is entertainment. So I hope that it has served a purpose for you. Doing callings while you're on my second screen. Beautiful. Wonderful. I hope your callings are granting you with what you need. I'm perfect chills. I play Hunter and Classic. Wonderful. Sounds like a fun time. Fucking Gazan, not giving me what I need. You multi headed bitch. Gold, brilliant. Wonderful. And yes, Koalichon, thank you very much. If you would like to support me, and would you would like to do it for free, uh, the best way to do that is to follow me on social media. I'm not even kidding. Um, like, I, I did a photo shoot this morning. For a sponsorship um and the only way i would have been able to do that is have by having a social media following uh not like not many brands are keeping an eye out for people with twitch um a lot of it is is instagram based not gonna lie vast majority of brand deals and sponsorships are instagram based so if you have an instagram account and you're not already following me i, I humbly request that you do i promise it's not shit <laughs> I promise I try my best to post, like, good content, um, and you have no idea how much your follow will help me. You, you have, you honestly have no idea. Hitting a thousand, I'm really close to a thousand. I'm like 800 and something at the moment, I think. Uh, hitting 1k will just push me up so I'm actually visible to, to potential sponsors, uh, and then hitting 3k is like the next milestone, and then the milestone after 3k is 10k. Once you get to 10k, like that's the golden spot. Like that's where people start to realize that you're actually a thing. Um, but first things first, obviously baby steps. Um, I would love, 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 love to hit 1,000 Instagram followers. That's kind of like the goal at the moment. This is the, the big goal. The like, okay, the big overarching goal is become full-time streamer. <laughs> but in order to do that, I need to be able to pay my bills. And in order to do that, I would like to get money from companies instead of off the, the you know, out of the accounts of hardworking folks like yourselves. Uh, companies have marketing budgets. They have to spend it somewhere. Why not me? Uh, but in order for them to see me, in order, for order, in order for them to think that I'm a worthy investment, uh, I need to grow my social media following. So if you have an Instagram account, please do consider following me. Uh, but also places like Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter, if you're not already. Uh, and rant. <laughs> Thank you for not leaving while I've been blabbing about this. <laughs> Going through all my tables, wonderful, Jack. Uh, so I've cleared normal and I got nothing. Literally nothing. Not a single thing. Fuck Underbog, man. Fuck Underbog. Uh, Llama, hello! Welcome to chat. Follow Thank you so much for the follow. I very much appreciate it. Uh, if you just want to say yes, having a great night listening to your stream and hearing how you're going in your chats, yay! While listening to you, I'm hitting stream raiders now and then also dealing with a few home life things. Of course! Of course! So thank you! Ah, oh, that is so sweet of you to say. The puppy's doing okay. Yay! Thank you for the follow, Dark. Much appreciated. Well and truly appreciate. And I feel, I feel like one of the, you know those, like... The, the super annoying, like, YouTubers who are like, don't forget to like, subscribe, and, like, thumbs up this video, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And it's like, dude, your video has- I've been watching your video for approximately 12 seconds. I don't even know if I like you yet. Why the fuck am I gonna subscribe yet? Like... <laughs> I, like, I, I- I- that stuff irritates me, but at the same time, I know now why they do it. <laughs> Spam, Insta, Thor, BQ, Gruben, Dunno, and Draz. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. We are gonna do another battle. 
one more. But yeah, it's um, I I get it now. I get it now. It's because those numbers are literally everything. Uh, when a sponsor want like when a sponsor works with you, they want to know that when they invest in you, if they give you free product or they give you money, they are losing something. And in order for like in order for them to be willing to lose something, they need to gain something in return. Uh, so if someone gives me a product, they are expecting that giving me that product is going to turn into like if they if they give me one product they want that one product to turn into X number, like seven sales. They give out one for free and then get per like get seven purchases back. And every single, every single company will have a break even point. Um, you know, we give out this much, we give out one product and it costs us $100 to make, but every product we sell, we make $20 profit. You know, it costs us $100 to make, but we sell it for 120. So, I mean, that's a shit product, that's a shit profit margin, but let's say they do. So they have, if they give me one product, they, I have to sell five for them, for them to break even. Preferably they want me to sell like thousands and thousands, um, but they want to know that I can at least sell six so that they can get a profit from me. $20 profit, sure, but like they still want to get some kind of profit from me. Um, so yeah, that's why, that's, that's how it works. Um, so hopefully, this this sponsorship deal that I signed a couple weeks ago, um, it's a one-off thing, you know. Like a lot of a lot of sponsorship deals are ongoing, um, uh, but this one is a it's a one-off thing for a set amount of time. I have to do this many social posts. Uh, I have to have this thing here, and I have to have that thing there for X amount of time. Um, so hopefully, they see success with that. Hopefully. When they track when you know when I when I give me them my, my reports on my social media and stuff that all of my uh, engagements and all that kind of stuff are really good, uh, so they go ooh ooh we got a return on investment from her we should absolutely partner with her again, and this time instead of sending a product she's already got the products so we don't need to send her more product maybe this time if we give her money she'll do the same thing again, and then we'll get more money back uh, and money is what is used to pay bills. <laughs> so that's the goal. That's the aim. But, um, I mean, I, kn I know all of you probably know this shit, but um, it's, look, makes me feel good to talk about it sometimes because there's a reason I'm being, like, I'm not being a sellout. I'm, I'm, I would never, ever, 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 ever endorse anything that I did not believe in. Oh, I finally got something. Gazan, you dropped me a thing. Good job. Uh, 14 out of 26. Why you know... There we go. Cool. Ah, itchy. Puppy's going well. Yay! That's awesome. I'm glad to hear it. Very glad to hear it. But yeah, I hope, I hope that this sponsorship goes really well and that it's a product that's actually applicable. I mean... I'm pretty fucking sure it's going to be applicable to you lot. Like, I, I wouldn't have taken it on if I didn't think it would be. Uh, it's hella applicable to me. I think it's hella applicable to all of you. Jas really likes it. Like, really likes it. So, like, I I really like it. Like, I've, I've been using it for a little while now, and I'm like, ooh, I like this. Um, so, <laughs> um, we, we may or may not be planning on purchasing Jas his own. So, like, that's how much we like this. So I'm hoping that you guys like it as well. Uh, and it, and it results in, uh, in, in future happiness for all involved. Because isn't that what we all just, we all just need a little bit of happiness. It's interesting to hear about a world us little gamers don't know of. It, it, I find it really interesting, Brutal. Like, I've learned so much. I mean, I've been doing this for six years, right? Um, and there were a lot of things I kind of assumed and, and stuff like that. And a lot of stuff that I feel like is common sense, like knowing what I know from my workplace and, and, you know, the things that I've done through the years with my employment and all that kind of stuff. Like I can figure out most of it. Um, but then actually being here and signing this stuff, like reading contracts and signing them and seeing what the requirements are and what the rates of pay are like and all that kind of, it's, it's really interesting. Really interesting. <clears throat> so, um... I, I like, I'm happy that at least a handful of you find it interesting as well. 
Uh, and I, I've like I've said quite a few times, but I mean, I'm sure we've probably got quite a few people who are new here, uh, who are lurking and stuff like that. But um, I'm I'm pretty much an open book. There are, of course, there are always going to be things that I cannot talk about it. In the past, I have done things like sign NDAs. For those of you who aren't aware, an NDA is a non-disclosure agreement. Basically, it means we're going to tell you something and you can't tell anybody. 16! So if I'm bound by an NDA, I will absolutely not fucking tell you because I'm not an idiot. If you break an NDA, not only will that company, they can potentially sue you depending on what the information is, but at the very least, they will never work with you again. At the very, very, very least, they will never work with you again. Uh, on top of that, the game dev world and, and all that kind of stuff, the sponsorship world, especially when it comes to Twitch, is so fucking small. Word will spread incredibly quickly that someone has broken an NDA and then no one else will trust you enough to work with you either. So you're basically signing your own death warrant. Um, so I would never break the trust of people I'm, who I'm working with. It just won't happen. Outside of that, I am happy to answer questions. I'm happy to talk about stuff. Uh, because this kind of shit, it's, there's a lot of like, you know, industry secrets and stuff like that. And there's also this culture in some places of like keeping secrets and tricks of the trade and, and all that kind of stuff because, you know, people see each other as competition. Like, oh, I'm not going to tell you how I got my brand deals because then you could get brand deals that I want to get and then I won't get those brand deals and, and then I'm losing and you're winning and I don't want, like, no, fuck that. Fuck that bullshit. If you are a streamer, you are not my competition. You are my colleague. If you are a streamer on Twitch, especially, you are my colleague, not my competition. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to share this kind of information with people because, like, companies have marketing budgets. If they're going to go, if they want to go with you instead of me, there's going to be a reason for it. And it's not going to be you stealing my work. It's going to be that you offer something that I don't, or maybe it's your maybe it's your gender, maybe it's your uh, your uh, like physical location in the world, uh, maybe it's the color of your skin, maybe it's your uh, like health condition or your uh, your orientation or your gender identity or like it could it could be any of these things that you differ from me in. Maybe they don't want a redhead, maybe they don't want an Aussie. Maybe they don't want somebody with blue eyes. And all of that's totally fine. Like it, it, it's fine. They have their targets, they have their want, their, their desires for their, their people. If I don't meet that, I'm never gonna get that contract, regardless of whether or not I help you with it. And if they, if you look just like me and you live in a similar place that I do and all that kind of shit, who's to say we don't both get the contract? These, these companies very rarely go with one person unless that one person is fucking Beyonce. And if and if they're paying Beyonce for a contract, let me tell you, neither of us are getting it. Well, <laughs> this is the mm. so like yeah, we we are not competition. This is collegiate. Like this is we are we are colleagues. Um. So yeah, if if there's like questions and shit like that, I am more than happy to answer them, if I can. There are obviously some things that I can't share. Um, there are some things that may be personal to me, like personal information that I don't feel comfortable sharing. And all I ask is that if you ask a question and I say I can't answer that or I don't feel comfortable answering that, that you respect it. That's it. Um, a geek stream sounds awesome. Hope it goes well. Thank you, Brutal. Thank you. I hope so too. Lurking Foundry from Beanut Client. Hello, Gargan. I hope you're enjoying your lurk. Thank you so much for being here and welcome to chat. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, sponsorships are not a zero sum game. No, no, absolutely. Uh, maybe they don't want a peach. Exactly. Maybe they're looking for lemons. <laughs> Can't make lemonade with peaches. I mean, you probably could, but it wouldn't be quite the same. Exactly, Sam, exactly. But yeah, like I was, I was talking with a Trinity um, on Instagram the other day, uh, she sent me a message that, uh, like she was sent, she sent me a message asking about an affiliate program that I'm a part of and was like, Hey, um, if you don't want to answer, this is totally fine. But I was wondering if you could share your experience with Bob, like, you know, I'm wondering what this is like. And I was like, Oh, absolutely. And I sent her back a wall of text, 
uh, talking about this particular affiliate program I was in, how it works, what my experiences have been, um, you know, why I think that has been my experience and why I think her experience may be different and all this kind of stuff. And she was just like, oh my God, thank you so much. Um, and then we were going back and forth about this exact thing that, that we're colleagues, not competition. Uh, and she's sitting on like 7,300 something Instagram followers. And I was like, actually, while we're here, any tips on Instagramming? <laughs> and she wrote me back a message with a whole bunch of bits and bobs because uh, she was at work at the time. So she, when she finished work, she um, she messaged me back. Uh, and I haven't responded yet because I got that message on like Friday night right before stream. And guess what I've been doing since then? <laughs> I streamed and then I slept and then I streamed and then I slept and then I photo shooted and now I'm streaming. Photo shot? Photo shot. That sounds fun. So like, I have not had a chance to DM her back and I feel so bad. I feel like she thinks I might be using her or, or like ignoring her, but it's absolutely not the case. I'm just so motherfucking busy. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like it's just, we share this information. We succeed together. We lift each other up. If you have those kind of connections with people, like networking, it, you know, they always say it's not what you know, it's who you know. Like if, if I want to work with a company, and I go, oh, actually, I know this person and they've worked with that company before. If they, if like, if we have a close enough connection, they may even go for, when, when this company I want to work with is looking for people to work with, the person I have a connection with might even go up to them and say, hey, I actually have this streamer friend who's been keen to work with us. Maybe consider them. And so I get like a head above the, the rest of the, do you know what I mean? Like it's a, yeah, absolutely. fucking lutely much better idea to, to be colleagues than competition. <clears throat> cool. So I got a thing, I think, from that run, didn't I? Did I? Maybe not. I thought I did. But it doesn't look like I did. Oh. Maybe it was last run. Fuck, these are all blending into each other now. Have you met Fear? Exactly. And I'm just sitting there like, hello, <laughs> pleased to meet you. <clears throat> oh god, approaching companies is fucking terrifying. I mean, like, you know, the worst they can do is say no and laugh at you. But that first impression is fucking everything. If you are irritating <laughs> the first time, when they see your name pop up in something later, they're gonna be like, oh, I remember that person. They sent me that email every day for like a week. I do not wanna work with them. I do not wanna reward that kind of diligence. Like, <laughs> so, oh, so you just kinda, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you gotta make sure that you're offering something to them that's worth it. It's not just, hey, can I have a free game? I'll stream it to my three followers. Like, no, what is that gonna do for them as a company? Nothing. Like you need to, you need to offer them something like, hey, I have this following here and I can do this tweet and I've got this thing here and I can do that thing and I can feature you on a stream for this long and I can do this and that and the other. Like it has to be worth it. Keep in mind that they're paying, even if it's a Steam key, that's still money that they would otherwise, like it's not a, maybe it's not a physical product, but if they give you a key, that's one copy of a game that they cannot sell anymore. It's money they can no longer earn because they have given it out. Um, okay, I looked up now every boss in Tazavesh and made notices. I think I'm ready. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean by made notices. Um, but yay for being ready! This is what sets you above the others and only talk about the game they stream more friendly, like connects to viewers better or something. I don't know, but yeah, great shit, keep that- Aw, thank you, Brutal. I rant is what you- is what you're looking for. The word is rant. Uh, <laughs> um, or fear talks. Cause, um, uh, a few viewers have likened my rants to TED talks, like TEDx talks or whatever you call them. So, um, they've started calling them fear talks because it's the same number of letters. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, I do fear talks. Um... But yeah, like this is shit that I've learned over time that I actually, like that I had to learn. And um, 
like there there's so many people these days especially during the pandemic who have picked up streaming for whatever reason um and some of them have found that they really fucking enjoyed it and so they want to grow they want to actually make this a thing and it's totally possible you can do it i promise you you can do it but it takes work and you ain't gonna go get in free shit just for rocking up like it's not that's not how it works um I could have given it. Yeah, rants indeed. Made notes, perhaps. In terms of which made notes. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, in German, notes are called notes in. Okay, interesting. Um, cool. Uh, yeah. Look, most most stuff in like most of the dungeons and stuff in the game, um, you don't really need to make notes. You can just kind of go in and then like read the uh, in-game adventure journal and just kind of wing it. That's what we did for Tash the Fish, and it worked pretty well. We might have had a wipe or two, but um, that was because all five of us didn't know what we were doing. We just kind of winged it. So if you're going with a group who's experienced, you'll be like totally fine. I think you may have may have over prepared, but hopefully it works for you. Does fear rant always, always. But usually they're like decent content. Usually they're not just like brainless rants. Usually it's actually information that's useful. However, if there's like nobody lurking who even has considered streaming ever, then that would be useless information. But it useless information can also be interesting. So I'm just gonna fucking go with that. We also did hard mode like way under gear. Oh fuck yeah we did. Pretty sure we were like, it was like second or third week or something, Jack. We went in and we're like, yeah, Tazabesh done. And then like a couple weeks later, it's like, yeah, let's go do hard mode. And it was terrible, but we fucking did it. First time we went in there, we cleared the place. And Jazz got both fucking mounts in one go and I fucking hate him for it. That's when it's the most fun. Exactly. Exactly. Unless you're so undergeared that it's literally going to be impossible because you are not going to meet the DPS requirement kind of thing. Then it's just not fun because you just end up bashing your head against an impossible wall. Uh, but the uh, the the point of undergeared that we were at was fun. We got there. Hey, we got the greaves of the Iron Guardian. Ah, so we're now at eighteen of twenty-six. Um, you should stream my guild raids. Just wasn't for me. Prefer watching. Totally fair. And yeah, look, streaming isn't for everybody. Um, there are like. Streaming for fun might be great as well. Like the, there's streaming for fun and then there's streaming for growth and as like a like as a business and as a career. And those are two exceptionally different tasks. Um, and it can be quite a bit of a shock to the system to transition from one to the other. Um, like my my advice to anyone considering streaming would be to just do it for fun. Genuinely, do it for fun. Um, if you start noticing that your viewers are picking up, like you're hitting your, your average view, not, not your viewer numbers, like now we're sitting at like 142 according to my thing, right? If not, not if you hit a peak of, but if your average numbers on your dashboard, say you're sitting double digits, like above 10, that's the time when you can kind of start thinking, okay, I'm starting to attract people. Do I want to make a go of this? do I want to make a go of this? Because averaging 10 is like, that's when you're starting, because then you're going to be peaking somewhere around, you know, like 20s and stuff like that. Um, unless you have like literally 10 people who are there from the moment you go live to the moment you shut it off. Uh, in which case, obviously that'll skew your numbers. But on average, usually you'll start with like two to three people and then it'll climb over the course of the stream and then you'll be sitting on like 20, 25 or whatever by the end and that'll pull you to like an average of 10. Um... So if, yeah, if you're starting to get to those kind of numbers, that's when you can kind of think, huh, okay, there might be something in this. Do I enjoy this? Am I willing to spend literally hours every week, not live, doing things related to my stream? Do I have time to do that? And if the answer to both of those questions is yes, then maybe it's time to start looking at becoming, in quotation marks, serious about it and and trying to grow and making a thing of it <clears throat> otherwise it is absolutely perfect you are you are perfectly allowed to stream it is valid to stream for fun 
just because you're being just because your stream is becoming successful whatever your definition of successful is that does not mean you have to aim to go full time and quit your job and all this like you don't have to at all not at all you can absolutely be whatever successful is to you and just be doing it for funsies there is nothing wrong with that at all so many people seem to think like you have to go all out or you, you or you're a filthy casual kind of like in wow you know but no that's not the case at all Ugh. um remember it was like 217 i level for hard mode on average ah hey sarah how you going welcome on in i hope you're having a lovely a lovely day i went to say evening but then also day and my brain got confused <laughs> it does that like a lot Oh, I just like the self-confidence to show my face on cam and chat with Mike. Fair. Uh, a lot of people use a VTube thing, like an animated avatar doofle wacky for that if they're not comfortable with camera. Um, you can also use voice modulation um, if you're uncomfortable with the sound of your own voice. Uh, a lot of studio mics have like fancy things to adjust your pitch and adjust all that kind of stuff to make you sound uh, different in, in some way. Um, but this is not me trying to say, you. yeah, but you can fix that. This is just me offering information. Um, you are absolutely, of course, under no obligation to try. Um, but yeah, those kind of things definitely do exist if that's something. Like, if you really genuinely enjoyed it, but that's what was holding you back, there are solutions. There's something uncanny valley about VTubers to me. I, I can't watch them. Like, I, I legitimately can't watch VTubers. Um, it just something's something's not quite right and it just feels weird but um that's okay that's my own personal hang up and that's that's okay you know they've got to do them and i'm gonna do me uh character got stuck yay yay apathy well done good job uh, i've talked about it in past i get told i'll be laughed out the door because i'm a clicker even though i'm a resto druid god and it works but apparently i'm still a noob now fuck them fuck them um, so there are options in OBS to not show your cursor. There is an option in OBS when you're using game capture that will capture the game, but it will not capture your cursor position. So it won't show it on the screen. So the, the buttons will flash when you click them, obviously, or when you mouse over them or whatever. Um, but they won't be able to see your cursor. Um, other option is that you can build an overlay that hides your bars. All possible. Also, who gives a f who gives a flying fuck? Like this is the way that you play the game, and that's totally okay. There is nothing wrong with that. If it works for you, then fuck an oath, do it. Um, but yeah, there are there are if if you are uncomfortable with the idea of potentially having people judge you, uh, first of all, maybe streaming's not for you because even if you weren't a clicker, I'm not a clicker. People judge me. <laughs> um, yeah, shit will get thrown at you. It's a thing. Um, it's not a nice thing and it shouldn't be a thing, but it is a thing. Uh, until we fix society and there are no more assholes, assholes will exist. Um, but yeah, there are, there are, again, ways to get around that kind of shit. Um, is slash unstuck still a thing? Trying alt F4 first. Um, unstucking usually just uses your hearthstone. Uh, so yeah, closing the game is a thing, but, uh, doing things for fun in this economy. Oh, I know, right? Stuck in an infinite falling loop. Oh, youch. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Um, uh, I'm glad to see you guys. Amazing. <laughs> hey, Squirrely. Uh, if you're still on, I am Nano. Hello, hello. Yeah, we're just um, we've got another. We, I've got one more battle to do. So once that one finishes, then e yes. Uh, I go full out filthy casual these days. Fuck yes, dude. I'm a full time fucking collector these days. It's fine. This quickly. It's fine. We're having fun. Who gives a shit? Good evening. Thank you. You're very welcome, Sarah. Uh, I didn't enjoy it. Thanks for the advice. Of course. If you didn't enjoy it, that's like, yep. Yeah. If you don't like it, don't do it. Very, very simple. Um, often wonder what evolutionary process created the Uncanny Valley feature. Probably, like, you don't quite look like what I expect you to look like, therefore I think you're fake. Um, but yeah, there's there's been quite a few... I've, I've read a few bits and pieces about, you know, like, why... Why were there humans that didn't quite look right that caused us to evolve this fear reaction to humans that don't quite look right? Um, and it's 
Oh yeah, there are some very interesting thoughts in there. Very interesting thoughts. Um, you know, everything from supernatural beings who try to disguise themselves but can't quite get it right, and and shit like that. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I um, I'm gonna not think about it. <laughs> uh, do DK still have Path of Frost? Yes, they do, Garg. Yes, they do, and yes, they still use it to kill people on the regular. <laughs> if you are in a group with a DK and you have to do a big drop into water, tilt your camera down. Because uh, <laughs> if you're facing the water, it won't, like, you won't land feet first kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, I've got a beverage, raise it up if you want to. <laughs> or you go out and own the fact that you're a clicker and show and being click, it can work. Yep, absolutely that as well. But it's all down to what you feel comfortable doing. For sure. Uh, if I knew that, you're very welcome. People give you grief for not clicking. What? That's the most guaranteed thing you should... No, no, people give me grief regardless of whether I am a clicker or not. People give me grief for being online. Like, who the fuck knows? Maybe it's because they're, they're because they don't like that I'm a girl. Maybe it's because they don't like that I'm outspoken. Maybe it's because they don't like that I'm playing WoW. Maybe it's because they don't like that I'm playing a mage. Like, who fucking knows why they don't like me? They just don't like me, and so they give me shit. It doesn't matter. This is the internet. Trolls are a thing. You you learn to just deal with it. You have to. If you're going to stream, you have to learn how to deal with trolls. Uh, I just came home from work. Happy to see you. Brilliant! I hope work was uh, was brilliant and went smoothly and all that shit. As a society of the world, human population spends way too much time worrying about what others think of us. Yes. Yes. I mean, I guess it kind of serves an evolutionary purpose. Because if everyone hates us, then we won't be able to, like further our genetic line or some shit, but like, anxiety can fuck off. Sometimes I feel like I need to find like a tiger to chase me, to burn off like, because this is like, that's the whole, the, the anxiety thing, right? The whole thing is like, when we got stressed, when, when we were faced with a threat way back when, that threat was a tiger. And we either fought the tiger hard and burned off all that stress, or we ran from the tiger and burnt off all that stress. These days, the tiger is a looming deadline or an email inbox with 10,000 unread emails or whatever it has, like that's our stress now. You can't run from, you can't fight an inbox. I mean, you can run from it. There's like treadmills and shit, but that's, you know, it's not the same. So it's, you're not burning off that stress. And so it just builds and builds and builds and builds and builds and hey presto, anxiety. I know that that's not how simple it is. I know that there's a whole lot of complex interactions there, but that's like a really simplified version of what happens, right? Um, so, <laughs> so fuck anxiety. I understand that it serves an evolutionary purpose, but also fuck anxiety. Actually, I think it's a good point. Fight the fight for all the clickers. Damn, I wanna now. Oh, excuse me. I personally like the zombies one or aliens. For sure, for sure. Uh, I assumed it was due to Neanderthal's competition for resources there. Quite possibly, yeah. That's that's actually a really good point. And far less scary than uh, um, zombies or aliens or, or supernatural fuckwits. I like that much better. <laughs> I think it might have to do with other hominids that we evolved with. Yeah, cough mists, cough. Also character now unstuck, no longer falling indefinitely. Yay! Burning every troll is also a perfectly fine way to manage your own stream. Correct. Correct. Um, this is something I actually had a lot of difficulty with in the beginning. In the beginning. Um, so like nearly six years ago now, right? My my mindset was if I ban people that treat me badly, then my viewers are gonna go from five to four. And I'm gonna back when this was the list thing. So obviously I, I grew as a streamer in a very different environment on Twitch. Uh, it was like every single category was sorted by viewers. So if you were on five viewers, you were on page seven. If you were on four viewers, you were on page 12. Like it was that much of a difference because there were so many streamers, right? So banning one person and dropping my view account by one would be hugely detrimental to me. At least that's what I thought. And so I let shit fly because I didn't want to do the damage to my viewer numbers. Especially now with the fact that everything's via recommended as opposed to sorting. I mean, you can still sort by viewer numbers, but you have to do it manually based like the, the default setting is recommended. This has done so much for discoverability you don't even need to hesitate to ban fuckwits. 
Like, you can just, if, if someone is doing or saying nasty ass things and is bringing down the vibe of your community, you can just ban them. I mean, I could just ban them back then as well, but I, I had, what I would like to say is valid fears for my growth, right? These days, that, that fear is not a thing anymore. Um, even if you drop your viewer numbers by 20% by banning one of five, you are still going to have that same recommended discoverability as you did before. Because chances are, that fifth person has only just joined and has decided to be a fuckwit. Um, so they're, they're, they're factoring into your recommended algorithm. It won't anyway, because they haven't watched you for long enough, so it doesn't matter. I don't need a tiger. You can do jumping jacks or screaming. How about both? Can I just, can I just like, 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 just like do jumping jacks like, ah, it'd be fine. I have to say that was probably the most fun thing I've done in a while. So thank you for the inspiration. Oh shit. That was great. I sound like the Wilhelm screams, except different. I can fight an inbox delete all. Yeah, but it's not like a physical fight that burns off those in like those the hormones and shit. You know what I meant. Control eight delete works for me. Back in Wrath of Lich King, there was a 2900 mage clicker and I played him a bunch. He streamed back on star star star. Uh, yeah, links get turned into asterisks. Uh, Kid is a beast, got max viewers back then, different time period, but still. In the beginning when the world was young and fear was younger and more naive. Yeah. And just desperate to, to do any, yeah, for sure. If that helps, or squats. Squats are harder on my knees than jumping jacks. <laughs> I've got three clips all of a sudden. How many clips do people just make of that? <laughs> oh shit, that's great. Uh, I didn't get another drop. I didn't get a drop from uh, Black Stalker, but we went from 6 out of 26 to 20 out of 26, so I'm doing pretty fucking well, I think. 23% to 76% complete. Oh, I didn't think of it fair. Totally fair. Neke, Thor, Sarah, Insta, Spam, Zem, Dazzle, Exo, and BQ. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. And can I say to everyone who's gotten bonus shit tonight, thank you so much for being in chat as well. In order to get bonus shit, you have to be sitting in chat as well as participating in the thing. And I know, I know obviously so many of you are lurking and I'm 100% totally fine with lurkers. I know that like 90% of my viewer base are lurkers and I'm I'm happy about that. I'm totally fine with that. Um, so thank you to all of you for, for being in chat and for placing your units and all that kind of shit. I, I greatly appreciate you. Uh, and it, you and it. So uh, that button for a second there, I forgot which button does which on my stream deck. Uh, muscle memory be damned. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a raid. Uh, let me find someone to love. Ah, uh, yeah, what was the mount tonight? The green primal raptor. I wanted to do green where the brown is. Like I wanted to do mostly green and then the brown and the cream. That was the intention for me to do. Um, but then when I had the photo shoot to do this morning, I had to have it more toned down. I had to have more neutral looking eyeshadow and makeup and stuff. Um, so I, I shuffled around the colors a little bit, which was why it's not very green. Um, but yeah, it was guessed by Yori. It was guessed by Yori. Yas! Yay, Sarah! Uh, also, I'm sure you know about all the things for anxiety. You could look into vasovaginal stimulation. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm a semi-lurker. And that's totally fine, Exo. I, we love love you all the same. From Spain, don't understand much, but you'll love- Aw! Thank you so much, Sarah. Much appreciated. Right back at you, Fee. Thanks for making an awesome place to- Aw. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you guys, you're too sweet. You're too sweet. Uh, okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon we might go here. Yeah. Okay, 
Um, part-time like a part-time talk too much. I, look, I'm a full-time talk too much, so it's fine. If you have a good one, you too, Chaos, you too. All right, um, we're going to do a raid, but before we do, uh, we're going to talk about the rest of January. Because that's the point we're at now. We're done with the transport hunt for today. Thank you so much for being here for that. We got some shit. And 50 50s! Oh my god, my 50 50s are like, they're done. I have 50 50s. What? I have a full account of 50 plus characters. What? Fucking what? And it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, so tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow's Mount Farm, Monday. We have baby at least two da 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 da, baby two na 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 na. I'm pretty sure we actually have a mount that we are guaranteed to get. I pr I'm pretty sure, but we I could be wrong. So you'll have to tune in to find out, won't you? Yep, I'm so good at that. Uh, <laughs> on Wednesday, we're going to be doing the WoW Secret stream. So this is one that was unlocked via Community Challenge last month. Um, I'm going to be starting with, so I have Una, but I have to upgrade Una. I think there's like a quest chain storyline I have to go through with Una so that I can go get Baal. So that's what we're going to start with. So if you haven't done that, you're welcome to do it alongside me. Um, on Friday, Pokemon Legends Arceus is launching. Uh, and this is also another community challenge. You guys decided that you wanted me to play it on launch day. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to do that. We're gonna, we're gonna get that and we're gonna play that and it's gonna be either great or shit. I'm not sure. The community seems to think it's gonna be shit. So we'll see how that goes. It'll be interesting. Uh, and then back to next Sunday, we're gonna continue on with this transmog hunting. I'm having an absolute blast. It's just so much fun. So we're gonna keep doing that. Um, hopefully my Ludapraiser challenge add-on will be like not broken by then and we can actually run them as lax, but we'll see how we go. Uh, and then back around to another Mount Farm Monday for the end of January. After that, we have fucked up February. We're fucked up February. We have uh, 15 days straight of streams. Um, and because it starts on a Tuesday and ends on a Tuesday, there's also a Monday and a Sunday before it and a Wednesday after it. So it's more like 18 days straight of streams. You're welcome. I'm gonna die. It'll be fine. Uh, we also have my 32nd birthday. <sighs> That's midway through Lovers in the Air. So I'll be here for that. Don't you worry. There'll be a stream on my birthday. It won't be like a fancy celebratory stream or anything. It'll just be a regular stream um, because we also have my six year anniversary of streaming coming up at the end of February. So there's going to be a marathon for that. <sighs> it's a big month. It's a fucking big month. I've plotted it out and then I sat back and I looked at it and I'm like, I, it's an ugly fucking calendar. I don't like it. There's just too much happening. I don't like it. Plus I have my next appointment with my surgeon in February as well. The day before my birthday, I go in with my CT scans to find out if I'm ready for surgery number two. Uh, so if I am ready, it'll probably be booked in sometime in March unless he's got no availability, but mm. it's fine. It's fine. Plus my mommy's coming to visit. I haven't seen her in two years and I'm so excited. Oh, I hope she, I hope she makes it up. Anyway, we're going to shut up and do the thing. Um, uh, where are we going? Ah, uh, Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Indeed. Baby tune no more. Indeed, indeed. We love a productive stream. Fuck yeah, we do. Oh my god, we finished. Yes, I finished average. It's all done. Guys on the 5050s. Thank you, Phoenix. We keep this outcome on. We fucking do. Yes, we do. Absolutely. Greatly shit. What? Full on February, fucked up February, yeah, uh-huh, uh -huh. If you don't do that, you're on ball. You're on a ball to get the second pet. Una, una ball, oh good lord. I thought, oh, fuck me, Jack, well done, but Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> fear February if you wanna be a little more PC about it to future sponsors. Full on February, yeah, look, maybe. Fear Feb, mm -hmm. may, may, look, maybe, maybe, we'll see. It's technically the smallest month and yet the most fucking packed. How you stay awake for it all? Good question. I'm not, it's not gonna be an 18 day straight stream. It's gonna be like 18 days consecutive, you know, you know, fancy for fine. It, every, <laughs> this is fine, February. Good. Uh, just your anniversary and persistence and birthday. Thank you, Squirrely. February, 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 February. I have to train my mouth to know how to say that without having to try. Good, February. 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 Anyway, good. Look, <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. Um, raid. 
Twitch raid. We should petition the UN to add more days to February. Ah, uh, yes, I agree. It would be very helpful to me. Grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype uh, emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you don't have, uh, you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, both of which are totally fine. You can copy and paste the entire thing into Hydrax's chat when we get there, delete the Fiamma Hype, replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and then drop it and go, ah, it'd be great. Hydrax would be happy. Um, you know what's happening, fuck. You know what's happening for the rest of the month. We've already talked about that. Um, if you've had fun today, please consider following me on social media. I promise you it fucking helps. Like you have no idea how much it helps me to have a growing presence on social media. Um, like you, you have no idea, no idea. One day my social media following will hopefully pay the bills. Like that's how fucking important it is. And it's free for you to do as well. So please do consider uh, doing the follows uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And we'll farm some mounts tomorrow. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.